the great period of peace came to an end. Goku and the Z Warriors will have new limits to overcome. The universe is no longer the same. Goku will have to overcome his limits. And in the great game, the gods created, mortals are but pawns. It seems the gods want to play again. The most incredible battle of all time is about to begin. I better get them out of here so they don't destroy everything. Do you really think you can challenge a god? This time will be different. We won't be just entertainment for them. Now I'm the one who makes the rules. It's gonna be awesome. Gon had been betrayed by Zakai, but something strange was happening. Gon already had thoughts that Zakai was just using him to get more power in the Celestial War. But still, the third son of Son Goku fell into the traps to the Supreme Priestess. Mage Mukai watched everything with a totally sarcastic look. Mukai says, <laughs> Zakai being cunning as always. There wasn't even time for this breath to breathe. Mostly as always, isn't it, Sakai? <laughs> Sakai, with a serious look, says, We didn't have time to deal with this boy. He had enormous potential, but I never felt confidence in him. He was definitely up to something. If even after receiving the kiss of death from Zydus, he could regain consciousness, what would he do? He thought I would believe his words. Now he won't give us any more trouble. At that moment, the great gate that divided the two realms in the empty dimension begins to open and a voice arises. The unknown voice says, It seems that I finally am free. After so many millennia sealed here in this place, I am finally free. Zakai, you haven't changed at all. <laughs> this dimension remains as cold as ever. The division between life and death is here, so very thin. It seems that the most powerful warriors meet here. Oh yes, disperse more powerful creatures. At that moment, several dragons and other dragons begins to leave the gate that had been opened by Mukai and Zakai. Mukai says, Finally we will be able to conquer all the universe, High Priestess. At that moment, Zakai starts to laugh and quickly teleports behind Mukai and hits a big blow with a staff in his heart that crosses his chest. Amazed, Mukai speaks. <laughs> Zakai, why did you do that? Zakai, smiling, says, <laughs> You're just scum in this universe. Do you think I didn't know that after Zalama's release you intended to betray me? Don't you dare play with the mother of angels. A big laugh breaks out. <laughs> Zalama finally appears. With his entire body covered by an age blanket, Zalama says, How long, Zakai? It seems like yesterday that we fought together against Yamoshi and Daishikun. <laughs> If I'm seeing you here in front of me now, it means that our millennia ago plan worked, isn't it? Zakai, smiling, responds. <laughs> well done, Zalama-sama. We had some snacks. It seems that the time we were sealed, very strong warriors ended up appearing on Earth. And for that reason, we had a lot of headaches. Let's come with me to my palace, and I'll update you to the whole situation. Zakai and Zalama get together and enter again through the portal that would be the exit from the empty dimension and go to the highest floor of the Great Priestess Celestial Palace. The High Priestess Palace as well as Zanosama's Palace is known to be one of the most mysterious places of all. There are legends that say that if a stranger who enters the palace of the Great Priestess and does not know the ways of the palace is trapped in this place until the moment of his death. Right now, most of the Z warriors are looking for Gon and Zakai. Zakai and Zalama arrive at the palace of the High Priestess. Zalama says, I need to get back to my Zakai throne. My energies need to be recovered. Zakai prepared the Zalama throne while explaining the Celestial War and the enemies that appeared. At that moment, Zalama says, Hmm. Interesting. So now we have a raid right on this palace. <laughs> a 
enemies must be strong to have been able to fight the ultimate Saiyans, isn't it? Zakai responds. As I said, there are some warriors who have been giving us problems, but this will no longer be an unforeseen event. <laughs> Zalama observes and says, I wouldn't say that. Looks like we already have visitors. Zakai sees through his vision of the future the image of Goku, Vegeta, and Beerus advancing through his palace. Zakai says, Curses! What did you do with Bazara and Zaki? I will not forgive them. Zalama seriously says, I was referring to these two monstrous energies that are in front of us right here. Zakai gets scared and says, How's this possible? At that moment, a female voice appears. I can't believe I thought we were going to die before I managed to find these two. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, we'd be a trouble, brother. It seems that you even know this palace. The male voice answers. <laughs> I used to walk in the high priest's palace since I was so little. So these labyrinths don't work against me. Let's resolve this situation soon and bring Gon back. At that moment, Vados and Whis arrive face to face with Sakai and Zalama. We says... It can't be. There are two presents here. Oh, by the angels, it can't be. There were two presents here. I could swear it was Akai and the wizard Mukai, but this guy has a much more destructive energy than Mukai's. Don't tell me he is. Vado says, You damn, what did you do to Gon? I would never forgive them. Zakai says, Gon is totally destroyed. If I were you, I would never remember him. Well, two angels are here. It will be perfect for me to start testing my powers. Next to me, you two are nothing. Zalama, just watch. The powers of the High Priestess Sakai. Sakai, for the first time, will fight. Whis and Vados prepared in combat stance. Whis, smiling, says, Sister, don't worry. We'll find a way to save Gon. First, let's show these priestesses that the brothers from the universes 6 and 7 are the most powerful. Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Let's go back to the point. Meanwhile on Earth, several hordes of demons try to approach the Earth. At that time, a large barrier had been created around the land that prevented the demons from entering it. Broly says, Looks like the barrier Mr. Whis created is having an effect. It won't last too long. Well, what we have left is to prepare for this fight. All the Z-Warriors that were on Earth alongside Broly, Frieza, and Cell Max prepare. Cell Max says, <laughs> That means we have a warm-up here. It will be a pleasure to eliminate those weak beings that are to come. The Earth again comes into conflict. Universe 6. Jumpa begins to reflect on everything that is happening. Since Beerus decided to fight this way, why didn't the Daishika leave the Universe 6 in charge of ending this war? Universe 7 always causes big problems. <laughs> you bloody Beerus. If you lose this fight, I will never forgive you. At that time in the High Priestess Palace on the north side, Goku advanced alongside Vegeta and Beerus until the moment when a great ray of darkness is launched towards their bodies. Beerus says, I feel the presence of some enemies. Damn it. I thought that Bazara and Zaki would be the only ones that would stand in our way. At that moment, a great energy of darkness ends up being released on the bodies of the three. Goku starts having his vision blurred, and the image of Beerus and Vegeta disappears from his front. Goku says, Mr. Beerus! Vegeta! Vegeta was finding everything that was happening strange. Vegeta said, What is that? Show up, you moron! A big laugh breaks out. <laughs> the unknown voice says, Vegeta, Vegeta, it looks like we've finally met again. Vegeta responds. The voice, it's you, you damn angel, Shiva! Shiva, the bloody angel, finally appears again. Vegeta activates his ultra ego and says, I knew this was one of his illusions. It won't work on me again. Yamazaki's energy is in my body. Vegeta activates his ultra ego. Shiva starts laughing and speaks. <laughs> Perfect. It means that the Ultra Ego is the ability to be able to fight even the angels. This will be fun. <laughs> At that instant, Goku says, Damn it, I can't see any of them. Goku dodges quickly when he feels energy being emanated over his body. Goku says, I feel an angelic energy. Yeah, 
I remember your key on Earth. I feel an angelic energy. Come on out. I remember your key on Earth. At that moment, Kai appears and says, <laughs> Perfect. Now you will fight the strongest angel, Son Goku. The same angel that captured God will now fight Son Goku. Goku versus Kai, the strongest angel. Vegeta vs Shiva, the bloody angel. Gohan and Piccolo vs Zaiko, the ultimate Saiyan. Jiren, Hit, and Cauliflower vs Yujiro, the annihilator. Whis and Vados vs Akai, the mother of angels. All these battles will decide the fate of all universes. After Gon was betrayed by Zakai, several changes began to happen in all universes. Due to the collapse of the opening in the celestial gate that freed Zalama. Center of the universes, palace of Zenosama. Zeno and his guards besides Daishikan begin to observe all this. Zeno says, Daishikan looks like the energy of that white-haired boy who fought Goku on Earth is gone. Zenosama's guards just watch. Daishikan with a soft look says, It seems that your majesty is finally happening. Soon the time will come for us to enter the battlefield. Salama is finally back and he will certainly plan to bring a horde of dragons back there. But his powers must not be complete because if they were, he would have already started to act. This could be an advantage for Son Goku and his friends. Daishikan noticed extremely high power light years away from Zenosama's palace. Daishikan says, So the fighting has already begun. At that moment, in the palace of the great priestess Zakai, Gohan and Piccolo fought against Zaiko, the supreme Saiyan. Zaiko says, <laughs> you are the son of Son Goku, aren't you? Know that I hate your father just because he managed to escape from me on that planet of death. <laughs> Since I couldn't see him, I'll finish you off myself here and now. Piccolo says, you're going to fight us both now. I'm tired of guys like you thinking they can do whatever they want. Come on, Gohan. Let's teach this guy a lesson. At that moment, Gohan makes a serious face and says, Mr. Piccolo, please don't get involved in this battle any longer. This guy's mine. Piccolo starts looking at Gohan and tries to understand why Gohan's unusual attitude in wanting to fight Zaiko alone. Piccolo begins to observe and after the laughter saying, <laughs> So that's it. The pride of Saiyans. This is a battle of Saiyans. Do your best, Gohan, and don't die. Gohan, the son of Son Goku who had not fought for years, the one who was once considered the prodigy among all and saved the Earth several times, among his most memorable battles when he fought the android Cell. That boy who had the arrogance fighting the demon Majin Buu, the same one who reached his beast mode from against Cell Max, is now face to face with the Supreme Saiyan God Psycho. The greatest battle is about to begin. Zaiko looks coldly at Gohan and says, You will regret being born a brat. Gohan smiles and says, Then come and fight me with everything you've got. Zaiko in a blink of an eye appears behind Gohan's back and hangs him crushing his neck more and more. Gohan says, God damn, how did you get here so fast? Zaiko before being named the ultimate Saiyan was known as the killer Saiyan of Universe 17. The kings of all planets that Zaiko wanted to conquer were eliminated by the Supreme Saiyan. Zaiko always raised his power to unimaginable levels, and all mortals began to fear the Supreme Saiyan. After years passed and everyone already knew who Zaiko was, he became known as the Supreme Saiyan. Gohan being hanged by Zaiko begins to notice that Zaiko's energy resembles Goku's and Gon's energy a lot. Gohan says, How strange. It can't be. At that moment, Gohan raises his power even more and manages to let go of Zaiko and with great dexterity hits a punch in his stomach. Gohan says, Is it possible? Why is this guy energy similar to my father and Gon? That doesn't make any sense. Did he come from Universe 17? If I'm not mistaken, Gon is my father's son from another timeline. While Gohan tried to reason, Zaiko advanced to attack him. Zaiko says, You really are strong, boy. It's getting interesting to fight you. It will be a pleasure to break all of your bones. <laughs> Gohan stops Zaiko's fist and says, I don't have time for games. At that moment, Gohan activates his beast mode form, and Zaiko is impressed with the power emanated by Gohan. Gohan starts throwing several blows at Zaiko and says, This is your end! Special Bean Cannon! Zaiko gets scared and speaks, What? Impossible! 
A gigantic special beam cannon is cast on Zyko, causing the ultimate Saiyan to be thrown into the rubble of the palace. Gohan says, you're finished. Piccolo just watches, a great ray of light with darkness begin to emerge. Gohan says, what? It's not possible. It's the same energy as the time of the Makai Realm. Flashback of Gohan, Piccolo and Cell Max in the Makai Realm. Gohan and Piccolo being guided by Cell Max in the Makai Realm, they fought against several demons to get to the king of the Makai Realm. Until the moment when arriving in the Makai Palace, Gohan sees the king of the Makai Kingdom murdered. Gohan says, What the hell happened here? Gohan sees Gon and Zydus. Cell Max says, Oh, what do we have here if it's not a similar boy to Son Goku? What an incredible power that is. Zydus watches and says, Looks like we have a visitor here, and it isn't Gon. Gohan charges forwards to attack Gon. Gon says, Do you think you can beat me, Gohan? Who knew that days ago we were on the same side in this war, and now we are on opposite sides? <laughs> Gon, what the hell are you doing next to that angel? Gohan creates a big Kamehameha, and Gon creates a big blast of energy that collide. Gon teleports and releases a portal in the Makai realm where the wizard Mukai comes out all changed. Zaido says, So you found the Gon portal. Gon responds, We already have what we needed. Let's take Mukai to the high priestess. You want this, don't you? Gon appears with a pot of Majin essence in his hand and throws it to Gohan. Gon enters the portal with Zaido's and Mukai. Gohan says, What the hell happened here? Piccolo says, it doesn't matter, Gohan. Let's get the heck out of here. Back to the present. Gohan, after noticing Gon's energy resemblance to Zyko, Gohan sees Zyko regaining his energy. Zyko appears and says, Now you've managed to piss me off, you damn brat. Gohan starts to smile and says, So that's it. I discovered his secret. Zyko, the Supreme Saiyan. You're actually son of Goku from another timeline. That's why you hate the Saiyans of this timeline so much. Piccolo is impressed and says, What? How is this possible? Zyko answers, How did you figure that out? All by yourself! Gohan says, In fact, you're the essence of Gon from another timeline. This way your energy is linked with Gon's. Well, I don't have any more time to waste with you any longer! At that moment, Gohan activates his Beast Mode 2 form, and Zyko activates his ultimate level. Zyko advances towards Gohan and says, That's the sign who is the strongest Saiyan! At that moment, Gohan in his second Beast form runs in front of Zyko, and the two begin to exchange punches. Gohan stands still when he receives a punch from Zyko. Zyko says, What? Why didn't you dodge? Gohan smiling says, it seems that my power has increased exponentially. More so, you didn't even notice. At that moment, Gohan's straight arm had pierced Zyko's chest and Zyko hadn't noticed. Zyko says, <laughs> Impossible! Zyko is eliminated, but for some reason his target advances directly to the empty dimension where Gon's body was. Gohan says, Mr. Piccolo, I feel like something strange is about to happen. Let's get out of here! A great shaking in the palace of the High Priestess Akai occurs. Goku grew his ki more and more. Kai, the strongest angel, says, So you're the famous son Goku. I'm happy to have found you, but at the same time, I'm sad. Goku watches and says, What a strange guy. What are you talking about? Sad? Afraid of being humiliated by a mortal? <laughs> Kai responds, I am happy that I can put an end to you now, and saddened that you are moving mountains to save your third son gone, and you still can't get past me. Goku begins to get furious and the entire palace of the high priestess begins to shake. The Saiyan's muscle mass begins to increase, causing his muscles to grow in a similar way to Broly, and then return to normal. Goku with a serious face responds, <laughs> Strongest angel. Your powers are nothing compared to Mr. Whis. Goku teleports and hits Kai's belly with a big punch. Kai falls, kneels on the ground and says, What was this? Goku walks in front of Kai and says, My training in the room of the gods was done precisely to finish off weaklings like you. Get out of my way if you don't want to have the same end as Bazara Tenzaki. Kai, lying on the ground, says, No, that's impossible. How did you hit me? Damn it, it hurts so much. 
What an incredible power! Goku was confident that Kai would not be able to stand up until the moment Kai says, It cannot be! <laughs> Just kidding. <sighs> Too weak. Kai teleports in front of Goku, activating his ultra angelic instinct and grab Goku's head, dragging him to the ground and throwing him away. Kai, with a totally serious face, looks at Goku and says, Quit kidding yourself too, and let's get started. Big explosion happened on the battlefield, starts to get more and more intense. Big stars appear. Whis and Vados had been having their battle against Zakai. Whis, with great dexterity and mastery, dodged all of Zakai's attacks. Zakai says, Oh, interesting, Whis. You managed to dodge my attacks. <laughs> you don't even look like the same angel who had been defeated by Xiao at the beginning of the war. It looks like you've learned to defend yourself against the energy that seals the power of the angels. At that moment, Zalama just watches the battle and says in his mind, Two angels against Zakai. The mother of angels really is cheeky, although we shouldn't worry since the mother of the angels has the power equal to the power of the Daishi gun. So those lesser angels won't be problem for you, won't it, Zakai? At that moment, Zalama and Zakai are impressed. A great light appears over Whis's body. Whis begins to raise his power. Ah! Me being defeated by Xiao! <laughs> Flashback of the planet Beerus at the start of the Celestial War. Beerus says, Weez, you can tell that they are very close from here, can't you? I'm sure he'll be able to come after us. If we show our real powers, the enemy will have an advantage over everything. Maybe it would be better for us to let ourselves be defeated by them, and that way we'd gain time and we'd know the enemy's his weakness. Weez responds, <laughs> Mr. Beerus, that's pretty bold, don't you think? A demon of the race of cold will think that he alone can defeat an angel and a cat of destruction. <laughs> that would be a shame, Weez. However, we are in a heavily threat. If the mother of the angels and all of the cats of destruction think that we have not strengthened our forces within this last millennium, it would be our greatest advantage on the battlefield. We starts to smile and says, <laughs> Well done, Sir Beerus! After Beerus and Whis come to an agreement, the two are purposely defeated by Xiao. Now all of this has turned out to be a trap by the Angel of and God of Destruction of Universe 7. We smiles. Back to current times. Zalama and Zakai are surprised by the power that Whis is showing. Vado says, It seems that my brother decided to fight seriously from the beginning. Now I understand. Being humiliated by a cold demon, even on purpose, causes Whis's reputation and honor as an angel to be hurt. So now, from the beginning, he goes with everything. Zakai, if I were you, I would prepare myself to know the power of the strongest angel. <laughs> a big explosion happens. Zakai says, What? It cannot be. Zalama starts to smile. <laughs> See, Zakai, don't hit me. He's afraid of the power of the wrath of one of his children. Zakai responds, It's not of that, Salama. It's just that right now I'm just completely gone from all the Psycho's energy. Vado starts to smile and says, They have already started to act. Now get ready that the next one will be you, Zakai. Zakai angrily says, Damn you bastards! North side of the High Priestess's Palace. After Gohan defeated Zyko, Gohan continues with a serious expression. Piccolo says, Why are you like this, Gohan? You finally defeated the enemy and that saying was very strong. Surely you have already mastered your new transformation by 100%. Gohan says, It's not that, Mr. Piccolo, but I feel he wasn't alone. I still feel an evil presence here. Piccolo says, what are you talking about, Gohan? He's lying on the ground in front of us. Gohan looks at Piccolo with a serious expression and goes into a big Kamehameha. Startled Piccolo says, What the hell are you doing, Gohan? Gohan deflects his attack from Piccolo and directly hits a plaster that is behind in the palace of the High Priestess. A big laugh starts to emerge. <laughs> Were you actually able to defeat Psycho? Something that not even Son Goku had been able to do? Who knew the Supreme Saiyan gone from another timeline would be defeated? <laughs> you figured it all out. This really is amazing. At that moment, Piccolo says, Who are you? Show up! In the blink of an eye, a great line is brought by Zyko's body and Zyko's body disappears. Gohan asks, What have you done, you bastard? 
The unknown voice says, Since Psycho and Gon are the same person from another timeline, their bodies need to become one. <laughs> the two will meet soon, and the true being will be born. I've been all this time looking at everything that was happening within this war, and it seemed incredible. Now it seems that our plan is working, isn't it, Zydus? Gohan and Piccolo are startled to hear Zydus' name. Gohan says, Cyrus, isn't that the angel who was with Gon in the Makai Kingdom, Mr. Piccolo? That voice is saying that they are plotting something behind even the mother of angels. A female laugh erupts. <laughs> incredible! You really are incredible! Fantastic, Azazel! The unknown present that has always walked beside Zyrus finally has his name and appearance revealed. With gigantic armor, strong appearance and horns, Azazel is revealed to be the unknown presence. Gohan says, Damn it! For that we didn't expect, Mr. Piccolo! The Supreme Saiyan being used by them is the same way that Gon was used by Sakai! Piccolo says, Gohan, now this battle is not about a Saiyan battle, but a battle between gods. Who is this guy? His power is totally different from any power I've seen before. Gohan seriously responds, No matter who it is, we came here with the science, Mr. Piccolo, not science, conscience. No matter who it is, we came here with this conscience, Mr. Piccolo, we will defeat them. In the blink of an eye, Zydos appears in front of Gohan and hits him with a kiss of death. Piccolo says, What? How you got here so fast? Gohan receives the kiss of death from Zydos. Zydos says, One down, Azazel. Now we just have to finish off the Namekis agent. <laughs> Gohan has received the kiss of death from Zydus. Up until now, Zydus' angel's technique kiss of death is that after Zydus kisses the enemy, they are mind controlled. The same as Gon and Goku received. Piccolo says, Damn it, Gohan, what's happening to you? Azazel standing still says, <laughs> Very well, Zydus. It seems to be getting stronger. Piccolo watches and says, But who is this guy? He doesn't look like a god of destruction and his power is totally different. For sure he's not even preparing to fight. An angel obeying another entity. At that moment, Gohan was with his eyes open but totally unconscious. Piccolo screams, Come on, Gohan! React! Zaido smiling says, That's impossible, Namekian warrior. This boy is no longer here over us. This time we don't have time to deal with you. I will erase his entire existence from the inside out. What are you talking about? <laughs> The kiss of death technique has several variables. In the same way that I can control the enemy's mentality, I can also poison or destroy all the warrior's bones. Zydor screams, Association with the kiss of death! Internal destruction! Now my poison will be repelled in that Saiyan's body and his body will be totally destroyed! Piccolo says, This cannot happen. At the same time that Piccolo is worried, the Namekian being starts to laugh. Azazel watches and says, What is this guy laughing at? Gohan has received the kiss of death from Zydus. Zydus says, <laughs> He's desperate with the death of his student and that's why he's like this. <laughs> at that moment, a great aura begins to appear over Gohan's body and the image of all his cells appears in front of Zydus. What is that? <gasps> Impossible! What are you talking about, Zydus? It's like his cells are healing on their own, much faster than the kiss of death poison. Well done, Gohan. Just in time. Gohan regains consciousness and says, <laughs> That was a close one, Mr. Piccolo. Zydus and Azazel don't understand what happened. But what was this? Gohan starts to remember his battle against Lavender in the presentation with the Zenosama. Lavender was exchanging punches with Gohan, as strong as Gohan was. His body suffered from receiving the poison. Since the fight, Gohan and Goku began to train to protect their cells with their Saiyan energies. Since then, poisons don't work on Gohan's body. Impressed, Zyrus says, But how did you manage to escape the kiss of death? Gohan starts smiling and says, <laughs> it's because I'm a Saiyan hybrid, so I have both Saiyan and human mentalities, so your technique will never have an effect on me. <laughs> Zydo starts to smile and says, <laughs> I see. 
So my kiss of death technique is useless against these Saiyans. First it was Goku, then gone, and now you. <laughs> At that moment, Zaido's rage is and the whole palace starts to shake. Gohan and Piccolo get serious. Zaido says, if spell techniques don't work, now we will summon in brute force. Zaido prepares and battle stands. Gohan and Piccolo speak together. It's about time! Planet Earth. Several dragons begin to appear on the Earth of all universes. The warriors of the other universes that were on Earth had received the order of Broly to return to their universes due to the invasion having increased. Kaba and Kale alongside the others head back to their universes. Kaba says, Kalifa-san, it's going to be okay. Kale looks at Broly and says, Broly, don't die. Broly smiles. At that moment, several dragons appeared in front of Broly, Black Frieza, and Cell Max. Black Frieza says, <laughs> This is getting more and more interesting than ever. So it means that Son Goku and the others couldn't stop the dragons from releasing the portal and they're going to destroy the Earth. <laughs> it would be so beautiful to see Goku and Vegeta's planet destroyed by these beings. At that moment, a ray of light is released on Frieza. Frieza says, Ah! <laughs> Who dares to attack the Emperor of the Universe? Show up, Lucky, and I'll eliminate you myself. A great laugh arises, and the place of the land that Black Freeze is on begins to darken and disperses from Broly and Cell Max. <laughs> Emperor of the Universe. So that's the name you call yourself. Oh, you groove, Freezer. But we should have that name together. Black Freeza changes his composure and says, it's not possible. That voice, Cooler, it's you. Frieza's brother, Cooler, appears from the smoke that has cleared. He says, Exactly, my brother. Thanks to the Mother of Angels, I am back. The portal of the Kingdom of Dragons was released and the Supreme Dragon granted me his powers. Now I have the necessary power to dominate all these planets in this universe. Come with me, and let's destroy it all. At that moment, Black Frieza is silent. Broly says, Where is that damn Frieza? It can't stay like this! At that instant, Black Frieza throws a great blast of energy on his brother, causing the entire location to be destroyed, launching several dragons to the mountains of the Earth. Cooler says, What are you doing, brother? Frieza laughing says, <laughs> Brother, I am not your brother. I don't have a family. Since I was a little kid, I had to learn to get by on my own. And I became the emperor of the universe all on my own, with my own army. I never needed you for anything. I have no intentions of sharing a job with you. The same title. The price and demand for power is great, and my only right was to disown anyone who claimed to be close to me and was not. For now, my goals are different. <laughs> and your end will now be... <laughs> so there is no way, as I should always have guessed that about you. Cooler starts to rage and causing the earth to start to shake with increase of his ki. At that moment, Cooler turns into Black Cooler. Frieza is startled and says, But how did you manage to achieve this transformation? Cooler lunges at Frieza. A great battle ensues. Meanwhile, on the south side of the nearby mountain, Paozu, Goten, and Trunks brought Boma and Chi Chi along with several adults and children to hide in a mountain cave in order to avoid being attacked. Goten says, Trunks, it seems that the invasion of our parents didn't work out very well. Now our universes are being attacked again. Trunks responds, Something must have happened that they didn't expect, Goten. I'm sure it could have something to do with the half-brother of yours. But we don't have time to waste. Let's get out of here and help in the battle. The Earth is being invaded. At that moment, Chi-Chi screams arises. Help, Goten! A big demon dragon is holding Chi-Chi and says, Now it's your end, mediocre mortal. Bulma, scared to death, says, Release her, you filth! Boma is attacked and falls to the ground. Chi Chi says, We've come this far and now we're going to be killed. Goku, where are you? The moment Chi Chi was going to be attacked, the demon dragon receives a double kick to his face by Goten and Trunks. Trunks goes to Boma and says, Mom, are you okay? 
Bulma responds. It's okay, my son. Take care of this guy. Goten says. Whenever danger lurks, I will fight for justice. Trunks says. <laughs> you look like your brother when you dress up as Great Salmon, Goten. <laughs> the dragon demon appears in front of Goten and Trunks and says. That kick didn't even tickle. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> Dinner time. Goten and Trunks speak. What? Not even a scar? Goten and Trunks charge at the dragon demon. The dragon demon dodges with great ease and says, Do you think these attacks will work on me? I only got the first attack from you because I was so excited to feed off of all these human energy. But I must admit that you are two very powerful boys. <laughs> so let me tell you my name. I am Rising, the sixth demon dragon general of Salama. <laughs> As Rising laughs, he realizes that Goten and Trunks don't really care what he was talking about. Goten says to Trunks, Dragon demon? Why does he have that name if his body looks like a human? Trunks responds, I also don't understand, is he like that because he can turn into dragon or a demon or something? <laughs> stop laughing, Goten, otherwise I'll laugh too. <laughs> Goten and Drunks can't stop laughing. Ryzen says, What are you funny so funny? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Goten and Drunks stop and get scared. At that moment, Ryzen with its monstrous energy advances directly towards Goten and Trunks and starts to make a strange movement with his arms and says, Secret technique of dragons. Secret technique of dragons. Dark dragons roar! At that moment, a gigantic attack featuring a dark dragon flies straight at Goten and Trunks. Trunks says, Oh no, Goten! If this hits us, we're screwed! Goten says, Trunks, if we escape this attack, he might hit the kids! A huge explosion happens and Goten and Trunks take the full blow. Sirius Ryzen says, This is for you, Worms, to learn never to laugh at me. In the middle of a big smoke, Goten's voice comes up. <laughs> Trunks, it seems we underestimated the enemy too much. Trunks responds, <laughs> As always, Goten, but this time, we need to solve this all by ourselves. We don't have our fathers, much less your brothers, to save us. Then, Trunks transform into Super Saiyan Rage. Goten says, Trunks, what an amazing transformation. I will not fall behind. Goten transforms into a Super Saiyan 2, but something different happened in his transformation that his body was with different forms of lightning. Trunks says, What is this, Goten? Goten responds, I don't know, Trunks, but it feels like a Saiyan change in my body. <laughs> Let's get this guy over with. Clapping sounds come. Rise and says, Perfect. Let's see if those two brats can get even stronger. From now on, the show will begin. While on the mountain, Pozu, Goten and Trunks push their limits. In the central location of the planet Earth, Black Frieza and his battle against Black Cooler. Frieza laughs. <laughs> Damn it, brother. You mean those gods managed to make you that strong? Cooler, with a sarcastic look, looks at Frieza and says, Not my dear little brother. The only thing they did was release my latent powers that had been trapped inside of me for a long time. Now you will know the true strength of King Code's strongest son. Black Frieza smiles. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Frieza creates a large blast of energy and launches it at Cooler. Cooler blocks Frieza's attack with one hand and it integrates the energy blast. Black Frieza says, What? Impossible! Cooler advances at Frieza and hits a punch in his face, sending him to the mountains of the place. Curlin, Yuncha, and Tian in another location of Earth had been fighting several servants of dragons. Just an observation, the power levels of dragon servants are similar to those of Frieza's soldiers. Kurlin says, Damn, there are many! Tian says, We can't stay behind. Goku, Gohan, and the others are giving their lives to save all universes. We won't let these guys win. Yancha attacks all dragons with a spirit ball attack. Yancha says, I won't let any of you stand out against me. Your end is now! While everyone was fighting, a big gust of energy appears, eliminating all the dragons that were there. Kurlin, Tian, and Yancha get scared. Kurlin says, What is this? An angry voice arises. How can you be so weak? My army being defeated by mediocre mortals. You're not worthy to be part of my army. 
At that moment, another being appears and says, Scum, hello there. Let me introduce myself. I am Shaki the Rain Dragon Demon. Tian speaks. Curlin, Yancha, be careful. This guy is far from an enemy similar to those servants we were facing before. Mortos versus Shaki the Rain Dragon Demon. Meanwhile, on Paozu Mountain, Goten and Trunks were lying on the ground. Ryzen says, Those transformations of yours were of no use. You're still extremely weak brats. The time has come for the final attack. Trunks lying on the ground says, Hey, Goten, looks like we're screwed, right? Right? This guy's a hundred times stronger than Majin Buu. <laughs> we don't stand a chance. Goten says, <laughs> it's true, Trunks, but if we don't do anything, our mothers and everyone else here will end up dying too. I almost don't have any strength left to fight, but you know, my brother is a hero, and he always told me we should overcome our pain and rise up. Trunks responds. <laughs> You're right, Goten. I think it's time we push our limits and kick this guy's ass. Ryzen prepares himself for his final attack and says, Final Dragon's War! The gigantic dragon advances to hit Goten and Trunks. The two Saiyans stand up and seriously hold off the dragon's attack by burning their own hands. Goten and Trunks scream. Ah! Trunks says, <laughs> Let's not let this guy invade our planet and see he can do anything he wants, Goten! Goten and Trunks launch Ryzen's attack into the sky. Ah! Ryzen says, What? Ah, me! I know! Yes! Ryzen receives the full attack from the two. Goten and Trunks says, We got him! A great laugh arises and speaks. <laughs> you've really hurt me now, you damn brats. Now you will pay me for everything you've done! Goten starts laughing and soon after Trunks starts laughing too. <laughs> What is it, Goten? I don't know how to explain this. It's just that it seems that my Saiyan instinct is making me excited about this fight, Trunks. <laughs> this is happening to me too, Goten. <sighs> All right. It's time for the final card. Back to the battle of mortals against Shaki. Curlin and the others were lying on the floor. Shaki says... You are literally the biggest scum that could exist. As my servants were defeated by you, as soon as Alama returns, I will recruit a new army. <sighs> Disgusting! Shaki aims a large blast of energy at Krillin, Tien, and Yancha. Krillin says, Damn it. So that's it. It's over. <laughs> Goku, please. I believe you will save the Earth. I just won't be here to see it. <sighs> Krillin closes his eyes, accepting death. The energy blast is released. Krillin continues with his eyes closed, and it is strange that the blast of energy did not hit his body. When Krillin opens his eyes, he sees a gigantic being in front of them. Krillin says, huh? What is this? Who are you? Huh? Can only be a mirage. Am I dead? Shaki laughs and says, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, if we don't have a visitor... Who are you? The mightiest warrior appears and says, Don't mess with them. If they're Goku's friends, they're my friends. I am Broly, the Saiyan of the Universe 7, and the end of your life is now! The battles are starting to get complicated in each universe. While some of the warriors are inside the palace of the High Priestess Akai, other warriors are having hard fights after the Lama was released and opened the portal of the dragons and demons of their kingdoms. Earth, Krillin, Yancha, and Tien were about to be eliminated by the rain demon dragon Shaki. Until the moment the Saiyan with stronger potential arrives, Broly says, you're causing serious problems here on the planet of Goku's friends. I suggest you get back to where you came from if you don't want to be killed. Shaki starts to laugh and says, <laughs> Who do you think you are, mortal? Do you know who you're talking to? I am part of Salama's elite dragons. 
the great creator of the Super Dragon Spheres. Know that within the realm of demons there are several extremely powerful beings. As the dragons become more powerful, they manage to raise their race within the rankings of dragons until the strongest is noticed by Zalama. That's how I... Just as Shaki was about to finish speaking, a big fist is thrown at his face. Shaki receives an extremely fast punch from Broly in his face form, causing his body to be thrown away. I don't care about this kingdom of dragons. I've been tasked with protecting the earth and you're being a threat to it. So get the hell out of here before I lose my temper. Shaki gets up in disbelief and says, What is this? I didn't expect this attack. This guy, you seemed so cool, but now I can see that inside you there is a monstrous strength. <laughs> you even look like that guy. Who is Shaki talking about? Broly's your name, isn't it? Perfect then! I declare you worthy of knowing the true strength of Shaki, the Rain Dragon Demon! Clouds begin to gather and lightning begins to appear from the sky towards Broly. Broly easily dodges and says, It seems that the name of Rain Dragon Demon is not for nothing. This guy can do the manipulation of the weather. Shaki says, <laughs> Weather manipulation, you say? You don't know anything. Shaki's rule of the Rain Dragon Demon! Strength of the Lightning God! Ragnarok! The moment Shaki activates his secret technique, a gigantic dragon god of rage appears in the sky and with a rage in the shape of a hammer, points the hammer at the ground where the Z warriors are. Broly says, What is that? If you use this attack, I would be able to escape, but everyone else would die. Damn it. Shaki says, Finally, your time has come. Face this! <laughs> no die! Ragnarok! The god of lightning hits the ground and a big bang of explosion occurs. All the warriors notice the explosion that had occurred. Goat in a trunks fighting Ryzen speak. What was that? What monstrous energy is this? Ryzen says, It looks like Sharky's Ragnarok has been activated. <sighs> As soon as I finish with you, I will join him and destroy you all! Ha ha ha! Frieza, while fighting Black Cooler, says, <laughs> It means your little friends are destroying everything around you, isn't it, Cooler? If I were you, I'd pay more attention to this fight! Ow! Otherwise, you might end up dying for nothing. Kula launches a large blast of energy at Frieza. Going back, we find Krillin and the others. A large smoke appears after Sharky's attack is launched. Sharky just sees smoke being released. <laughs> you annoying worm! Did you think you could defeat the big Taki? The gods are on my side! You could never do anything! Now you and your friends are all dead! <laughs> At that moment, when the smoke dissipates, Shaki got scared and says, It's not possible! Someone like you! At that moment, Broly with his clothes all torn apart and his body all wet from having been receiving rainwater, he has created a barrier with his key to protect Curly and the others while he received a full attack from Shaki. Broly says, <sighs> Damn it, that hurt. Desperate Shaki speaks, Impossible! This guy is no ordinary mortal. He managed to withstand an elemental attack from a god. An angry Broly says, You again tried to kill my friends without hesitation. Now you will not be forgiven. Broly begins to raise his key and transform into the Super Saiyan, making the entire location shudder. Broly walks forward and says, Let's get this over with. Broly advances directly towards Shucky, dodging all the lightning attacks that were launched. Broly begins to reflect as he laces up. It seems that my training on the planet of Mr. Beerus and soon after with the Daishinka made me become a much calmer and more peaceful being. Flashback. Broly was fighting Goku and Vegeta on planet Beerus. Goku says, Let Broly show his full potential. Vegeta says, Come on, you've been hiding your power since the time you fought us on Earth. If I use that power, I could end up killing you. I would never use that energy and lose my control. Broly increases his power more and more and starts to attack Goku and Vegeta insanely. 
Beerus appears and says, Enough of that. Broly, I need to make you control your powers. After all, I promised that to Shalai. Beerus blushes whenever he mentions Shalai. Beerus keeps talking. You have extremely high powers. Perhaps you could even be eligible for a god of destruction. You must control it. I confess that your power is totally a different essence. You and your normal state are peaceful like the ultra instinct of angels. But when you lose control, you are practically a carnage machine worse than a god of destruction. You will have to undergo training to control this. Okay, and Vegeta? I Broly trained directly with me. Whis watches and says, It looks like Mr. Beerus is wanting to do this to help Broly. <laughs> The real reason we know is to make Shilai happy. <laughs> Shilai looks and says, Broly will get more and more powerful. Broly goes through days of training until Beerus says, Broly, are you ready? Now you can control the god powers. But get this, in many moments the fury can be an advantage in battle for a Saiyan. I highly doubt that your berserker form is your last stage. So always look for more power. Broly smiles. Back to current times. Broly advances towards Shaki. Shaki says, This bastard is getting closer to me. There's no way. We're safe. My most powerful attack again. Ragnarok. Broly keeps advancing and says, This guy's going to do that devastating blow again. I've always learned to control my anger so I don't hurt people. I always wanted to control my anger so I don't hurt anyone. But this guy is different. He's a villain, a bad guy who needs to be destroyed. Unlike other times, I don't want to use my strength to cause a big catastrophe. But I want to use my fists to bring justice. Shaki attacks with Ragnarok and says, Goodbye, Broly! Broly activates his berserker form and angrily speaks, Akai! Akai destruction energy comes out of Broly's hand. And the Ragnarok and Shaki when crushing with Broly's energy is totally swallowed. Shaki says, <gasps> Impossible! What did you do to my blow? Broly advances and is face to face with Shaki and launches a great blast of Akai energy from his mouth that completely disintegrates Shaki. At that moment, the rain passes by and the beautiful sun begins to shine. Broly deactivates his berserker form and says, <sighs> This guy was strong, but he got into a fight with the wrong person. After saying that, Shaki's head falls from the sky. Shaki says, uh, uh, You had to destroy my head, you imbecile. You felt sorry for me. Uh, uh, you should call yourself a son of God for possessing that strength and being able to stop my reign. Uh, your name is Broly. Broly. I will never forget. When Shaki is about to finish his sentence, Krillin throws a big key blast at his head, destroying him completely. Krillin says, Sorry, Broly. I couldn't let him finish talking. This is war, after all. Broly responds with a smile. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Back to the battle of Goten and Trunks. Ryzen realizes that Shaki had been destroyed and gets even angrier. <laughs> Why? Trunks looks at Goten and says, Hey Goten, now that he's really mad, it's our time. It's the last time we're going to use the technique, okay? Goten smiles and says, <laughs> All in, Trunks. Fusion! Ha! Ryzen speaks. What is that now? Big smoke rises and the combined voice of Goten and Trunks speaks. I am not Goten or Trunks. I am Gotenks. I am the warrior who will send you to hell. Odds of destruction from the past. Goku's true power can be sealed. What is happening? Planet Beerus. Goku had carried out his training alongside Beerus and Whis for two years in a row, while Gohan and Vegeta carried out their training directly in the time chamber. The Z warriors were no longer the same until the moment Beerus says, Goku, let's see what will happen. Looks like you're finally ready. Goku watches and speaks. What are you talking about, Sir Beerus? 
I'm ready for what? I'm sure that now I manage to get much stronger, no matter what enemy comes to fight me, I'll be victorious. But what do you mean by that? Now am I ready? At that moment, Beerus says, The real threat will arrive now, and you will be Goku's target for sure. Planet Beerus The moon seemed to be in a controversial direction. We says, It seems that within this galaxy, we are seeing a full moon which is quite complex, since on the planet Beerus, the moon couldn't stay that way. It is said that when the moon is like this, the constellations end up crossing each other, and that is when the celestial gate can be opened. I think the real enemies are close to arrive. At that moment, Goku didn't understand anything that was happening. Goku says, Mr. Whis, I managed to master the full Ultra Instinct now, and you told me that after I managed to show this transformation, no one else would be able to defeat me. So it doesn't make sense that some threat can stop me now. Whis responds, Lord Goku, you are quite powerful indeed, but here we are talking about enemies who fought in the past and caused great problems even for Zenosama. You may have remembered that Sir Beerus once said that in the old days, Zenosama's powers were much greater. But for a certain reason, they had to be sealed when the 18 of the universes that existed were attacked and six ended up having to be erased. These six universes were considered to be the most powerful universes where the gods of destruction had great battle ability. So here we will be able to really understand which enemies will appear. Mr. Beerus knows them very well. At that moment, Beerus begins to observe and says, Goku, I need you to fight me now. Goku doesn't understand why Beerus is challenging him. Goku says, But why this now, Sir Beerus? And I don't need to test my powers. After all, Vegeta learned his full training using Ultra Ego, so it doesn't make much sense for me to end up showing something like that. Come on, let's take it easy. At that moment, Beerus starts attacking Goku. Goku dodges with his Ultra Instinct and Beerus activates his Ultra Ego form. Goku starts to smile and says, I don't know what you're planning, Sir Beerus, but if you really want to fight, then come on. At that moment, Goku activates his second stage of Ultra Instinct, which makes Wee smile and be impressed by the skill that Goku is showing. Goku starts to land several blows on Beerus. Beerus starts laughing and says, Well done, Goku. It means that you are managing to fight on an equal footing with me. But what would you say if you had to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with all my race, the true warrior race? Goku is startled and receives a blow from Beerus. Goku deactivates his transformation and says, What are you talking about, Sir Beerus? An entire race of powerful beings like you? That would be crazy. In fact, if we stop to think about it, it would be something more complicated than even fighting the entire race of Saiyans. That couldn't happen. We starts laughing and says, This is the thousandth year after the sealing of the Six Gods of Destruction. Surely the Six Gods of Destruction are alongside the Six Angels that existed in these universes. For some reason, the moon is in a totally different shape. They will come back. One of those universes that was erased by Zenosama was the universe of Lord Beerus himself. Goku is startled and says, But how could this have happened? Is Sir Beerus not of this universe? Whis continues talking. In Lord Beerus's universe, the race of beings was the warrior race. Mr. Beerus was a prodigy being, but his father and his brother Others of his brothers were extremely powerful and were regarded as beings that could end up destroying anyone. But other than that, still the angels and the other gods of destruction possessed astronomical fighting power that maybe if they were combined, the powers of all these six universes could have more strength even than the high priest and all other beings that existed there. We will need to analyze everything and understand the situation. Can you pay enough attention to this, Mr. Goku? 
A new battle may indeed be appearing and being created right now. An explosion on the planet Beerus occurs, everyone is scared, an evil being appears within the planet Beerus. Beerus is startled and speaks. Looks like it went the same way I thought. So that means you managed to get here before I thought. Beerus seemed to know the mysterious being. At that moment, Goku says, Who is this guy? The unknown being begins to laugh and in a few moments in the palace of Zenosama, the great priest is faced with the angels and the gods of destruction from the past. A new battle begins. Planet Earth. Gohan and Vegeta leave the time room. Gohan after reaching his final form too and Vegeta having mastered the Ultra Ego feel a great energy. Vegeta says, Hey son of Kakarot, you really are showing extremely high skills. It amazes me. But still, you haven't gotten over me. Gohan starts laughing and says, Don't count so much advantage, Sir Vegeta. I managed to show extremely high powers. I'm sure if you had fought Cell Max, you wouldn't have been able to defeat him so easily. Don't discredit my powers. Every time I can get stronger, after all, I am the prodigy of Universe 7. Gohan and Vegeta sense a beam of energy light years away from Earth. Gohan says, You notice this energy comes from the planet Beerus and it's definitely not my father. Vegeta begins to analyze. It's happening with Kakarot. It's not making much sense. It looks like some other battle is being created here. We'll have to analyze. Planet Beerus. Beerus is thrown away by the unknown presence. The unknown presence, he says. Beerus, we have no problem with you here. Our problem is directly with this Saiyan. You without your race completely, you are nothing. You are just a powerful being. But the race of this Saiyan is a little more complicated because we have several Saiyans existing here in the world. In all the analysis that your majesty carried out, we could see that the being that was most powerful among all was Son Goku. So I have a mission to capture him. I think you better not want to do anything about it. At that moment, Goku starts to laugh and says, It won't stay that way. I won't let you capture me. I'm going to end you here now. Goku begins to fight with the unknown presence. The unknown being starts to dodge and says, I already said, this is the beginning of a war, and in a war, the fair does not always win. Goku doesn't understand what was happening. A dark energy surges over his body and makes him lose all his energies. Beerus weakened for some reason says, We have fallen into the enemy's trap. You planned all this, didn't you? Was this your trap? Goku loses his Ultra Instinct form and his body is sealed away. The unknown being says, Good, now we'll have to take Son Goku directly to another galaxy. If you want Son Goku back, they will have to enter this new celestial war. Your majesty is already setting accounts with a great priest. I hope you are lucky, my good friend Beerus. Beerus says, it seems that we are now in a life or death situation for all universes. Two presences appear on the planet Beerus. Gohan and Vegeta arrive on planet Beerus via Vegeta's teleportation. Gohan says, What happened to my father? Vegeta speaks, Where is Kakarot? I felt his energy moments ago and now it's gone. Beerus responds, We have a big problem. A new war is starting and Goku has been captured. We have fallen into the enemy's trap. Gohan gets angry and speaks up. That will not remain like this. No matter what, we will bring my father back. Vegeta starts laughing and says, A being that managed to capture Kakarot. This is amazing. Now I can show my superiority and my true Saiyan instinct. Whis watches and speaks. These Saiyans don't get along. As complicated as the situation is, they just want to show that they are more powerful.
Beerus is forced to eliminate his entire race to save and bring balance to all universes. After the events have occurred and Goku is going through various complications, Goku is sealed away in an empty dimension by the gods of the past. Beerus on his planet starts talking to Whis, Gohan and Vegeta. Gohan wonders, who captured my father? My father became much more powerful. He is much stronger than before. How could this have happened? Vegeta says, Surely it is some being that has some kind of trick to have managed to do this. If we stop to think, several celestial beings keep appearing and wanting to destroy everything. Surely things can get more intense in the course of all this. At that moment, Vegeta observes and speaks. But apparently, Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis know all the things that are going on. Beerus says, Well, I think you are Saiyans and are considered the warrior race that is the most powerful in this universe. They are considered to be those beings who possess the most intriguing power. But the big problem is that you don't know my race, the race of destruction cats. Gohan and Vegeta watch and say, what? Are you saying that you guys have something to do with what happened? Beerus says, Before you think about making any decisions, I will need to tell you everything that happened in the past. For you to have a sense of gravity and everything that is at risk before entering the battlefield, the true heavenly war, the real battle that ended up causing major complications in several races. Gohan and Vegeta are watching next to Whis. Millennia ago, Universe 15, the planet of the destructive cats. Beerus was next to his entire family. His race was very powerful. There was always a kind of tournament where everyone trained to see who would be the most powerful destruction cat. At that time, Beerus was talking to his father. I will be the strongest of all. Nobody will be able to defeat me. I will show my real strength and you will understand why I will emerge victorious in this tournament. Beerus since was a little prodigy of his race. Several other warriors of Beerus's race showed a great performance and we could see that the fights became more and more intriguing. Beerus during several tournaments was defeated. His own father who was the king of the planet of destruction cats showed a much higher performance until the moment when his father had very intriguing questions and said, Beerus, one day we will end up with everyone, unlike Saiyans from Universe 7 or other beings from any other universe. We have much more powers than any of them. We can end everything at any time. We can make this all different and dominate even those other heavenly beings. I'm sure that many other universes, even the other gods of destruction want to rebel against other celestial beings as well. But still what worries me is if we don't. Perhaps another war could be created because we have the greatest power. They would never accept that beings like the cats of destruction as well as the cold demons of Frieza's race would be considered such powerful beings. They don't accept it. We know that the supreme entity is the great priest. We can become the targets. Can you understand that, Beerus? You can see that our race being considered the most powerful of all the universes can be decimated by a celestial being that with just one attack can erase any universe. Or even a horde of angels can want to destroy us. We need to resolve this. These were the ideals and thoughts of the king of the planet of Doomcats. Beerus's race, as powerful as it was, held an ideal that it could not be subjected to or questioned by any other race. Beerus grew up and matured and from hearing so much about the issues of destruction, Beerus started to get more and more powerful until the moment he learned the techniques of destruction like Hakai.
What impressed several other gods, little by little, Beerus was gaining the fame of the destroyer cat due to several planets that defeated enemies at the behest of his father, the king of the planet of the cats of destruction. But he always wondered if this role was right. Until that moment, Beerus's father says, Beerus, you must become the strongest being and with that we will eliminate all other beings and then we will go after the celestial entities. Time passed and a new tournament on the planet of the cats of destruction took place. Beerus emerged victorious. Beerus says, Each time I manage to become more powerful, it seems that my energy is now capable of finishing anyone. Does that mean then that this is the power of destruction? But according to all the knowledge I have, I really need to bring balance and the way you want to do it is wrong. You want to end everything and everyone just to show supremacy. That is not the true power of a god of destruction. A destroyer must cause equilibrium so that further losses do not occur. Death is a path for everyone, but only a god can choose or let free will make mortals do their thing. At that moment, some mortals would want to attack the gods. This is not right. At that instance, Beerus's father and Beerus's race begin to turn against him. A great war begins. Beerus says, I don't want to hurt any of you. This cannot happen. Please stop. At that moment, Beerus's father says that he will destroy all other planets and that Beerus willingly or unwillingly will end all the other existences and that the end is near. At that moment, a huge explosion happens directly on the planet of the Cats of Destruction. Beerus starts crying. The Hakai's position is made. After the Hakai is performed, the entire planet of the Destroyer Cats and the entire race of Beerus is destroyed by Beerus. Beerus goes to Zenosama's palace. The great priest appears in front of him. To what do we owe his presence here, boy? What do you want to do? At that moment, Beerus says, I feel like I've been chosen as the destroyer. I am the true god of destruction and the strongest. I need you to elect me as the most powerful god of destruction. The great priest starts to smile and says, If what you say is really true, you will have to prove that you will bring balance. I could see that the breed of destruction cats no longer exists. You are quite ruthless, a being who had the courage to eliminate his own race. Could he bring balance? Do you really think about bringing balance to the world? But have you ever wondered that there are other races that also think the same thing? If you don't do something about them, or if a god of destruction doesn't do something about them, the other universes are in danger. So now you have a task, Beerus. Destroy all other beings that want to end the universal imbalance. Back to the current moments. Gohan asks, So that's how you became the god of destruction? Whis watches and speaks. A few more things happened, but what you need to know is that after millennia, from what we can tell, the entire race of Beerus is back, and now they want revenge on all the gods of the past. The question is, how was it possible for them to return? Beerus makes a serious frown on his face and says, I know all too well how they behave in battle. They never learn. I had specific reasons for doing what I did. This time, it won't be at the Hakai base. We will fight to the end in hand-to-hand -hand combat.
After the events of Goku being captured by the unknown being directly on the planet Beerus, and Gohan and Vegeta discovering about the past of the race of Beerus the Destroyer and understanding about the race of the Destruction Cats. In an unknown galaxy, a great bang was taking place. Galaxy of Universe 15, the Galaxy of Despair. A being in chains was there. A great worry ended up occurring among all the universes. The unknown being says, Thanks to our trap, it wasn't too difficult to capture this guy. But I confess that his powers, if I had let him, could have been much more complicated. I believe that Saiyans in a melee fight have extraordinary powers, but when we talk about magical powers, they may not be able to contain that much. After all, they are the warrior race. At that moment, a being lying on the ground and chained starts to appear. He wonders, Where am I? How did I get here? Who put me here? Damn it. Mr. Beerus. Mr. Weiss. This couldn't have happened. I don't seem to feel the presence of any earthlings. It looks like this place is completely empty. What's going on here? The wind blows and the chained being turns out to be Goku. It seems that now the Saiyan of Universe 7 is in serious trouble. What will happen to Goku? At that moment, the unknown being appears and says, Does that mean you woke up, son Goku? So you are that Saiyan who managed to show a great performance in the Tournament of Power and then managed to raise your energy more and more. I mean, that's what your training resulted in, and that's how you managed to show great skills. I could already suspect, but know that you'll still be useful to us. But first, you'll have to do some things we tell you to do. Chained Goku says, Who are you? You're crazy if you think I'm gonna do something for you. Just by feeling the energy, I realize that you are powerful, but you are not good people. I would never subject myself or stop helping my friends to help someone who was evil. When I get out of here, I promise I'll finish every one of you. The unknown being speaks. Well, it looks like these Saiyans don't really take it. It was much easier back in the day when they were just Frieza's minions. Frieza knew how to tame these animals. He knew how to take care of all this. But it seems that even this kid got rusty. I don't think we'll have much choice but the method of divine torture. Goku begins to receive several beams of light energy over his body, causing him to lose his stage of Ultra Instinct 2 that he had just discovered. Soon after, Goku is traumatized and says, What's up? In a few moments, a silhouette of a woman appears and says, Son Goku, now you will have to know the true power of a celestial entity. You will help us to end Zenosama and the great priest and those who are among the five most powerful in the universe. This is a matter of time. You will just have to be tamed. Goku observes and speaks. Who is talking? Who are you? Show yourself. At that moment, a beautiful woman with blue skin appears in front of Goku and says, I am the one who will make you change everything and see you wake up to the true reality. I am Zyros, the angel of Universe 15 who was previously erased by Zenosama. Goku says, What? Universe 7, Planet Beerus. Beerus says, I hope that after you found out that I wiped out my own race, you are aware of everything that is happening. Probably from these six universes that were destroyed, all the gods of destruction and all the angels that are very angry with Zenosama are back, including the destroyer races that would be Frieza's race and also my race. So now you get a sense of what it's like to be in true chaos. Surely. Zenosama's palace could be under some threat soon. Some beings will still arrive here, only this time I can't feel the slightest bit of energy from Goku. I have no idea where he could be, 
Maybe we need to gather the super dragon balls and try to understand what happened. Because all the other universes were revived, the real problem will be here now. We says, Sir Beerus, why are you having the reasoning to gather the super dragon balls? There is a man who is the one who knows everything and that is where we must go. Beerus responds, so you say that the creator of the oracle fish is the true being who knows everything. Alright, let's go to Zuno. Everyone starts watching and Gohan says, I'm sure my father is very strong. He'll never give up in a battle. He will be able to resolve this whole situation. Mr. Vegeta, I think it's time for us to show the result of our real training. That training that is training capable of defeating anyone. Let's show our true strength now. The situation begins to become totally different. Many skills begin to be unveiled. Directly in Universe 15, Anja Zairo starts laughing. Chained Goku says, I don't know where you're seeing so much fun. I will get out of here and finish you off. Stop being cowards. I fell into your trap. Let me go and let's fight a fair fight. The angel Zyros comes close to Goku and makes Goku feel ashamed. Goku activates his Ultra Instinct stage and begins to dodge several attacks that the angel Zyros and the unknown being try to launch on him. Goku says, Even shamed, you won't be able to touch me. I managed to dodge thanks to the mastery of auto movement that was learned by Mr. Whis. At that moment, the angel Zyros starts to laugh and says, so you were trained by my brother Whis. I haven't seen him in a long time. Know that I am ten times more powerful than him, even though he uses Ultra Instinct. Goku is startled and speaks. What? This can only be a joke. She's saying she's more powerful than Mr. Whis. The angel Zyros teleports directly in front of Goku. Goku speaks. Damn, I let my guard down. At that moment, the angel Zyro says, Now you will receive my most powerful technique. The angel Zyro gets ready and gives Goku a kiss. Goku says, Why did you do that? An aura leaves Goku's body and enters Anja Zyro's body. Shortly after that, another aura is passed on to Goku's body. Goku says, What was this? At that moment, the angel Zyro speaks. Well done, Goku. You will need to help us in this celestial war. However, you will have to understand first what it was that caused all this war. Why even the angels want revenge against the great priest himself and against Zenosama himself. They are variants and questions that you will understand what happened or the whole truth about your race. Goku watches and speaks. What are you talking about? That's not possible. What happened to my race? Zyros responds. Don't you find it a bit strange to come to imagine that in such a short time when things used to happen, you were sent to Earth and right after you were sent to Earth, when you got older, your brother came along and started wanting to cause a great catastrophe at all. Don't you think it's a little weird that this happened, Goku? Can you understand now everything that was being developed? Goku doesn't understand and says, Come on, be more specific. Just say what you mean. Where are you going with all this? At that moment, some things start to change. Goku starts having hallucinations in his head. A small flashback is brought up. This small flashback that is shown in Goku's head begins to show the time when Saiyans ruled the planets. Goku watches and says, What? Where am I? At that moment, he sees the image of Beerus and soon after, he sees the image of his father and Frieza next to his father. Frieza is preparing to destroy everything. Goku says, What's happening? This isn't making any sense. What does my father have to do with all this? And why did Mr. Beerus know Frieza at this time? Zyro starts laughing and says, Get ready, Goku. You will discover the truth 
and who is the real villain of this story. Goku discovers the whole truth. Beerus was the one who ordered the elimination of his entire race. Goku discovers that Beerus ordered Frieza to destroy the Saiyan's planet. A great catastrophe really occurred after Goku received the kiss of death blow from the angel Zyros. Goku started to have several thoughts in his head. The angel Zyros says, Good, I think now you will understand that we are not real enemies, Goku. You will understand that you were the sin chosen to avenge your entire race. Initially, you had fought Frieza and everyone had thought that Frieza was the real boss of everything. But the enemy has always been on your side, training you and showing his real power. The real enemy is the destructive cat, Beerus. At that moment, Goku starts to say, I'm not understanding what's going on. Why am I having visions of a past I didn't live in? You mean this was me as a child? And this will be my father and mother? Was this the Saiyan planet? But what is happening to me? This isn't making sense. You mean they all had something planned? I need to understand the situation more. But what is Sir Beerus doing next to King Vegeta? Did Mr. Beerus know King Vegeta? Now he's at Frieza's side. My father knew something was going to happen. The angel Zyros raises the frequency of the aura energy that was transplanted into Goku and says, Pay attention and really see what happens, son Goku. Planet Beerus Beerus says, It feels like I'm feeling an energy light years away. It looks like the other six universes ended up returning. Whis, what do you have to say about it? Your brothers are now back. Can they really cause a major complication? I confess, I don't really know how we're going to deal with this. You are fully aware that if one of these beings end up showing their true powers and whoever is controlling Goku can cause a great catastrophe to be created. Are you aware of everything that can happen? In that instance, Whis watches and responds, Mr. Beerus, the great catastrophe is already created, but we don't have much more alternatives. Even though Gohan and Vegeta are here, they trained in the time room, but we will need to test their powers to see if they can really show something different and within this celestial war, we will have to gather the most powerful warriors in this universe. Even before we want to know about Lord Goku, I believe that a very catastrophic energy is taking over Zenosama's palace. For sure, a new battle is being created. Does my father need help or is he taking care of this whole situation? I confess that I am quite worried about this. Let's wait and see what will happen. Back in Universe 15, Goku starts having major pains in his head. Goku begins to see everything that has happened in the past. In a few moments, Goku closes his eyes and when he opens them, he finds himself in another scenario. The Planet of the Saiyans King Vegeta talks to Prince Vegeta. One day you will reign over all this, my son. One day our race will be the race that will have and will be the power of everything. We Saiyans, we have great potential. On the day you become the legendary Super Saiyan, we will wipe out Frieza and everyone else. Goku observes and says, Does that mean that was Vegeta's father? Was this the being that possessed great abilities and could defeat anyone? But he doesn't seem to have great fighting power. What is going on? Goku looks at a being that was totally like him. Goku says, That scar on his face. I'm sure that must be my father. He looks just like me. Just like Goten looked like me when I was a kid. So what does that mean? What's going to happen? My father seems to be more powerful than King Vegeta himself. Goku sees Bardock fighting several Frieza soldiers. Goku says, My father knew everything. My father knew who the real threat was. Does that mean he always imagined that Frieza could cause big problems? 
That doesn't make much sense. Does it mean that many battles could still be caused? But why these wars? If the Saiyans performed all of Frieza's tasks, why did Frieza really want to end it all? Frieza appears talking to Dodoria and Zarbon. Frieza says, Saiyans are very troublesome. Of course, I am the tyrant of the universe and I fear nothing. But one day, it was said that these primates can transform into an extremely powerful being. I'm not in the mood to cause big problems for the universe, so I need to nip this evil in the bud. After all, one day I will still want to become a god of destruction. And as a god of destruction, I can't let things fail. I need to pay close attention and see how we will solve all this. Goku starts to get more confused and says, Does that mean that Frieza already knew everything? He was performing this at the behest of someone. Goku sees his own image being reflected as a child. Bardock and Gine are sending Goku straight to Earth. Goku sees his farewell. Goku looks and speaks. It seems my dad always cared about me. If he hadn't done that, something worse could have happened to me. This really is amazing. Thank you so much, father. Large explosions begin to happen on planet Vegeta. Several Saiyans begin to be killed. Goku says, What is it? It cannot be. Like this? After the explosions happen, we can see that the worst starts to happen. Frieza and his entire army start killing Saiyans for Saiyans. Bardock is not satisfied and decides to challenge Frieza. Bardock tries to attack Frieza but he can't and through a great blow of destruction, Frieza eliminates the entire planet Vegeta. Goku is enraged to see Bardock and Gine being killed by Frieza. Goku says, Frieza, you were very cruel. I knew of your atrocities but I would never have imagined that you could do this even to my race and my kin. After Frieza destroys the Saiyan planet, the angel Zyro says, Do you notice, Goku, all that happened now? Can you understand? Goku says, That's not possible. I can't believe this actually happened. Goku's body begins to collapse several times. Zyro says, but now you will have to see the real truth. Goku starts watching after the Saiyan planet has been eradicated and sees that Frieza goes directly to the planet of destruction. Beerus appears and speaks. Very well, you did what I actually ordered you to do. Now you can be considered the tyrant of the universe. You really want to surpass my powers, Frieza. You'll have to train light years from here. Goku sees and speaks. You mean that Sir Beerus ordered Frieza to eliminate the entire Saiyan planet? Zyro says, Exactly. Can you understand? Soon after would be Beerus' sleep. Beerus also feared that the Saiyan of his dreams would show up and end up wanting to steal his place from the God of Destruction. So Beerus would only train them so that they could get more powerful and while their sleep occurred, they would bring balance just on a simple whim of the God of Destruction. Can you understand the gravity of this situation, Goku? Goku starts to get angry and says, All these deaths, all this happened only because of Beerus. I can't believe it, but I can't let it happen. I will resolve this entire situation now, no matter what. Goku starts to have the image of his mother, Gine, in his arms and says, All of you could be alive if it weren't for the whim of the God of Destruction of Universe 7. Sir Beerus, you have to pay me back. This couldn't have happened. Goku starts to get angry and breaks the chains he was chained in. Zyro says, Very well. It looks like your power is really getting bigger. The unknown being from afar speaks. It seems that the power of the 15th universe angel remains the same. You mean a kiss managed to do that? 
Indeed, this is the true kiss of death technique, the creation of the reality of destruction. Let's see how far Goku can be controlled and how far he can hold out. Goku says, I need to calm down, but the only thing I know is that I will destroy all those who ended my race. Zyro says, Well done, Goku. So let's begin your destruction training. Goku had received the kiss of death technique from the angel Zyros and after that happened, Goku learned about everything that happened in the past of his race. Goku says, So it was Mr. Beerus who ordered my entire race to be wiped out. Why did he want this? All this to bring power and balance? This is very wrong. I could never go against Mr. Beerus. After all, the last time we fought, he almost destroyed the entire earth. But for some reason, he decided to talk to Mr. Whis and he trained Vegeta himself. But I can't let that happen. You are not good either. What do you want from me? I need to get stronger to be able to control any of these things. How you want me to help in this celestial war, you will have to train me. At that moment, Angel Zyro starts to laugh and says, Anyway, you want to get more powerful than Beerus, don't you? Know that there are still other beings who will want to end everything. The other universes that returned, Beerus's own race and many other warriors will want to destroy everything. So you don't have much choice but to obey me, Goku. The unknown being that was there observes the angel Zyros and says, It looks like you're playing with fire. Zyros always wanted to cause this intrigue, didn't he? You want to make this Saiyan stronger. What is your real plan? It seems that even though he receives the kiss of death technique, he still manages to have some of his rationality. Let's take a good look at why things can get more and more complicated. We need to analyze. Some things can be a little more intense. Good. Let's see what will happen. At that moment, Zyros looks at Goku and says, Very good. You want to get stronger, isn't it, son Goku? Do you want to surpass the powers of your Ultra Instinct? Well then, now, you're all bruised. Let me heal your energy. Universe 15's Angel makes Goku's injuries heal. Zyro says, Looks like this outfit is all finished as well. Let's change these clothes. In that instant, in the snap of a finger, Zyros gives Goku a blue shirt and a yellow one. Goku sees and speaks. Wow, I've never worn an outfit like that. It's totally different from the clothes I got from Master Roshi. Zyros responds. You are now wearing the training outfit of the Universe 15 Angels. Now, we just have one task for you, son Goku. You want to get stronger, don't you? What you will have to do now is to fight one of the five most powerful in the universe. Goku is startled and speaks. What? It cannot be. Planet Beerus. Gohan and Vegeta start to act after hearing everything that was being said by Beerus and Whis. Gohan says, Good, I think I already know what we need to do. Let's look for my father in these universes. Mr. Whis, can you help me as I don't have the teleportation technique like Mr. Vegeta? It would be interesting if each of us looked for other universes. If this has any further repercussions, it would be necessary for you to warn all the other warriors on Earth so that we can make an alliance with the other universes so that we can bring my father back. In that instant, Beerus watches and speaks. Now we need to analyze this situation. I myself will go directly to Zeno Sama's palace. I feel that the high priest or some other supreme being is there. Gohan begins to analyze the situation and says, Perhaps it would be interesting for us to go there to understand everything that is happening. Whis responds, You're all mistaken. Don't think we're the only ones who want to protect Zenosama. 
You have to understand this situation very well. Now we will go after Zuno, the one who knows everything. Come with me, let's all walk together. If a bigger enemy appears, we'll all need help. So we won't split up. At that moment, Whis creates the celestial cube and takes everyone to Zuno's palace. The one who knows everything. Upon arriving there, Gohan, Beerus and Vegeta are surprised to see Zuno's palace destroyed. Gohan asks, What happened to you? Who did this? Zuno watches and speaks. I thought you guys had beaten him, but somehow he's backed by Goku Black side. Beerus remembers the Hakai he landed on Zamazu. Vegeta says, I'm pretty sure I beat that guy. Gohan watches and speaks. Who are you talking about? In the kingdom of Zuno, a voice arises and speaks. Saiyans, the Zero Mortal's plan still lives, and I will complete it now. Everyone is scared. Universe 15. The angel Zyro says, Exactly what you heard, Goku. You will have to fight one of the five most powerful in the universe. Goku observes and speaks. But who are you talking about? The angel Zyros replies. We're talking about Zyko, the Supreme Saiyan. In Universe 16, the mysterious being that was, the unknown being next to himself, Zyros says. This is quite a challenge for Son Goku. How could we imagine that he would be able to defeat him? Let's wait. At that moment, Goku speaks. If that's the power I need to get much more powerful and solve this whole situation, I will fight this guy. Zyro says, If I were you, I would pay close attention. You have no idea what the level of those who are among the five most powerful in the universe are. It doesn't matter who you fought. No matter what power or energy you've come to show, the strength of these guys is totally different than anything you've ever developed. Goku starts to laugh and speaks. It doesn't matter. I'm a Saiyan. This being you told me about, he's a Saiyan too, isn't he? So it doesn't matter. Somehow, I will emerge victorious in the face of it all. Goku asks Angel Zyros and the unknown being to take him to Universe 16. The Angel Zyros teleports Goku and the unknown being directly to Universe 16. A planet completely in ruins. Several bodies lying on the ground and completely dark sky. Goku says, What is this haunting place? What happened to this universe? It's totally different from Universe 15. It looks like it's a much darker place. The angel Zyro starts to laugh and speaks. You should know. I told you things would get very dark here. You need to understand. In this universe, it is considered as the universe of captivity. Any being that appears here is eliminated only by one man, one who is regarded as a lackey of the gods, Zyko, the ultimate Saiyan. Goku starts to get scared. A great energy surges over the Universe 16. A being with such energy appears and says, Let's see if we don't have a god of destruction, an angel and a mortal. I smell Saiyan blood. Is one of you three a Saiyan? It doesn't matter to me. Since they reach this universe, the three will be eliminated. A great pressure of energy is released on the angel Zyros and on the unknown being. Goku stops the pressure of energy that is released on the two at that instant. Goku says, so you must be Zyko, right? Goku activates his Ultra Instinct and speaks. Before you want to end up with the God of Destruction or an Angel, you will have to finish me first. That is, if you can. Zyko starts laughing and says, Then that's it. You must be mad that you came to challenge me. Let's dance. 
Goku and Zaiko are facing each other. One of the five most powerful warriors in the universe appears in front of Goku in Universe 16, the universe known as the Carnage of the Gods. That Supreme Saiyan who can finish off anyone who appears in his universe. In the past, Universe 16 was considered as the destroying universe of the gods. Only when someone was punished and punished for a heavenly crime was he sent for possible redemption. But this redemption was only possible if the being that was thrown into Universe 16 managed to get out alive. Nobody ever managed to get out of this place alive because whoever was there was the Supreme Sin, who was among the five most powerful in the universe, who had already waged several battles against the Great Priest. His name was Zyko, that Saiyan who wore a greenish outfit with whitish hair and black cracks on his face. His power was far greater than that of a god of destruction. After the angel Zyros appeared and began to tell Goku about the truth of the Saiyans and reveal everything about what had happened. The angel Zyros takes Goku alongside the unknown presence directly to Universe 16 saying that this would be the training that Goku would have to perform in order to become more powerful. The battle of Goku vs Zyko, one of the five most powerful in the universe begins. Goku in Universe 16 says, It means then that you are the one who wants to overcome everything and everyone. Don't you think I'll go easy on you? I'm not afraid at all. After all, if you manage to get strong this way, it's because you're a Saiyan. Know that I am too. At that instant, a shudder begins to occur within Universe 16. Zyko teleports behind Goku and says, you literally don't know who you're messing with, Saiyan. That will be your end. The battle begins. Goku raises his power directly to Ultra Instinct, while Zyko starts checking his ability and says, Even as a Saiyan, it's surprising that you can raise that power so high. Surely you must have had some angelic training. Looks fantastic. So does that mean that in Universe 7, there were such powerful Saiyans? Good. This is getting to be fascinating. So I'm going to have to raise a little bit more of my strength with you. Zyko raises his key infinitely. The other universes begin to shudder. Directly in Universe 7, everyone starts to realize that a Big Bang light years ago was happening. Krillin alongside the other Z warriors on Earth watch and speak. It feels like I feel Goku's energy from light years away. But at the same time, I can feel a power of a Saiyan that is much higher. Palace of Zuno, the one who knows everything. Everyone wonders where the voice that spoke of the Zero Mortals plan had come from. Everyone asks for more answers. Vegeta, Gohan, Beerus and Whis arrive at Zuno's palace and everyone feels the great energy that was being released there. At that moment, we can see that a great battle was about to begin. Beerus starts asking Zuno several questions. Zuno started making puns saying that so he could answer. Everyone would have to figure out the riddles he told. Beerus points as if to perform a Hakai directly on Zuno and speaks. We don't have time for Zuno pranks. I need you to help me right now. We are talking about the face of the universe. We starts to laugh and says, Don't be so rude, Sir Beerus. Zuno is also a celestial being and he's only doing it because it's his duty. Let's unravel his riddles. Directly to Universe 16, Goku begins to have great difficulties fighting Zyko. Zyros observes and speaks. It seems to me that Goku thought it would be easy to fight one of the five most powerful in the universe. When last year the heavenly war had been created, we can see that many things had happened differently and so the real skill that has been shown about them. We think about many things, 
we need to really try to understand how strong Zaiko has become since that time. If Goku will really be able to fight or if we'll have to discard him for the next celestial war. The unknown being says, Again you with these thoughts of yours, Zyros. You know very well that you would have to train this Saiyan in a totally different way. It seems that you already want to throw him directly on a path to be killed by the beings that appeared. You are very funny, but let's analyze very well everything that will happen. I'm sure one of these two won't be able to stand up after this battle, and it doesn't look like Zyko. Zyko begins to raise his powers more and more, and the power of the nascent Uzaru begins to rise over Zyko, but at the same time, a power of darkness begins to combine with his strength. True strength begins to show, everyone starts to understand, the true power is being revealed, the real energy is starting to develop. Goku starts to build up his strength because he knows that if he misses a move, he can be killed. His energy was starting to rise alongside Zyko's great energy. Goku tries to unleash several attacks on Zyko, but still he can't land any hits. It seemed like Zyko was always one step ahead of Goku. Zyko starts throwing several blows at Goku until the moment Goku falls to the ground. Zyko prepares to deliver the final blow. At that moment, the angel Zyro says, Good. Looks like it didn't work. I really believe that Son Goku could do something different, but it's really going to stay that way. Zuno's Palace After Zuno told everyone the whole truth, everyone starts to be shocked to see that the real enemies had made an alliance and all the universes were in great danger. Gohan says, It seems that the threat is much greater than we thought. This time the threat is universal. It appears that all universes will have to face great battles in my father's absence. We're really going to need to protect the Earth. A great boom erupts on Earth in Universe 7. Whis and Beerus say, Looks like you're going to have to resolve this situation before you go back in search of Goku. Gohan says, Come on, Sir Vegeta, Earth needs us. A dark being very similar to Vegeta with body hair appears on the ground and starts talking. So this is the Earth of Universe 7. Is this where the most powerful warriors in this universe exist? Very interesting. The time has come to end everyone here. Come on, now is the time. The being begins to destroy practically the entire universe. The Z warriors appear but the Z warriors end up getting a beating from the dark being. Gohan and Vegeta arrive on Earth after seeing everyone fallen to the ground. Gohan starts to smile and says, You seem to be very strong, managed to cause a major catastrophe in the midst of it all. But it doesn't matter, we were already waiting for you. That will be your end. A massive attack is launched at Gohan and Vegeta. The two are paralyzed and say, what is it? The being of darkness says, Does that mean that Saiyans believe they could do something against me? I will finish you now. Back to Universe 16. Goku lying on the ground becomes very weak and starts to reflect. If it really goes on like this, I am finished. This angel from Universe 15 doesn't care about me, and this unknown being I don't even know why he's watching this battle. If this really goes on like this, that will be the end of me. I need to think about what to do soon. Goku tries to activate level 2 Ultra Instinct. However, when Goku raises his power, his energy is drained. Zyko observes and speaks. It's no use trying to raise your power so much. Your energy is very pure. Within this universe, all the energy that is combined with the energy of an angel ends up being drained. You would need to have at least a little power of destruction to be able to raise your full strength. 
so that won't do much good. That will be your end, Goku. At that moment, even with the Ultra Instinct disabled, Goku tries to land several attacks on Zaiko. Zaiko starts to dodge and laugh and says, It looks like it's really good to play with another Saiyan. I swear that I will leave this universe to be able to end the beings that are among the most powerful. The great priest is still around, isn't he? I can feel his energy from light years away. Well, it doesn't matter. That will be your end, Goku. Zaiko launches Goku to the outskirts of Universe 16. The angel Zyro says, It looks like it didn't do any good. I think it's time to get out of here. Goku is just junk, by the way. At that moment, Goku begins to raise a great energy and a destructive power begins to be created. The entire planet begins to shake. Zaiko is impressed at that moment. Goku prepares to launch a massive blow at Zaiko and dodges. However, Goku manages to hit him in the face. Zaiko is knocked away. Goku at that moment falls to the ground and starts breathing heavily. Zaiko appears again and says, How dare you? Who do you think you are? Zaiko prepared to land the final blow on Goku. A new presence appears. A voice arises and speaks. Don't you think you can attack the mortal from Universe 7? After all, he's from my brother's planet. And if my brother can't help, I'm here to save this mortal. Furious Psycho says, Who is talking? A faint, unfamiliar smile appears. Goku was trapped in the battle against Zaiko, one of the most powerful warriors in all the universes. He was on the list among the five most powerful in the universe next to the Great Priest. Goku in Universe 16 had the toughest battle of his life after accepting training by Universe 15's angel Zyros. Zyros landed the kiss of death on Goku. The real battle had begun. The unknown being just watched everything that had been happening within all this fight. What will happen now? Just as Goku was about to receive Zyko's attack, Vados appears and saves him. Vados at that moment says, Let's see if you weren't close to being totally destroyed by Zyko. How long has it been, Zyko? Looks like you've gotten a lot more powerful. Zyros observes and speaks. How did you manage to get here in such a short time, Vados? Zyros starts to laugh. Maybe you already had this planned. You were always smarter, even than Whis himself. So does that mean you decided to help Goku? Know that your help will be of no use. After all, we are here to solve this whole situation. This fight is between Goku and Zyko, and by the way, Goku was totally destroyed. Vado starts to laugh and speaks. That's not for you to decide. I arrived here as I serve as a great help to Universe 7. In a few moments, Zyko appears behind Vados and tries to attack her. Vados dodges Zyko's blows and says, It means you are as treacherous as ever. How could I think anything different about the ultimate Saiyan? It's very funny, since the Celestial War, you act like this, Psycho. But don't worry, I'm not really in the mood to get more involved in your battles. Furious Psycho says, How dare you? Did you mess up my blow? You left Universe 6 to want to cause me here. I promise that I will now engage in this celestial battle and I will destroy one by one of you. Vado starts to laugh and says, Well, Zyros, in a little while I'll settle with you. Zyko doesn't need to worry. I'm just here to break the lock on Goku's training. He will defeat you himself. Furious, Zyko says, Are you going crazy? Are you trying to tell me that Goku will surpass my powers? 
I am the most powerful of all the universes. At that moment, Goku, with his eyes closed, starts to get up and a great power of Ultra Instinct begins to be revealed. Goku was no longer the same as before. Goku's powers start to increase more and more. Zyros and the Unknown Presence begin to find it strange. Zyros says, He was totally finished. What happened to him? Vado starts to smile and says, Looks like now the seed of Son Goku's power is finally showing. Get ready, you will know the power of the one who is the strongest. Planet Earth Gohan and Vegeta begin the fight against the evil Saiyan demon. He had taken down every other Earthling and every other Z warrior. It seemed that the fight was getting more and more intriguing. Gohan says, Mr. Vegeta, looks like this guy is really strong. This guy's power really isn't ordinary. If we hadn't trained in the time room, we might not even be alive right now. It seems that if there really is a horde of enemies as powerful as they are, we're going to have a lot of headaches going forward. Vegeta starts to laugh and says, It looks like you are giving victory to the enemy. You don't know what the great Vegeta is capable of. I am the prince of the Saiyans and the one who surpasses anyone's power. I will beat this guy alone. Get out of my way. Gohan sits while Vegeta shows off his performance against the evil Saiyan demon. Great rumblings begin to be created within the battlefield on Earth. Big explosions start to happen. Gohan says, Let's see, since Mr. Vegeta wants to show his true strength, he's definitely going to start showing all his ultra ego power. Let's see how strong you are, Mr. Vegeta. The battle continues. Planet Beerus Beerus, after talking to Zuno and discovering the whole plan for the destruction of the universes, knew that the big problem would still be caused. Beerus and we start talking. It seems that this has left us very confused. There is always a threat that appears. We know what we have to do. But this time, threats are complicating all universes. It looks like they are initially here in Universe 7. But I really don't know what we're going to do with the other universes. I hope they have such formidable and powerful warriors, because I don't really feel like having to solve other people's problems. The Celestial War is just beginning. We are going to need help. We says, Mr. Beerus, perhaps we owe the other universes favors since I can feel my sister's energy light years from here. Universe 16 is probably back, and for sure, Lord Goku is there. Vados wouldn't go to Universe 16 just on coincidence, but if we analyze very well, if Zyros from Universe 15 came back to life, surely she could be using her manipulation technique against Goku, and if Goku exceeds his powers, Really, the first person that he would want to go after is you, Sir Beerus. Probably my sister Zyros must have attacked him with the kiss of death and done the brain manipulation. So he will blame him for all the destruction of his race, even though he didn't have contact with her when he was little. Him seeing the image of his mother being killed by Frieza's army wouldn't be something he would take too lightly and it would make the real enemies easier to attack the entire Zenosama palace. What will you do in the face of this, Sir Beerus? Beerus starts to laugh and says, <laughs> This sounds fascinating to me. In the last Celestial War, I fought on the side of the Infinite Saiyan, that Saiyan who possessed the true power of Ultra Instinct. That battle really was amazing. And now the Saiyan, who has the greatest potential to show that performance, might want to turn against me. This is going to be funny. I've always trained Goku so that he could be that Saiyan who could one day replace me as a god of destruction. And now he wants to finish me off. We will need to pay close attention. Come on. A voice appears on the planet Beerus and speaks. It looks like you really don't care. 
Do you really think that some sin will finish you after so many years? Do you really believe that you would be killed by a sin, Beerus? We are here looking for revenge, and you will be the first to be destroyed. Whis frowns and says, It seems that what Mr. Zuno said was true. Anyway, another one of those who wants to end us has arrived here. Beerus starts laughing and says, I don't know how you were brought back, but millennia ago, I already had big problems with you, and that's why I needed to eliminate you. The only thing I need is to finish you again. Who appeared in front of Beerus? What is happening inside the planet Beerus? Who is behind all of this? Universe 16 Goku returned to fight Zyko. Zyko says, how did you get strong? How can you still fight? A few minutes ago, you couldn't even get up. What's happening? I can't understand. It looks like you managed to regain all your strength in a short period of time. It cannot work that way. Vado starts to laugh and says, It seems that the most powerful in the universe or the one who believes himself to be the strongest has not been able to resolve this situation very well. But it does not matter. Furious Zyko begins to land several blows on Goku. Goku wonders, Even though I manage to regain my energy, even though I feel that enormous power is flowing through my body, I still can't get over this guy. I need to get stronger. Vado says, Goku, think about it. The only thing flowing through your body is the energy of true destruction. You have to control the true power of Ultra Instinct so you can match your Saiyan power. Remember your training with Whis. Goku starts to smile at all the words Vados has been saying. The words started to make Goku reflect. Zyko tries to attack Goku again and says, now will be your end. I've had enough of you Saiyans. Soon after I will finish everyone else here. At that instant, a great aura of light begins to flow over Goku. His hair starts to grow and the power of the infinite Saiyan ends up being created over Goku's body. Goku activates his new infinite Saiyan form. His hair is much longer than before and an all-powerful aura over his body arises. Zyko is impressed. Goku uses a sealing technique and sends Zyko directly into the rubble of Universe 16. The Unknown Presence and Zyros are impressed. Vado starts to laugh. Zyro starts laughing and says, That was amazing. So Goku could still get stronger. But still not defeated. Zyko is just sealed. Zyro says, Let's go, Goku. We need to continue your training to end everyone in this heavenly war. Goku falls to the ground and loses all his energy. Vados appears smiling and takes Goku's body and says, I'm sorry, little sister, but that can't happen. I need to take Goku to Universe 6 and we'll see what we're going to do. This brainwashing of yours can't make one of the fundamental pieces of the Celestial War end up turning against Zenosama himself. Zyros tries to attack Vados directly and says, How dare you? How dare you? A Celestial Cube barrier had been created by Vados, and Vados ends up escaping from Universe 16 alongside Goku. Zyros is enraged and says, you will pay for this, sister. I will finish you. A big explosion happens in Universe 16. Zyko breaks Goku's ceiling barrier and says, I will destroy them all. Where is that Saiyan? A big smile appears on Zyros' face and says, Hey, Zyko. You're very angry with mortal Goku, aren't you? How about you leave this universe and join us in the Celestial War? In it, they will have several Saiyans and several warriors for you to finish off. If you want, 
you can still carry out your training by eliminating several planets and several universes. How about it? The Unknown Presence says, It seems that Universe 15's angel manipulation power continues to grow. Zyko starts to laugh and says, If that's what it takes to finish them all off, I'll do it. Especially with that sin who just fought me. You'll be ripped to shreds, Goku. Let's start. Planet Earth. Gohan is fascinated by what he sees, just as Vegeta begins to have major complications against the evil Saiyan using his Ultra Ego. Vegeta says, It seems that this guy is almost defeating me. I can't die here. Universe 6. Goku had been sent by Vados directly to Universe 6. The moment he managed to make a small seal on Zyko, one of the most powerful warriors in all the universes. Soon after, Zyko manages to escape and swore revenge on Goku and everyone else. Zyko, the warrior of destruction, has teamed up with the Unknown Presence and the Angel Zyros from Universe 15. The battle between all universes, the new heavenly war is about to begin. Meanwhile, the land had been invaded by the evil Saiyan demon that was fighting Vegeta and Gohan. Gohan started to watch as Vegeta said that he would use the utmost mastery of his Ultra Ego. Vegeta was lying on the ground. Gohan says, Mr. Vegeta, are you sure you don't need my help? The Saiyan demon says, it seems you Saiyans have a battle instinct that you can't fight an enemy together. This could cause your death. Are you believing that you alone managed to beat me? Even if the two fought together, they wouldn't be able to do anything in the face of my power. You will understand now why I was summoned to Earth. The true ideal was that I would directly end Goku. But since he is not here, I will destroy this planet completely and soon after, I will go under his capture. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and gets more and more powerful and tries to directly hit the Saiyan Demon. Vegeta says, I don't know why you had the objective to attack Kakarot, being that the most powerful one is here, the Prince of the Saiyans, the Great Vegeta. The Saiyan Demon says, What, can you still stand to stand? Lord Kai's planet. Lord Kai began to observe everything that was happening between all the universes. What is happening really feels like the beginning of a celestial war. As if that wasn't enough, we start to see all the destruction that is being caused. It seems like just yesterday that Goku managed to reach a power even higher than the Super Saiyan. Goku's strength doesn't really come to an end, but it's very good that he keeps training and keeps getting stronger. After all, what would all the universes be if there wasn't such powerful warriors? Even the gods end up making bad decisions. Beerus the Destroyer looks like he's having big problems, but who are these warriors from the past? In addition to races that are extremely powerful, wanting to bow against the gods, there are gods from the past wanting revenge from the great priest and Zenosama himself. Come on, Goku. We all trust you. Universe 6. Goku wakes up and starts smiling and says, Madam Vados, thank you so much for saving me. I can't understand what happened. How did you know I was there? Vados, next to Champa, starts to laugh and says, Lord Goku, I had a very intriguing dream and then I started traveling through some other timelines to see if this dream I had made any sense. I even looked for the Oracle Fish. I felt like I needed to save him. I analyzed the links between universes. Universe 7 was able to show that a big difference between all realms must happen. Goku didn't quite understand what Vados was saying. Goku says, I'm not sure what you're talking about, Miss Vados, but I need to get a lot more powerful. For a moment, I thought about attacking Mr. Beerus, 
but I know I only need to talk to him to understand all this that has happened. After all, that's in the past. If I can converse normally with Frieza myself today, it would make no sense for me to attack Mr. Beerus himself. We need to end whoever is causing this whole war. Vados begins to observe and says, It won't be that simple as the most powerful are around here. Know that you weren't able to defeat Zyko. Zyko still wants revenge. Surely that ceiling you managed to use with the power of the infinite Saiyan was not the full power capable of defeating him. He's still coming back and he probably made an alliance alongside Zyros. Lord Goku, pay close attention. Goku says, but I need to train here now. At that moment, Vado says, Soon after you will go to Universe 7, but your training will be accepted. You will be able to learn many things here in Universe 6. I just need to tell you one thing. I don't know if this is important to you, but the dream I had was that in another timeline, you were not married to Chi Chi, but to me. Mr. Goku, and from there, we had a son. After I questioned the Oracle Fish, I found this to be true. Goku is embarrassed and says, What? Like this? What are you talking about? That's not possible. Back to Universe 7. Gohan watched Vegeta showing his ultra ego and fighting with great mastery against the dark being. The power of Vegeta's ultra ego was incredible. Gohan says, It seems that Mr. Vegeta's strength really knows no bounds. This guy won't be able to do anything with him. Vegeta with his ultra ego activated begins to land several blows on the evil Saiyan. The evil Saiyan falls to the ground and speaks. You are really very powerful. So, this is my end. Vegeta starts laughing and says, Now you understand why I am the prince of the Saiyans. I am the most powerful and you were nothing. That will be your end. Vegeta starts powering up a big final flash. The evil Saiyan starts laughing and says, The way I wanted, now you were Vegeta. Gohan is impressed and says, Looks like it's some kind of trap. Mr. Vegeta, please don't do it. Just as Vegeta prepares to hit the final flash, Vegeta's arms start to get so. Vegeta falls to the ground and a huge blow is hurled over the Saiyan Prince's entire body. As Vegeta falls to the ground, he says, What was this? It feels like I've lost all my energy. I can't understand. One of the supreme powers of the Saiyan Demon is to steal all destructive energy. When Vegeta activated his Ultra Ego, the power of destruction had been emanating on Mars, causing the Saiyan Demon to absorb all the energy of Vegeta's Ultra Ego. Vegeta says, I can't believe I let my guard down for a worm like you. At that moment, the Saiyan Demon watches and speaks. Now it's over for you. This is the end of both of you. When the evil Saiyan prepares to deliver the final blow to Vegeta, Gohan directly activates his Beast Mode 2 transformation and prepares to land a big blow on the evil Saiyan. The evil Saiyan says, What was this? If this blow had caught me, I would surely be dead. Who is this boy? It has nothing to do with the power he displayed just moments ago. What's happening? Gohan starts laughing and says, I analyzed your entire battle style. You really don't stand a chance against me. Unlike Mr. Vegeta, I saw him let his guard down. I've been through this a lot in the past. Gohan remembers the slip he had when he fought Margin Buu. Gohan says, I won't go through this again. It won't happen to me. Gohan begins to rage and activates his power of destruction more and more. Gohan's power of destruction combined with his Beast Mode 2 makes all the universes begin to shake as he raises his power. 
Beerus on his planet watched everything that was happening after being invaded by an unknown presence and said, This Saiyan power is incredible, perhaps surpassing even Goku's strength. So this is the result of Son Goku's son's training. All the universes began to perceive. Universe 11. Vermouth, Makarita and Shiren begin to analyze. Vermouth says, Looks like you weren't the only one who managed to train, isn't Jiren? I think everyone is getting ready for the big battle. Back to Universe 7. The evil Sin starts laughing and says, No matter what you're doing, you can never beat me. Big explosions start to happen. Gohan was in a totally different way. Gohan can land several hits on the evil Sin, until the moment when Gohan says, I don't have much time to waste on this transformation. It takes a lot of my energy and I still haven't fully mastered it. Receive my most powerful blow, the Mystic Fist. Gohan hits the evil Saiyan with all his strength, causing his body to be thrown away. The evil Saiyan says, Looks like I let my guard down too much. I didn't expect that. I think it's time to back off. If I stay here, I could be killed one more time. That's not part of the plans. Son Gohan is your name, right? I will remember that name. My name is Zell. Engrave my name. After all, soon you will be killed by me. Zell flees the land. Directly at Zenosama's palace, several warriors are lying on the ground. The great priest says, Well, who do you think you are to invade Zenosama's palace? Let's see what I'll do with you. We need to interrogate you. It seems there is no way. All of them are already starting to attack. We will have to take action. As much as the battle can be complicated, I can smile because I haven't fought in a long time. Let's start. Planet Beerus the new enemy appears while Gohan had managed to resolve the situation on Earth and Goku, after fighting Zyko, was saved by Vados and taken to Universe 6. So far, the only planet that was suffering a major catastrophe was the planet of the destroyer planet Beerus. Beerus sees the enemy from the past and says, You really are back. You must have played a trick. You've always been cunning. Haven't you, Ziel? What's happening? Gohan was fighting on Earth, and the evil Saiyan also introduced himself by that name. Are there two Ziels? What is happening in front of this? Ziel says, Beerus, I'm just here to welcome you. It's starting now. Your entire race of destroyers is back now. The other universes are also in danger. After all, the great catastrophe is just beginning. This is the beginning of the great heavenly battle. We starts to get furious and says, I can't take it anymore. What Zuno said was true. You're back for a reason. Whis, unlike Beerus, gets much more enraged than Beerus when he sees Zeal's power. Zeal says, Look at this. I mean, you're mad at me just because you know I possess the power that nullifies the magic of angels. So you'd have to fight me in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And you know that without your mastery of self-movement, you wouldn't be able to do anything against me. Of course, coming to war takes a lot more than just great physical strength. My power really is light years ahead of yours, Whis. You can never beat me. At that moment, Beerus starts to get angry and says, But who said you will fight the Angel of Universe 7? You will fight the true strength of the Destroyer. Our fight starts now. Planet Earth. Gohan and Vegeta, alongside all the other warriors, are totally tired of the battle they had against the evil Saiyan, who proclaimed himself, calling himself Zeal. 
At that moment, the battle became more and more intriguing. In a few moments, we can see Gohan saying, That guy really had extremely high power. If the battle really continues like this, we will all be defeated. How is the great priest? After this battle, I can no longer feel his energy light years from here. It looks like it was a very intense fight. I hope he's okay. But we still need to recover so we can get back to Mr. Beerus's planet and start analyzing all this. Perhaps it would be much easier if some of the other celestial entities had repercussions. But so far it seems that the only problem is being caused here in our universe. Even though this celestial war is starting now. How are the other universes? At that moment in Universe 11, Jiren alongside Vermouth had defeated several specters that had appeared. Jiren says, These beings are being extremely weak. You mean they think about mastering everything? The Margarita Angel appears and speaks. Very calm at this time, Jiren. I feel that several other beings are approaching the energy of Universe 15, and it is certainly much more powerful. It seems that Zyrus is next to another being, and also Zyko, one of the most powerful in the universe. Where will they want to attack? Who will they want to face? We need to pay close attention to all of this. After all, there are still five more universes that haven't presented their other gods of destruction and my other brothers haven't emerged yet. I keep wondering what they're up to and why they don't love us. He still hasn't moved on to say anything. We need to understand this whole situation. At that moment, we can see that a great light year battle of all universes begins to be hatched. Beerus on his planet starts to have a big battle against Zeal. Zeal starts laughing and says, you are very weak, Beerus. All this time you kept sleeping as usual. This breed of destruction cats believe that just because they have great fighting power, they can end up wanting to do whatever they want. You haven't trained in millennia. You just sleep and tell your other doormats to do what you really want. You don't take any chances. Yet, there is one Saiyan who has the full potential to show great skill. I want to meet you, yet. But it's not the time yet. Perhaps some surprises may still appear in the midst of all this. I learned that from a not-so-distant future, or in another timeline, this Saiyan has a combination with an angelic being. Does that mean that we could have another extremely powerful being showing up here? What is he capable of? Goku is his name, isn't it? There are other Saiyans who have an interesting power. Perhaps absorbing their power would be more and more intense. Beerus starts taking several hits. Beerus says, don't think you can do something. You're fighting the destroyer of Universe 7. Beerus starts to land several blows on Zeal and is thrown away and says, Looks like you've been training. But know that this won't be enough. Now I'm going to fight for real. Beerus starts taking several hits from Zeal at high speed. Zeal flings Beerus away, causing the God of Destruction to weaken. Beerus says, it's not possible. This guy was just kidding me, damn it. It seems that somehow, someone is sealing my power. I can't use all my energy. Zeal appears behind Beerus's back and says, That will be your end. Wasn't the God of Destruction that powerful? It tires me to see beings as weak as you still holding the position of God of Destruction. This is getting ridiculous. Beerus, you are nothing. Your end is now. At that moment, Beerus would apparently be destroyed by Ziel. We steps in front of him and says, I've had enough of you since that celestial war. All my brothers you killed, everything you did. You will pay for this. 
This will be the end of you, Ziel. Whis begins to deliver several blows to Ziel. Ziel is thrown away. The moment Ziel is thrown, he teleports and appears in front of Whis, saying, You know very well that your powers don't work against me. Your celestial energy and your master of ultra instinct will not work. You know this will be your end. We starts to receive several attacks from Ziel. Ziel seemed to possess a mastery of self-motion totally different from Whis's Ultra Instinct. The blows that Whis received actually sounded strange, as the abilities that were shown when he fought and trained with Goku looked totally different. What's happening? Whis's powers do not work against Ziel. Whis starts to say, you know very well that since the last celestial war, you used a treacherous technique and imprisoned several of my brothers. And if I use all my power against you, the seal will not be broken. They were trapped there for all eternity and one still has a hope to save them. Seal starts to laugh and says, That's why you will die here and now. You have no love for your own life, and you think much more about others. Whis is thrown away, and soon after, he is hung by Ziel. Ziel leaves Whis totally in a wrecked state. Beerus becomes enraged and activates his Hakai form. After Beerus shows his Hakai form, a great power is released. Beerus starts attacking Ziel and says, For me, that's enough. You will be killed here and now. Beerus activates his Ultra Ego and starts to land several blows on Ziel. Ziel says, How did you break that barrier? How did you manage to activate this transformation? Beerus responds, You should know that you are fighting the true God of Destruction, the true most powerful being. Ziel starts laughing and Beerus's Hakai technique is negated. Beerus says, Like this? What happened? Whis was lying on the floor. Ziel speaks. For me, it doesn't matter anymore. This will be your end, Beerus. At that moment, when Ziel would attack Beerus directly, a great light appears on the planet Beerus. The same light appears in Universe 15 and in all the other universes. Goku, training alongside Vados, is impressed by the light they see in Universe 6. From that light, everyone sees the image of the Great Priest. The Great Priest says, It looks like we have some threats that are looking to make trouble for our universe again. Zenosama probably won't interfere now. After all, it's free will if they want to question themselves and fight the other gods. But this battle has already turned into a totally different level. Zyko, do you really want to fight me again? Let's see if we don't have Ziel here and the evil Sin, and you, Zyros. At that moment, when the great priest refers to the other beings, we can see the silhouette of the other gods of destruction and the angels that were erased by Zenosama. The great priest says, I know you won't want to obey what I say, but I will go with all my fury to stop you. Know that within our universes, there are totally powerful beings, and I will not let you attack them without at least doing a little training. I will ask you for a 15-day truce. This truce will make these other warriors more powerful. After all, you want a battle that is very intriguing, don't you? You will like what you will see. We can see in all the universes the smiles of every warrior. Zyko in Universe 15 starts to smile and says, So that's it. 15 days from now, the heavenly war is declared. I will have several warriors to eliminate. Wait for me, Goku. I hope you get more powerful. At that moment in Universe 7, the evil Saiyan who proclaims himself as Ziel says, Fifteen days is the time I need to get more powerful and finish off those damn Son Gohan and Vegeta. Planet Beerus, 
Ziel stops his attack on Beerus and says, It means then that we will have to stop, since it was announced by the great priest. Maybe it wouldn't be interesting to get into a fight with this guy right now. Interesting. Well, looks like you got lucky, Beerus. You and Whis could be dead right now. Please know that I will be back soon. Ziel teleports and leaves the planet Beerus directly to another galaxy. Moments after, Beerus falls to the ground and Whis gets up and uses his healing technique and recovers Beerus's entire body. Beerus recovers and says, Whis, how did you recover so fast? We starts to laugh and says, Now, Lord God, I needed to analyze the enemy. After all, you are talking to the angel of Universe 7. Now the question is, where is Lord Goku? Universe 6. Goku begins his training with Vados. Goku receives a new training outfit from the angel of Universe 6. Goku says, I feel like I can get more and more powerful, Lady Vados but I didn't understand what you were talking about. In another timeline, would I have a child with you? Vado says, Very well, I think it's about time you met your son Gon, the third son of the Saiyan, Son Goku, with Universe 6 arrangement. To be continued, Goku meets his third child with Vados, the Saiyan Supreme Angel. Goku's third son, Gon, is born, with Vados, the angelic Sen, appears. Goku had a child with Vados in another timeline. Vados discovers the whole truth. Planet Champa, Universe 6. Champa watched the training that Goku had been having with Vados after the High Priest had declared that the next celestial war was about to occur. All the Saiyans continued to carry out their training and all the other universes that had the strongest warriors were getting ready to show their true powers, while the great enemy was about to attack. So far we know, Zyko from Universe 16, who was next to the angel Zyros from Universe 15, and also the evil Saiyan and Ziel, the one who defeated Beerus and Whis. There are other beings that we don't know yet. A great battle is about to take place, but meanwhile in Universe 6, Goku was carrying out his training. Goku is shocked to learn that in another timeline, there was a relationship between Vados and Goku. At that moment, a great explosion starts. Goku says, I cannot understand. At what point could I have had a relationship or have met the lady in another timeline? Vados says, Son Goku, I think I'll tell you everything that happened. Because for this celestial war, we'll need Gon's help. Know that your third son's name with me is Gon, the Heavenly Saiyan. Vados begins to explain Gon's birth. Timeline 14. This was the timeline in which Goku was killed by heart disease. After all of the Dragon Balls were destroyed, following the deaths of Piccolo and Kamisama, Goku had no way of returning to Earth. He just saw all the destruction the androids ended up creating. Right after a lot of catastrophe has happened, we can see that the universe was erased by Zenosama. But still, the other world continued to exist. Goku was dead performing his training with the Kaio Lord. Unlike anything we had ever known, the God of Destruction and the Angel of Universe 7 no longer existed due to the great catastrophe that had happened and as Beerus had been killed in that universe, Whis was left wandering. Goku trained alongside King Kai and had already become the most powerful Saiyan in all of Universe 7 in that timeline, until the moment that events other than those that happened in the current timeline begin to occur. Champa appears on King Kai's planet and blames all mortals for not being able to protect Earth from the threats that happened and because of that, his brother was dead. Champa blames Goku for the death of the Supreme Kai that caused Beerus's death. Goku says, I don't know who you are, but you are threatening the very existence of us all. I'm here to protect this planet. After all, as everyone here has died once, if one more death happens, everyone will cease to exist. I will ask you to leave here. 
Champa watches and speaks. I don't care about you. I am a god of destruction from Universe 6, and I can erase your entire existence now. That will be the end of you. Goku activates his Super Saiyan transformation and starts fighting Champa. Goku says, It doesn't matter to me if you're some kind of god of destruction or whoever you are. I won't let you break up with anyone. Vados, the angel of Universe 6, starts looking at Goku and smiles, saying, this guy has a lot of grit and is very handsome. I see that he really manages to get more and more powerful and he fears no one. I am in love with him. This is amazing. Vados looks at Goku and speaks. You want to get stronger, don't you? You like to be able to raise your powers more and more, right? Since you want so much to become more powerful, know that I can train you, but for that, You'll have to surpass Lord Champa in at least one aspect in battle. Goku notices Vardosa's kindness and says, You mean you're as strong as this guy? I really want to train. I want to become more powerful. Champa says, Vardos, how do you say that? I'm trying to end this guy's existence because he let Beerus die and you want to train him? Vardos begins to smile and speaks. Well, Mr. Champa, you don't need to care so much about that. He just died before all this happened. Champa gets angry and says, Be quiet, Vados. I'll solve this situation. Champa goes on top of Goku and starts throwing several blows at Goku. Goku says, What is it? Even with this guy's muscle mass, he's totally unlike any other being I've faced. This power is extremely higher than everyone else. At that moment, Lord Kai says, Goku, this guy is a god of destruction. You have no power that can compare with his. Stop this. It doesn't make any sense. Quit this fight soon. Goku receives several blows from Champa until his body is completely on the ground. Champa says, I had already warned that all this would end here. In a few moments, a great Saiyan aura is passed to Goku. It seems that all the powers of the Saiyans ended up being transported to Goku. At that moment, Goku says, I don't know who you think I am, but I've seen all my friends die and I couldn't do anything, not even be brought back to Earth. The Dragon Balls are no more. I'm tired of losing my loved ones. I won't let you break up with anyone. Goku manages to activate the mastery of self-movement without even having trained with any angels. Vados is fascinated and says, Like this? It looks like a time paradox. This guy managed to use the technique that even the gods of destruction have a hard time performing. At that moment, Vados begins to smile. Champa says, This is impossible. How did this guy manage to do that? When Champa goes to attack Goku, Goku dodges and flings Champa away from Kai's planet. At the moment, Champa gets angry and says he will kill Goku. Champa lunges at Goku. Goku looks serious, but Champa is thrown away by Vados. Vados says, Enough, Mr. Champa. This fight is over. Now I will deal with Goku. At that moment, we can see that Goku started to smile and says, Does that mean I'm going to train with you? What is your name? Vados introduces himself to Goku. As time passes in Universe 6, Goku and Vados continue their training, but with a totally different feel. Goku's looks and Vados' looks were totally different. It seems that Goku was very lonely for just carrying out his training and felt a forbidden feeling for the Angel of Universe 6. The Angel of Universe 6 also had this same thought. It was a mistake for a mortal and an angel to relate, but it ended up happening. As time passed, Goku was already considered one of the most powerful beings in all the universes. Even though he had been killed, he had ended up being resurrected by Universe 6's own angel. Angels have the power to resurrect other mortals without even using the Dragon Balls. 
Goku managed to come back to life, but this time as a celestial being. From the love between Vados and Goku, a fruit emerged. Gon is the third son of Goku, the half Saiyan and the half angel hybrid, the being that possessed the power to end and destroy anyone. At that moment in this timeline number 14, everything was going peacefully until a big explosion and gods of destruction from other universes started to invade the universe. Due to the great power that was raised from Goku, Vados and Gon, everything was changing. Gon was still a child who already possessed the mastery of self-movement. Back to the current moments, Goku is fascinated by everything he hears about his third son. Goku says, does that mean he was much more powerful? Maybe he was a stronger hybrid even than Gohan himself. But what happened in his timeline? Vados takes out his staff and on his staff is shown a great vision of the angels of the universes that were erased by Zenosama and managed to appear in this other timeline. Probably someone fulfilled that wish and after doing that, they wanted to steal the body of Gon as a receptacle. It was at that moment that Vados told Goku from the other timeline that he needed to escape. Even though we were powerful, it was practically impossible to fight six angels together. Of these angels, one of them was Zyros that you met a little while ago. The others have not yet appeared here in our current timeline, but they are certainly involved in this celestial war. Long after that, I had the dream and could get the message of myself from another timeline, in which Gon would be the key piece to fight this war, so I needed to talk to Son Goku. Gon is here with me. I present to you your third child. Goku is shocked by what he sees. Gon was with the current Vados. Vados says, Now you will need to enter a training in the time room of Universe 6. For Gon to get older and more powerful so he can awaken his full strength. Because the real battle, as the High Priest announced, is about to begin. Goku smiles and says, Does that mean this boy has my blood? So now we will get stronger together. Let's start. Universe 6. Goku was next to Gon performing the training in the time room of Universe 6. The training that would cause Goku's third son to unleash all of his powers. Gon is the essential key to the battle of heavenly war that would take place within 15 days. All warriors were getting ready for battle. Even the beings that would be the enemies would start the revolution. Vados, out of the time room next to Champa, says, It seems that Goku as a Saiyan didn't even care that in another timeline he had a relationship with an angel. He didn't even care about it. From the moment he saw a Saiyan and found out he was his son, he already cared about wanting to fight and train with him. It seems that even though Goku is not a hybrid being, a purebred Saiyan, he wants to start getting more powerful. This will involve a much greater skill than everyone else. It really is amazing. It will make us start to wonder about many things that will unfold. Goku has immeasurable power. His strength is really fantastic. Do you mean that this is his role to be able to cause a great revolution? Come on Goku, I really believe in his powers, but I'm still worried about what you'll be able to do. I watched his entire battle against Zyko. Champa says, Did you see Zyko fighting? It means that the rumors of this Saiyan really are true. Vados begins to speak. Amazingly, Goku still doesn't know, but Zyko is his son from another timeline. Champa says, What? Does this Saiyan only know how to make children? Like this? I can't understand this guy. Vados observes and speaks. But that will be for another reason. We don't want to involve more timelines. After all, we're already bringing Gon here. Probably Gon will have to get much more powerful to save his universe. But still, if other enemies from other timelines start showing up here, 
we are sure to have problems. What will be the result of training these two? Universe 6 Time Rule A day had already passed. Time in Universe 6 passes in a totally different way than the time in Kamisama's time room in Universe 7. Gon was already grown up. Gon says, Dad, you really look different, even though you have the same psyognomy. Looks like it's not the one I know. Goku starts to laugh and says, Maybe it's because I'm not really that guy. But know that within your true gone reality, the angels ended up destroying everything. In order to fix this, we will have to become more and more powerful in order to bring peace and return to our times. Gon starts to smile and says, I understood very well. My Saiyan blood can tell me what I need to do. Universe 14 At that moment in Universe 14, we can hear a voice saying, I thought I was going to finish them all. Now it seems that angels don't like to get involved in battles. Does that mean that Zell was able to hit Whis and Beerus too? It seems that this Universe 7 has always thought itself more powerful and they continue to be vexed. My brother Whis, I haven't seen you for a long time. This will be very interesting. I have matters to deal with you. You guys always questioned me, and you were always mad at me, just because I was that angel who liked fighting. The high priest wanted to kick me out, because I didn't follow the rules he created. Those rules are very boring. I am a true martial arts fighter, and I don't have to obey the orders of the Celestials. In fact, I always dreamed of becoming the Destroyer. It seems like the power of a God of Destruction is in my blood. They were always angry about it, because I am an angel who would like to have the power of a God of Destruction. That's why you expelled me from the Heavenly Kingdom. For so long, wandering. Now I'm back. This is going to be more and more incredible. Let's see what you will get. I will cease my attack out of respect for you, my father. I will wait for this period of 15 days. The real destruction is yet to begin. Who is this celestial being? Apparently, he has a connection with the Daishinkan, yet he still mentions a celestial being who is above all. Who is he talking about? What's happening? Universe 7 Gohan and Vegeta alongside Goten, Trunks and all the other warriors begin training. Gohan says, It seems that in my father's absence, we're really all going to have to get stronger here. We already know that many things can end up getting more tense. It doesn't matter, we need to make our army stronger. Gohan makes a serious face. Vegeta looks at Gohan and says, You noticed, didn't you? Piccolo appears and speaks. What did you discover when you went to Zuno's palace? I can feel that energy from the past coming back. Gohan responds, I was really able to have a conversation with Mr. Vegeta and Mr. Whis. With Zuno, the one who knows everything, and Zuno's palace had previously been attacked by Goku Black. He said he would carry out the Zero Mortal's plan. In fact, I believe he still has the time ring and manages to make him perform several transitions in the timelines. In fact, it is even a little complicated for us to know which universe he is in, but we need to analyze all this. Vegeta says, if this guy shows up here in front of me, I'll finish him like last time. But what worries me is that this guy has Goku's body mixed with the energy of a Kaioshin. We don't know how far or what level of strength he can get by training alone. What should he be doing now? At that moment in another timeline, Goku Black next to Zamazu begins to say, we seem to go back to the timeline where we caused the great catastrophe. 
a celestial voice starting over there. Don't you think it's surreal? If we think and analyze everything that is happening, we would need to have an idea of what would happen in the future. But still, the powers that are being developed for each one here are incredible. I've already defeated Goku from several other timelines. Now in this place, we're going to end up with another one. All Gokus that have a different power level, I can master their skill. So this will serve to make me stronger and stronger in this alternate timeline. Goku Black ends up defeating Goku. Goku says, What incredible power is this? I can't let that happen. But I'll still find a way and I'll be able to solve all this. Goku Black launches a great energy on this planet and ends up destroying everything. Goku Black looks at the time ring and says, Let's see what the next timeline will be that I'm going to destroy. In other timelines, evil continues to happen. Goku Black and Zamazu live. Universe 6, The Time Room Goku and Gon continue fighting and showing their true abilities. The true power of Gon was really being shown. Goku launches several blows on Gon. Gon, in a few moments, begins to activate the mastery of self-movement. Goku starts watching and speaks. This boy, even though he is my son, has a power that is totally higher than Gohan's when he was a child, even Goten's. Those silver hairs are not Saiyan hairs. Reminds me a lot of Ultra Instinct. The way he moves, it looks like he was born with the combination of a hybrid power of an angel and a mortal. Five days had already passed since Goku and Gon started training. Gon was older now. Goku ties a blast of energy with Gon, causing Gon to be flung away. Goku says, You really were amazing, Gon. His power most likely had already surpassed mine. At that moment, we can see that Goku falls to the ground. Moments after, Gon wakes up and says, Dad, looks like we're done with our training. Gon and Goku leave the time room of Universe 6. Vados and Champa were waiting for them. Gon says, It seems that training has come to an end and I feel that our powers are getting higher and higher. Vados says, Incredible. There are still 10 days left for the Celestial War. What do you want to do? At that moment, Gon speaks. I want to test my powers with a certain someone, with even more powerful beings in this universe. There is a specific being I want to defeat. Father, leave it to me. I will resolve this situation now. Gon and Goku finish their training in Universe 6's time chamber. Impressed, Vado says, the two of you must have gotten a lot more powerful, and you know there are still 10 days left before the Celestial War starts to take place. What do you want to do in all this time? Gon says, As far as I could understand, the battle has yet to begin, but whether or not evil exists everywhere, I want to fight strong guys so I can know what the limit of my strength will be. Goku starts laughing and says, Looks like this is going to really be interesting. There may be several powerful enemies and we know that the stronger we get, the more we can fight to protect all other universes. After all, probably all the other beings are also undergoing various trainings. Champa says, This can be much more complicated. We need to understand. I don't know if this is the real deal. Who knows, a threat might not appear. Don't think I'm the same as Beerus. You have to really understand what is going on here. Vados interrupts and says, Maybe it would be interesting if we let them do that. This way we will be able to understand how serious the enemies that may appear will be. Vados begins to observe and speaks. You can roam the galaxies of these universes and end up fighting any being that appears. What do you think of it? At that instant, a smile appears on Goku's face. 
Vados creates the Celestial Cube and sends Goku and Gon to the other galaxies in Universe 6 where they feel the most energy from which to challenge an enemy. A large sphere of energy appears in the unknown galaxy. Goku and Gon are impressed. Gon says, That is where we must go to fight. Moments prior to this event, after Gohan and Vegeta would have fought the evil Saiyan who proclaimed himself as Yell, Gohan and Vegeta were tired from the fight while the evil Saiyan had escaped Earth in Universe 7 and wandered to a galaxy where he was no longer in that universe. The evil Saiyan was in Universe 6. He was looking to recover his energies and was improving his powers more and more, swearing revenge against Gohan and Vegeta. The evil Saiyan was raising his energy more and more to become more powerful. At that moment, Gon and Goku appear. The evil Saiyan senses the energy and says, Let's see that it seems that for a long time I was looking for Goku on Earth while he was here in this universe. And look, who is this other boy? It will be much more interesting to finish off the two Saiyans. Goku and Gon had arrived in the unknown galaxy and seen a being that was very similar to Vegeta. Goku says, This guy has extremely high power, but is his appearance very similar to Vegeta's? But it seems his power is a lot more twisted than his. Gon starts watching and says, you say he looks a lot like Vegeta, although I actually don't even know who this guy is, but it doesn't matter to me. Hey, what's your name? The evil Saiyan proclaims himself as Yell and says, I am the one who is capable of destroying anyone. I am the one who will cause a great catastrophe. Gorn laughs and says, I came here just to challenge you to a fight. I have no intention of hurting anyone. Why are you so angry? We're just here to fight so we can protect the universe. At that moment, Goku had already realized that the guy was not an ordinary being. Goku says, Gone. Maybe we made the wrong decision to come here. This guy doesn't look like he's planning on doing any good. The evil Saiyan says, So you are Goku. I practically destroyed the entire Earth of Universe 7 looking for you, but your son and his friend ended up appearing and preventing me from finalizing my plan. I will still end up with these two. It's only a matter of time, but since you appeared in front of me, you won't have much choice, and I'll destroy you right now. Something terrible was about to happen. Alternate Timeline Goku Black continued to destroy several other planets. In another timeline, Goku Black says, My body seems to be more and more powerful. This time I already managed to raise to a level 3 of Ultra Instinct. No one will be able to defeat me. My power seems to get bigger every time. This level of strength is incredible. Zamazu looks at Goku Black and says, now we will have the power to carry out the Zero Mortals plan. We'll wipe out anyone who shows up to interfere with us. Goku Black starts to smile and says, It seems that the reason I was killed last time was precisely because I joined you. Zamazu and Goku Black are not the same person. From the moment I took possession of Goku's body, I started to become just one being and that is the most powerful. Goku Black pierces Zamazu's body, causing Zamazu's existence to be erased. Zamazu says, I can't believe I've been betrayed yet again. Goku Black looks at the Ring of Time and says, Maybe it's time for me to go look for Goku in that timeline, the one I couldn't kill. I need to understand more about these issues. It seems, that out of all the timelines, he is the only one who manages to get stronger and stronger. I need to understand the whole essence of my body. Goku Black uses the Ring of Time again and looks at everything that has been happening. 
In a few moments, we can see that Goku Black finds another timeline. Back in the current timeline, Goku and Gon begin to observe the evil Saiyan. Gon says, Father, don't get involved in this battle. I'll take care of this guy myself. I don't know where you know each other from or what he wants to do, but he wants to attack your loved ones. That's my fight. I'm the one who asked us to come train on other planets, so I'm not gonna let this guy do whatever he wants. At that moment, the evil Saiyan starts laughing and says, I won't have the same slip up I had against that kid, Gohan. Goku watches and says, Still, it's weird, and if this dude is so much like Vegeta, what's his origin? What is the essence of this guy? I can't understand. Moments after, the evil Saiyan prepares to attack Goku. Gon steps in front of him using the mastery of self-movement and says, You will not lay a finger on my father. This battle is with me. The evil Saiyan is surprised and says, Like this? What power this kid is utilizing is still different than that mediocre kid. It seems that Gohan's strength was countered by anger. Now this boy has a much purer energy. It looks like an angel's energy. But there is still a level of a Saiyan combined with his power. Gorn starts laughing and says, You don't know who you're fighting. I am the son of Goku and Vados. Gorn, the angelic Saiyan. At that moment, Gorn shows his true strength and lands several blows on the evil Saiyan. The evil Saiyan rages and each time increases its power and energy. At that moment, the battle began to become more and more intriguing. The powers that were being shown by Gon ended up increasing. The evil Saiyan's power was getting weakened. The evil Saiyan says, That's not possible. Does this mean that I will be defeated again? I can't believe these Saiyans have so much power. It reminds me like it was in the past. I swore that I would receive the power of the God of Darkness to get stronger and stronger. Gon was about to defeat the evil Saiyan. The combined power of a hybrid with the power of an angel mixed with the power of a Saiyan was much greater than the powers of Gohan, Goku and Vegeta. Goku is impressed, smiling, and he says, That's amazing! The power you showed really managed to make a big difference. I mean then that this is the way you will be able to defeat anyone. You really are the key piece to destroy all of this. At that instant, the evil Saiyan says, You are questioning my strength and my existence. I won't let it stay like this. I am going to finish you two now. The evil Saiyan begins to rage and a large energy blast is created. The evil Saiyan prepares to attack Gon. Goku is surprised and says, Could this guy still get stronger? An explosion happens in the unknown galaxy. Goku and Gon don't understand what's going on. A voice comes up and says, Son Goku, seems like it's been a long time since we haven't seen each other. It seems that after millennia wandering in different timelines, I am now back to deal with the situation from the past with you. Now there is no Zamazu, there is only the birth of a new god, that true creator of the Zero Mortal Plane, the destroyer of everything. Goku is impressed. Wait, what? Black, are you alive? Gon is surprised and says, who is this guy? Moments pass and the evil Saiyan speaks. Who are you? You are interrupting my battle. Goku Black starts laughing and says, We have the same goal. Let's not create a big fight for nothing, my friend. The evil Saiyan says, We don't know each other. Don't you dare call me friend. Black Goku smiles. Let me finish these guys off. I've had issues with them from the past, and yet I still believe this kid might have some angelic connection just from his energy. Know that in the past, I ended the existence of all gods. 
Gon sees the image of his mother Vados lying on the ground and gets angry. Gon says, I don't know who you are, but I am very angry. You will pay for everything. Goku is surprised and still shocked to see Goku Black alive. What will Goku Black and the Evil Saiyan do? The battle that would only serve as training for Goku and Gon again brings the Z warriors into a life or death situation. Goku Black resurfaces and reveals to Goku and Gon that he has eliminated all the angels. Goku Black rises. That Sin who once reached the peak of beauty and brought great headaches to Goku and Vegeta and for a long time slaughtered Trunks in his timeline. Black appears again. What happened? Goku Black eliminated Zamazu and became one, just one existence. What are Goku Black's ideals? Goku Black appears in front of Goku and his third son gone. Beside the battle they were facing against the evil Sen. Goku Black appears looking for Goku and trying to understand what the power limit for his body would be. The battle was about to start a few days before the start of the Celestial War. A great fury was being created. Goku says, I still can't understand how Goku Black is here. How he noticed our power? Does it have something to do with Gon? Or does Black really have this power to switch between timelines? Are those time rings that are on his fingers? Does he want to alternate reality? As if the invasions of beings from the past were not enough, we still have to fight against him. At that moment, it seemed that Goku felt a great pressure of energy, even more in Goku Black than in the evil Saiyan himself. Gon watches and speaks. I don't know who this guy is, but it doesn't matter to me. I'll finish him off myself. After all, this is all being created because of me, isn't it? The evil Saiyan starts laughing and says, I don't know why, but I think I'll actually agree. Our goals are unique. I just want to finish this Saiyan. Goku Black watches the evil Saiyan and says, I know you very well. That dark energy of yours was no stranger to me. You're a twisted version of Vegeta, aren't you? You are that Vegeta who became corrupted with dark energy and couldn't return to normal. I remember that in one of the timelines where I ended up with Goku. I saw that his existence had occurred. So does that mean you came here? Are you the boss of all this or are you taking orders from someone? Join me. The two of us together can crush anyone. The evil sin says, stay quiet. Do not reveal my past to others. A huge blast of energy is hurled at Goku Black. Goku Black smiles. So you mean to say you want me to finish you off in the blink of an eye? This won't be so easy, boy. Goku Black activates his Ultra Instinct form. Goku is impressed and says, This guy has Ultra Instinct. It's not possible. Soon after, Goku Black begins to increase his power even more and activates the form of Ultra Instinct Level 3. Gon is impressed with the great energy that is emanated. Goku Black says, I want to see if you can still overcome these powers. If they don't, they will be eliminated now, just like I did in several other timelines. Gone, I don't know what you're doing here, but that will be the end of you now. Let's start. Goku had activated his Ultra Instinct and started a battle directly against the Evil Saiyan. The Evil Saiyan says, Looks like we switched roles here. Now you want to fight me, Goku? You have no chance of beating me. Know that I am far more powerful than any enemy you have faced. Goku starts laughing and says, I don't know if you know, but a while ago I had fought a Supreme Saiyan. His name was Zyko and he showed extremely high powers. He was the one who showed me that I would be much more powerful if I exceeded my limits and that I would have much more chances to defeat any enemy that was. You compared to Zyko are nothing. The evil Saiyan starts laughing and says, So you mean you met Zyko and you're saying he's more powerful than me? How dare you? 
A great blast of energy is created with the dark energy. The evil Sen begins to land several blows on Goku. Goku, activating the mastery of Ultra Instinct, tries to dodge. Goku starts to speak. Just like I said, I fought extremely strong beings and you won't be able to defeat me. A great rumble of energy begins to be created. It was Goku Black who had activated his third stage of Ultra Instinct. Goku is thrown away and the Saiyan is surprised by the energy that was being shown there. The evil Saiyan says, This guy really isn't kidding. He came from another timeline just to want to finish off Goku. That's the level of anger. Seems very interesting to me. Gohan starts to get pressured in battle. Goku Black starts to show several blows that are raised above Gon. Gon is thrown away. Gon says, This guy has got to be kidding. What kind of training did he undertake? This doesn't make any sense. Goku Black starts laughing and says, This training is a training carried out only by those who want to surpass the gods, those who have the power to end any enemy. I carried out this training only with the intention of eliminating all Gokus from all timelines. Thus, for me to attain my own reign and conquer the height of the beauty of my power. Gon starts to laugh. This can only be madness. You must not be thinking things through too well. You have no idea the level of power I possess. Gon's skin starts to get bluer. His silver hair starts to get even lighter. Goku begins to be surprised by what he sees. At that moment, Gon starts activating the true angelic power and lands several blows on Goku. Black Goku smiles and says, What is this boy? Their powers are totally different from Goku's. He has a Saiyan power, but at the same time, he has this angelic power. How did he get this strength? This should be a result of Ultra Instinct. Goku starts laughing and talks. That's where you're wrong, Black. You don't know who he is. He's my third son. He only exists in one timeline. He was the combination of my powers and the powers of Vados, the angel of Universe 6. At that moment, Black is fascinated, but at the same time surprised by it. So you're saying that angel from Universe 6 who was erased after I eliminated the Kaioshin from that timeline is that boy's mother? This is interesting. Gon starts to rage and manages to land a big punch in the face of Goku Black. An enraged Gon says, Who do you think you are? How dare you talk about my mother? Don't you dare talk about Vados. Don't touch her name. My universe went through several catastrophes due to the great threats that appeared. For a long time we had to fight several enemies. This timeline always had evil beings like you wanting to destroy everything. But now I won't let that happen anymore. Its end is now, Black. At that moment, an enraged Gon starts to land several blows on Goku Black. Goku Black starts laughing and says, This is getting interesting. Looks like this kid manages to get even more powerful. Goku, you commented just now about Zyko, so there is still a Saiyan who is much more powerful. I want to know each of these skills, but I have a plan that will only serve as a term of torture against you. Goku starts watching and speaks. What are you talking about? What are you up to, Black? At that instant, Goku Black says, If you haven't forgotten, a long time ago you were simply in the fight against me and Zamazu, but you combined your powers with Vegeta's power, don't you remember? You energized his power and in that moment began to combine your powers and create a new warrior. When I fought you in Zamazu's body, I was always curious what it would be like to combine the power of two Saiyan genes. And it looks like I've come to the right timeline because this is going to be possible. At that moment, Goku Black takes off one of his Potara earrings and throws the evil Saiyan. Goku gets scared and screams. Gone! Attack Black Goku now! I'll deal with this evil Saiyan. We can't let that happen. This can be something extremely serious. Gone didn't understand what Goku was talking about. Gone says, No matter how strong they get, they won't be a match for us, Dad. 
At that moment, Goku Black starts laughing. The evil Saiyan raises his energy even more and throws Goku into the rubble of the unknown planet. Goku stands up and speaks. Damn it! That couldn't happen. The evil Saiyan puts the Potara earring in his left ear while Goku Black had a Potara earring in his right ear. A power from Jean of a distorted version of Vegeta and a distorted version of Goku are combined. Goku Black and the evil Saiyan, or rather, Dark Vegeta, merge. A new warrior is born. All universes begin to shudder. Zenosama's palace begins to feel the great energy that was being created. The high priest with a straight face says, What's going on? Zenosama's guards watch with another look on their faces. Straight into Universe 6, Goku says, This couldn't have happened. Go on, we better be careful because we have a great chance of not being able to leave this place anymore. Black Vegeto, the Annihilator, is born. After Goku Black and the evil Saiyan Dark Vegeta combine their powers with the Potara earring, Goku and Gon get into extreme trouble. The true extreme power of the one who is considered the strongest comes out. Once in the past, when Goku and Vegeta merged and Vegito Blue was born, it was said that Vegito Blue's powers would be even more powerful than Beerus's own power. That fusion power that when combined would surpass the power of the gods. Goku Black for a long time tried to get hold of and learn much more over power techniques and powers that would be able to surpass any other type of energy. At that moment, Goku Black knew that his power level would increase more and more. Goku Black's strength would reach an extraordinary level. The true strength of that being who did not fear and does not fear anyone. Vegito was always considered the salvation. Vegito was always considered that warrior who could cause major complications for any enemy that appeared. He has always been on Earth's side. He was always there to protect all other mortals. But we find ourselves in a different scenario. It's not about Goku and it's not about Vegeta. Who is creating this warrior is the distorted version of Goku Black, the one who took all of Goku's powers. Zamazu took over his body and after that created another personality of a new Saiyan, half God and half Saiyan. Combined their forces and the dark version of Goku was born. But soon after we can see that a great power was created when the dark version of Vegeta appeared. That Saiyan named Ziel said to be one of the most powerful after having combined his power alongside Goku Black. The new warrior arises. Goku and Gon are fascinated after seeing the great force that was being emanated in front of them in the unknown galaxy. This time he wasn't on the side to protect the mortals. This time he is the enemy. Goku says, What power is this? That couldn't happen now. This enemy is perhaps more powerful than even Zyko himself. I cannot understand. How could we let this happen? We had come here just to meet a strong warrior and train to become more powerful. But this is crazy. It's the same thing as combining my power and Vegeta's to be the last option to save Earth. At that moment, a voice comes up and says, Goku and Gohan, you mean we have a purebred Saiyan and a half Saiyan half angel hybrid? Do you think you can beat me? You have no choice of fighting me. I will demonstrate a little of my power so that you understand what will happen to you in the future. At that moment, the being with the blue shirt and silver hair laughs and speaks. Much pleasure. I am Black Vegito, but you can call me the Annihilator of Humanity. Universe 7 Beerus begins to notice great energy light years from Universe 7. Beerus says, it seems that I can feel Goku's energy again. That's probably coming from his sister universe, isn't it Whis? At that moment, Whis says, It looks like something has been going on. Mr. Beerus, if we stop to analyze, someone has been getting much more powerful. 
it looks like we're going to have some issues to deal with long before the Celestial War starts. It means then that Mr. Goku is next to another presence, fighting against some other being. It seems that one of those energies is the energy of that Kaioshin that you had eliminated with the Hakai a while ago. So it reminds me that the words Zuno said about that Zero Mortal's plane would be back. He was referring to Goku Black, wasn't he? Beerus says, Exactly. But what amazes me about this guy is his ambition to get stronger and his obsession with believing that humanity is the only wrong creation in the perfection of the gods. This is going to be crazy. It seems that at every moment there are beings that are very intriguing. Black Goku simply creates this reality just to show his craziness. Do you understand this? He even has this thought just to say he's doing the right thing, when in fact he only thinks about destruction and is just another one of those crazy people who want to end everything. He could never be considered a destroyer. We destroyers are here to bring balance, but this guy's balance is just to end everything and live in a place where only gods exist. The gods will never agree with him, so he wants to eliminate everything and be in a place alone. This can only amount to sick madness, but it won't stay that way. I hope Goku can handle him. Moments after the fusion took place, Beerus is amazed and says, But what is this? What kind of power is this? This goes much further than we had imagined. Ziel is no longer enough in Universe 6. Vados next to Champa starts to get worried. Vados says, What is it? I cannot understand why this power is being emanated in such a large way. Goku and Gon said that they were just going to carry out training, but this battle, that power is being emanated in an extremely high way. Are they having a problem? Since I'm an angel, I can't get involved in these battles. But maybe, if I just use the technique to go back in time, I could solve this whole situation. Champa says, Are you getting too involved in these things already? If I were you, I would just prepare my energy for the Celestial War. We know that many powerful beings will appear. There hasn't been a meeting with the High Priest for a long time, and soon he will summon us. The meeting of the angels is near. The Great Priest will surely say a lot. You know that very well, Vados. Vado starts laughing and says, Maybe it's because of my little crush on Son Goku. Even knowing that the Son Goku of this universe is married, after I found that I had a child with him in another timeline, I ended up softening my heart. Champa looks at Vados and says, What? Are you in love with Goku? Vado smiles and speaks. Well, it's not like that, Mr. Champa. Let's leave it at that. Back to the unknown galaxy of Universe 6. At that instant, Gon says, What is this guy? Even though he doesn't have any kind of angelic power, he's totally more powerful than the two of us together, Dad. Looks like we've had a pretty big slip up. This guy is going to end us any second. Black Vegito the Annihilator starts to strike several blows at Goku and Gon at the same time. Black Vegito starts to laugh and says, You have no strength, you are nothing. Is it with this power that you want to end Zyko and the other most powerful beings in the universe? For sure with the energy I'm showing, I must be number one of the most powerful. You never manage to beat me. Goku begins to perform one of the techniques he directly learned when he fought Zyko, the Spirit Bomb Fist. Goku prepares to land that blow on Black Vegito. Black Vegito starts laughing and says, This can only be a joke. Do you really think such a banal type of blow would affect me? You can never beat me with that. I will finish you off and send you to the next world. Goku is thrown away. 
Gon gets angry and raises his angelic power even more and starts hitting Black Vegito in several points. Black Vegito says, This kid really has incredible potential. It is very interesting to play with you. Just with a black finger, Vegito ends up throwing Gon away. Goku, with no alternative, raises his power even more and activates the infinite Saiyan. Black Vegito observes and speaks. What? Goku still had another type of transformation that managed to surpass his powers even more. I knew it. I was sure that you would be able to have more strength. Then that's it. Is this your secret? This technique? This skill you learned from Zyko? Wasn't that power you managed to develop all this time? I should have suspected. Black Vegito, the Annihilator, practically destroys the planet of the Unknown Galaxy with just a visual attack. Goku is impressed and says, I can't believe this will happen. Not even the power of the Infinite Sin is able to defeat this guy. First Zyko and now this guy? At that moment, Black Vegito starts to laugh and says, I think you will be lucky. You are telling me that a celestial war will still happen. Maybe it would be interesting for me to appear in this battle and show who is in charge over all of this. With this power that I achieved, I can be the ruler of everything. I will think about it very carefully. I don't know why, you are one of the Gokus I've defeated that I sympathized with the most. And this kid, I am sure he can still get much more powerful. I will go back to the other timelines and eliminate you one by one to perfect all my power. Meanwhile, you still have time to get more powerful, but I will be back. Be aware that this celestial war will already have a winner. At that moment, Black Vegito uses the Ring of Time and creates a temporal rift and travels to another timeline. Goku watches and speaks. I can't believe we're alive. I really thought that would be the end of us before this war started. Gon watches and speaks. I've never seen a guy so strong. Can you also combine your powers with someone and become such a powerful being? Goku says, That's a long story. The person I perform this type of fusion with doesn't really like to use this power. After all, we are Saiyans, but apparently Black doesn't care about it. In a few moments, Shampa appears on the unknown planet that was completely in ruins and says, Finally, I managed to find you. Bados, when he sends me through this celestial cube, I always get lost. Champa hits Goku on the head and says, Are you crazy? I don't know what happened around here, but you woke up some supreme being. But in the end, it doesn't matter. Let's go back to my planet, because the celestial war will start in about nine days. Goku and Gon go with Champa to planet Champa. At that moment, Beerus and Whis appear directly on the planet Champa of Universe 6. Beerus says, I knew that energy was his, Goku. We are finally close to finishing all the training for the Celestial War. Champa looks at Beerus and speaks, What are you doing here? What do you want? Beerus says, I need you to know that Ziel has come to pay me and Whis a visit. But who is this boy who looks like Goku? Shampa replies, This boy is the son of Goku and Vados. Whis and Beerus are surprised and say, What? Is this true? Alternate timeline. Black Vegito was there and speaks. This power is incredible. I will definitely become the most powerful being, but this fusion is about to end. I knew that Goku would not be able to understand this, so as soon as this fusion is over, I will enter into an agreement with the evil Saiyan, and we will use the Super Dragon Balls from some other alternate timeline and ask the Super Shenron to make this fusion not fall apart. Planet Champa, Universe 6 Goku and his third son had undergone the most training of all after fighting a twisted version of Goku Black himself and Dark Vegeta. 
after that battle occurred, the most powerful warrior had emerged. But Vegito's ideals were totally different and he himself left that timeline. Which was enough to have saved the lives of Gon and Goku. At that moment, Gon began to analyze the situation and after arriving on the planet Champa, Beerus and Whis appeared beside Vados. Beerus and Whis were surprised to learn that Gon was Goku's son. At that time, many things ended up being shown to a certain extent different and we can see that the preparation for the Celestial War is reaching the halfway point because there are 8 days left. Goku says, Mr. Beerus, I haven't seen you for a long time. It seems we haven't seen each other since that unknown being appeared and ended up breaking everything on his planet. I got to know a lot of things and I fought very powerful guys. I met a certain Zyko. I believe he perhaps possessed even more power than you. He really is very powerful. I managed to activate the infinite Super Saiyan level but that's pretty much a double-edged sword. This transformation totally drains my energy. If I can't defeat the enemy after using this skill, I'll just get defeated. Vados observes and says, Mr. Goku is very skilled, but we are talking about those who fought and brought great celestial threats in the past. We know very well what happened. We still need to understand a lot about the angels who want to attack us. After everything that happened in the past, we can still understand what battles could occur. What amazes me is how few of my brothers have appeared here. At that moment, Whis begins to observe and speaks. This kid looks just like Mr. Goku. He really seems to be strong. Does that mean then that in another timeline, Mr. Goku had a hybrid son who would be half angel and half Saiyan? Very interesting. I want to test this boy's powers. Gon says, I remember you. You're Mr. Whis, aren't you? In the timeline in which my mother was alive, she always spoke a lot about you. You are my uncle. Whis starts laughing and says, <laughs> Look at that. Let's see if this isn't perfect. Gon is your name, isn't it? I want you to come and train with me. We'll be back soon. Beerus watches Whis and says, What do you think you're doing? Whis just looks at Beerus and closes her eyes. Beerus smiles and says, Very well, whatever. Goku, now that you're seeing me, let's see how you would fare becoming a god of destruction. Champa makes a serious face. Vado says, What do you think, Mr. Champa? You just gotta be going crazy, Beerus. Goku says, But what am I becoming? A smile appeared on Goku's face. I feel like I'm about to surpass my limits. After Beerus said that Goku needed to undergo training to become a god of destruction, everyone ended up being amazed, but Vados ended up understanding what Beerus's true ideal was. Vados says, So that's what you want to do, Mr. Beerus. Before Goku's thinking starts to get distorted again by Zyros's kiss of death technique, who is just sleeping in his unconscious. You want to show how a warrior who has the energy of destruction can act and how he should think. So does that mean this is your real training? Very insightful. But what's your idea? At that moment, Beerus says, We need Goku to fight some god of destruction, but in this case, it can't be me. He will need to understand more of the essence about Hakai energy and I know a perfect universe for us to do all of that. After all, they owe us a favor. Goku watches and speaks. Where are we going, Mr. Beerus? Beerus starts laughing and says, You will see a friend from the Tournament of Power. Beerus comments on Universe 11. Goku smiles and already has the perception that he will find Jiren, Topo, Belmod and Margarita. Heat Blast, Vados, Beerus and Goku enter the Celestial Cube. Vados says, Well, Mr. Goku, it seems that now you will participate in another training. 
You already got much more powerful after you trained in the room of the gods, that is, you got much stronger. But now will be the time when you will know the essence of destruction. Have you met several powers? You've already got several skills, but this is perhaps the most interesting skill you will ever understand. Even though you may have already surpassed the powers of certain types of gods, you still need this training to be able to control the Saiyan essence. After all, you will be fighting Zyko and extremely formidable warriors. You need to be aware that you will have to get stronger each time. Isn't it true, Mr. Goku? At that instant, many thoughts start to be created in Goku's head. Goku says, does that mean I'm going to have destruction training? Beerus smacks silly Goku on the head and says, That's exactly it. What part did you not understand from this training? It might make you smarter. Beerus launches an array of energy at Goku that causes his outfit to change. Goku starts to have the same outfit as a god of destruction. Goku says, What's happening to me? It seems that for every training I receive, I wear a different outfit. That sounds funny. Come on, I'm excited for this training. How is Gon doing? Meanwhile on planet Champa, Gon was training alongside Whis to control his angelic power in the room of the gods. Universe 18, the unknown being says, Looks like you did pretty well, don't you Ziel? He managed to defeat an angel and a god of destruction. I heard the message from the great priest, but I think I still want to meet that boy. He is here in this timeline, isn't he? The angel of destruction will love to meet the angel Saiyan hybrid. I can feel Whis's energy. We'll be there soon. What is the mystery behind this angel? Universe 11, Planet Belmond Goku, Beerus and Vados arrive at Universe 11's God of Destruction's planet. Belmond watches and speaks. Let's see if he's not the Cat of Destruction. Know that we've had big problems here before. We've fought some beings of your race. Be aware that this whole boy is probably your fault, Beerus. Beerus watches and speaks. Don't give me that. We won the Tournament of Power and brought your universe back to life. If not, even you shouldn't exist now. At that moment, Belmont makes a serious face. Jiren and Topo were to the side. Belmont smiles and speaks. Let's see, if you're not wanting to retire, Beerus, does that mean we have another God of Destruction for Universe 7? Son Goku, right? Beerus smiles and says, Goku was just performing training for God of Destruction. I'm just watching his skills. Know that I'm here to propose a challenge. No one from Universe 7 has more potential than Son Goku. And I keep betting with you that this warrior will defeat all of his. I use the simple form for him to come and train here in this universe to learn the power of destruction with other gods. What do you say? Topo appears and speaks. Well done, Goku. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Surely you've got much stronger, haven't you? I would be very happy to be able to train with you. Goku starts to smile and says, Topo, I remember the last battle we had. He was fantastic. How about we show our powers now? At that moment, Margarita observes and speaks. It looks like this son Goku, with the power of a god of destruction, just got even prettier. I think I'm enchanted by him. Maybe it would be good if he was the god of destruction of this universe, so I could start looking after him. Come with me, son Goku. Fado starts to get jealous and says, That's just sister training. Margarita starts to laugh. Belmod watches and starts to get angry. In a few moments, Topo starts his fight against Goku. Goku used the mastery of Ultra Instinct and Topo using the energy of the Hakai form, they begin to battle. Jiren just watches. Margarita says, 
You don't want to fight, Jiren. Jiren responds, These questions of powers of destruction do not interest me, and after all, I already know who will be the winner of this fight. Goku, using the power of the Ultra Instinct of Destruction, defeats Toppo and Toppo is thrown away. Goku smiles and says, You got really strong, Toppo. Toppo responds, I notice that Universe 7 keeps bringing out the most powerful warriors. Makarita gets very close to Goku and says, Maybe it would be interesting for you to be the god of destruction of this universe. It would do a lot of good for me and everyone else. Belmont rages and says, Well done, Beerus. Topo is still training to be a god of destruction. Son Goku will fight with me. If this training is what he wants, let's play my cards. Goku vs. Belmont Goku received god of destruction training from Vados and Beerus. Beerus had the idea of making Goku know the power of a god of destruction so that he would understand his true ideals so that in the future in the Celestial War, Angel Zyros would not be able to use the technique of the kiss of death on Goku as it was done last time. That way, Goku's training would make him control his emotions and not get caught up against the enemy in the heavenly battle. Makarita was enchanted by the Celestial Saiyan after seeing him showing his power of destruction and defeating Toppo. But at that moment, Belmod, the official god of destruction of Universe 11, gets angry and says, If you want god of destruction training, you can't just fight a god of destruction apprentice. You will fight the true destroyer. Vados observes and says, Looks like Universe Eleven's God of Destruction got mad. Sister, did you notice? Makarita starts to smile and says, Come on, Belmont, show him what you're capable of, and show him that you don't need to be traded. Beerus laughs and says, I really can't understand the relationship between these two. He even sweats very weirdly, an angel and a god of destruction. We will see what will happen. Goku gets excited and watches. Goku says, Jiren, I'm sure you've gotten stronger since our last battle. You sure are saving that for the Celestial War, aren't you? I hope so. I confess that after this is all over, I would really be very happy to fight you, Jiren. Jiren has a serious expression on his face until Jiren watches and smiles but doesn't say anything. Moments earlier in preparation for the battle, Goku was resting. Makarita appears and says, I would love for you to be our god of destruction, but are you capable of that? Are you that powerful? Could he defeat Belmont? Bardos appears and says, I think you better stay calm, little sister. Leave Son Goku to me. I'm already dealing with it. Makarita observes and says, what is it, sister? This is a little weird. I might even say, you're jealous. Bardo starts to get all red and says, It's not that. It's because me and Goku in another timeline had an affair. Makarita smiles and says, What? A Saiyan and an angel? Goku gets embarrassed and says, Let's forget about it and let's train. Belmont rages even more. It seemed that Belmod had feelings for Makarita. Belmod says, I don't know what this Saiyan is up to, but I'm going to finish him off here and now. Universe 18 In Universe 18, the unknown voice of the angel again appears and says, Well, I'll leave you here, Ziel, since the great priest's communique went directly to you, who were getting involved in battle. There are still eight days left for the Celestial War, but from what I am perceiving, another presence is appearing around here. Maybe if I am going to battle Whis, it's a little more complicated since you can negate the angel's celestial magic. Good thing I possess the power of destruction as well. I am going to pay a visit to my dear brother. Wait for me. The Celestial Cube is created within Universe 18. The Angel of Universe 18 starts to move. 
Goku vs. Belmod. The battle begins. Margarita, Beerus, Jiren and Topo start to watch. Belmod starts running in front of Goku. Goku was in his base form stage. Goku starts exchanging several punches with Belmod. At that moment, Topo watches and wonders why Goku isn't activating his transformations. Beerus responds. He knows that none of these transformations will work on Belmod, as Belmod can also control the level of power he is using. This battle is a battle that works between gods, or it will be used in the Hakai form, or the form of Ultra Instinct will be used. They will be the only transformations that manage to make a difference in a fight. So that's why we need to understand what will really happen. What is Belmod up to? Belmod starts drawing cards from his hand and says, Son Goku, I believe that you must have become much more powerful and you must imagine that I am a god of destruction. I can do whatever I want, but pay close attention and that will make things change in a totally different way because you've never fought against beings that possess great magical power. Have you ever wondered why Zenosama is considered the most powerful of all? He can erase a universe anytime he wants, but there are still other beings who can cancel his magic. Beings like me. Goku is impressed. Vado says, Looks like Universe 11's God of Destruction wants to fight seriously. He himself is using his cards. Interesting. Vado starts to laugh. Margarita is smiling and says, Belmod, show your true power. Goku says, What's this guy doing? His way of fighting is totally different from Mr. Beerus's way. Why is that? At that moment, Beerus says, But in order to bring balance, we need to make very difficult decisions, Goku. Belmod's letters say it all. Not always what is correct is what happens before the eyes of mortals. Just like the Joker. The Joker is always having a laugh, but he's never happy, always looking for a means of attention. It's like much of humanity. The king we know they have been on top next to the queen. Zenosama does not fall before anyone. Can you understand how universal decisions start to happen? Goku begins to have several flashbacks, remembering the destruction of the planet of the Saiyans. Goku says, Is he saying that some things really should happen? Because if not, worse things would occur. Belmod says, I have five cards here. Of these cards, the king is not below and fears no one. If I choose a card in my favor, my powers will surpass even the powers of the most powerful beings in this universe. Otherwise, I could become the weakest being. This is the level of magic power in a fight. I can become the weakest being and die, or I can become the most destructive being in the universe. What do you think of that, son Goku? Goku couldn't believe what he was seeing. Belmod draws a card from his hand, the King card. Beerus says, It looks like this will be the end of Goku then. Margarita observes and speaks. The King's card causes the Supreme Being to pass the powers to Belmod. Perhaps Belmod is between the most powerful God of Destruction in existence and the weakest God of Destruction. Belmod's powers begin to increase and Goku, with the power of a God of Destruction, begins to receive several blows from the God of Destruction of Universe 11. Goku says, What's happening? This guy is definitely not a human. Those powers really could end me at any moment. What is he up to? Damn, that couldn't happen. Goku begins to receive several blows and can no longer bear to move. The power that Goku learned in the Hall of Time as it was brought to a power of a god didn't match this energy either. Belmod says, Margarita, I don't think you had anything to worry about. You saw this guy was nothing. Vados looks at Goku and says, Mr. Goku, remember the fight against Zaiko. Remember the fight against all the other beings you had. Is this how in a celestial war you want to protect everyone? Pay close attention. Many things will still be changed. 
Can you understand, Mr. Goku? Believe what I am saying. You have much greater potential to win. Trust me. Come with me. Do what only needs to be done. So if your Ultra Instinct power isn't working out, remember that your training is now for a God of Destruction. Goku begins to remember all the battles he had. Goku starts to remember Vegeta and says, Vegeta's power works like this. The more hits he takes, the more powerful he gets. If this guy became the most powerful in the universe, I just need to get over it. I will finish you now. Goku manages to activate the power of Ultra Ego combined with Ultra Instinct. Belmont is surprised by the great energy that was being shown. A big Hakai fist is hurled at Goku. His energy grows more and more. Belmont says, What? Did this guy get even stronger? Damn it, I disabled the power of my king card. I thought he couldn't get up anymore. Belmont receives Goku's Hakai fist and is thrown away. Goku says, It seems that this power is really incredible. Thank you, Madame Bardos. Belmont flung away and says, Looks like I let my guard down. Very good. You have passed training, son Goku. Makarita hugs Goku and says, I said that you could be the god of destruction of this universe. At that moment, a barrier is created within the planet of destruction of Universe 11. Belmont says, What? Are we stuck here? Goku speaks. What's up? Makarita and Vados make a serious face and say, I know this energy. It's him. Cypher. Beerus and Belmont are surprised. Goku questions himself. Who is this Cypher? Vado says, Cypher is our brother, the only angel considered as the angel of destruction of Universe 18. He manages to cause a lot of trouble in all universes and now we feel his energy light years in the set universe in Universe 6. Looks like he's going after Gon and Whis. That's why someone is holding here. Goku says, That's not possible. Cypher, the destroyer angel of Universe 18, Planet Belmod, Universe 11. Goku says, Are we stuck here? It could be that Mr. Whis and Gon need our help. How do you have so many enemies like that? How are there so many powerful guys who have great anger towards the great priest? At that instant, Beerus says, I hope now you understand what I meant about Belmont's letters. We have here the existence of six universes that were erased by Zenosama due to a rebellion that happened between gods and angels. One of these most powerful gods was Ziel, the one who was from the cold demon race or the first of the founders who possessed an extremely powerful ability, even surpassing that of several angels. He gave us big headaches and ended up defeating me and Whis, but Whis hid some kind of skill. Maybe we didn't analyze very well what the enemy could do, but who is this guy, who being in Universe 6, manages to create a barrier directly in Universe 11? Who is this Cypher? Vados becomes reflective and says, Cypher is a brother of ours who had great abilities, perhaps the strongest among all angels in terms of destructive power, but he was always in big fights with our father, the great priest. Cypher always wanted to destroy everything. He showed great powers when he was little. He, along with Zyros, plus four other brothers of mine, who were always the biggest highlights, had slightly distorted thoughts. When we took it to assess their strength level at that time, they were three times more powerful than us. So we could say that Cypher really is a big problem. The big question here is, they were always interested in fighting the same way as a god of destruction. He had destruction skills even though he was an angel, and his true conflict is that he believed he could become a god of destruction and not an angel. He did not consider an angel's powers to be his powers that should be brought to his grace. 
then after that, conflicts with the high priest began more common. I am going to tell you the past of Cypher, the Angel of Destruction. Universe 6, Room of the Gods of Destruction Whis and Gorn continue to fight. Gorn says, Mr. Whis, you are very powerful indeed. It seems your skills can surpass any level I have ever seen. Does this mean that this is how you become more powerful? This force really is getting more and more incredible. What are you capable of? In that instant, when Whis's power was being shown, Whis says, I know you also have the power of an angel, but I only see you using Saiyan techniques. I would really like to know to what level your angelic power is possible to reach, Gon. Whis pressures Gon. After pressing it, Gon starts to raise a huge energy. Gon raises his power to the maximum. Whis presses it and starts to smile. Whis says, Well done, Gon. You will surely surprise me more and more. Another voice appears interrupting Whis and Gon and it says, Let's see if it isn't my brother Whis and the son of Vados. This really is amazing. Whis makes a serious face and says, It seems that the universe I am in always comes up with something. I am starting to attract problems. First it was Ziel and now you. This voice from the past, it never sounded strange to me, did it brother Cypher? Cypher appears, Universe 18's Angel of Destruction. Gorn faces Cypher and says, By this feature, I already imagined that this guy must not be good. Well, what do we have to do here Mr. Weiss? Cypher starts laughing and says, I didn't come here to fight. I don't want any more trouble with you, my brother. The only thing I want is to take the boy with me. Whis makes a serious face and says, You must be crazy as usual. Universe 11 Vados keeps talking. I will now tell you about Cypher's background. Palace of Zenosama a millennia ago the High Priest held a meeting with all the Angel Apprentices. Whis, Margarita, Vados and all the other Angels were there. The High Priest says, You are all Apprentices of Celestial Beings and you need to understand the true role of Angels. You will be the balance in case the Gods of Destruction gets out of hand. The God of Destruction destroys the planets to bring the Universes into balance. But not everyone starts to act in the right way. The moment a god of destruction fails to play his part, the angel has to bring balance by seeking the well-being of the entire universe. They can never use their powers for their own will. The angel's training can get you expelled if you don't follow the rules. All the angels seem to observe in a somewhat different way. Zyros didn't care much about it. Zyros said, why should I do this? Since if I wanted to bring balance with just my kiss of death technique, I could control everyone. Living in a world I like would be extremely fascinating. The High Priest smiles and says, That's a very bold thought. You could be sealed if you had already become a real angel. No one can think like that. You have to let everyone do what they want. After all, no one is your puppet. At that moment, an angel with short hair starts laughing and says, This is madness. This is all bullshit. You have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea of anything. If we have the power, if we are the most powerful beings in all the universes, we should end them all. Anyone who doesn't do what we say should be destroyed. We are the real destroyers. We can end everything and anyone whenever we want. Can't you understand this? We have the strength of it all. So let's not fall for that. Let's show what we really came for. This is the power of the angels, the race of destruction. At that moment, when the angel had spoken all these words, the high priest appears in front of him and says, You will be sealed. All the angels begin to watch. Whis, next to Vados and Margarita, says, 
Our brother Cypher really doesn't get along, does he? It seems that all he does is think of himself. Looks like he hasn't learned anything. Cypher had held a lot of grudges since he was little and had been sealed away several times by the high priest in the celestial prison. Cypher says, One day I will still get out of here, and you know it. I am much more powerful even than you, my father. None of you will beat me. The high priest begins to laugh and says, Do you really think you have more powers than me? This is amazing. So let go of there. While you don't leave, you'll stay here cooling off. For a long time, the high priest practically every day went to visit Cypher and see if his thinking had already changed, but his ideals always remained the same. The angel who only thought about destruction, Cypher's powers as he became sealed increased more and more, until the moment when the great priest after millennia appeared to visit Cypher in the celestial prison and a temporal rift had been created. Cypher managed to escape from the celestial prison. Back to the current times. Goku is fascinated and says, So this guy is very powerful, isn't he? Perhaps even more powerful than Zyko. He is among the most powerful in the universe. Vados observes and speaks. Sure he is. Now we need to understand what level he reached. At that moment, Whis was having a great battle against Cypher. Ziel travels directly to Universe 6. Cypher starts to land several blows on Whis. Whis begins to dodge with his mastery of Ultra Instinct and says, I don't know how long you were sealed, my brother, but know that I am also among the most powerful in the universe. I'm Whis, the Angel of Universe 7. At that instant, a great pressure of energy is created. Gon appears and begins to fight directly with the Angel of Destruction from Universe 18. Cypher speaks. Well, it looks like you won't be able to do anything around here. And like I said, I didn't come here to fight, just to take the kid. Whis, our fight will come later. A time rift is created directly in Universe 6 in the Room of the Gods of Destruction. Ziel appears and says, We need not engage in battles any longer until the day of the Great Heavenly War. Receive my sealing technique. Whis begins to have his angelic power drained by Ziel's ability. Whis says, This time his power won't work on me. Ziel is surprised to see that Whis was managing to resist his sealing magic. Ziel says, Very interesting, Whis. You're managing to resist. But what about the boy? If you try to stop the boy, it's over. If you want the boy, well, don't get involved. Whis makes a serious face again against Ziel and says, Ziel, you will pay for all of this. At that moment, Cypher teleports behind Gorn and says, I said I just wanted to know about the kid. We need to talk a little. Gorn is imprisoned by Cypher. Cypher starts laughing and tells Whis, See you later, my dear brother. I'll see you soon. Gorn is captured. Whis says, This couldn't have happened. Universe 11's barrier is undone. Everyone wonders what's going on. Universe 11. Whis arrives at Universe 11 and explains the situation to Goku and the others. Whis says, It's a complicated situation for the angels. While Ziel is in battle, he will be able to practically nullify the power of many angels. Ziel possesses a sealing technique that nullifies the mastery of Ultra Instinct among angels mainly between my power, in case I'm the one who defeats Ziel. The sealing between a horde of angels that occurred in the past celestial war could be undone, and they all ended up being killed after the spell Ziel cast on them ended. Whenever I see the sky, my fury rises and I lose control of the high movement mastery, and that makes me let down my guard. 
Maybe I am the only enemy who has the advantage over me. Margarita, Beerus, Goku, Vados and Belmont are watching. Goku says, I never imagined that Mr. Whis could go through such a situation. It's a very complicated situation, but gone, we need to save him. What is going on with him now? Beerus says, Maybe I have an idea of how we can solve this. Everyone gets excited. Meanwhile, in Universe 18, Gon is lying on the ground. At that moment, Cypher says, Let's see, this boy boy is still very young. Even with immense power, with this body, you will not last long in the Celestial War. You are still a child. But that won't be a problem. We will make some changes. Primary angels can use the technique of time manipulation and advance in time for a short period. Like my brother Whis, for example. If I am not mistaken, he can do this for 5 minutes in the present and in the future. Since I don't have this limitation, that already shows my superiority. I am sorry for this. Maybe you miss a good part of your childhood. But this technique will have to be thrown at you. Temporal Aging Technique Angelic Holy Power Ziel starts watching and he sees that Gorn has started to get older and says, You really are ruthless as always, Cypher. Be careful. This boy is Son Goku's son. If Son Goku finds out about this, he will want to throw his wrath on you. Cypher says, It doesn't matter to me. It really needed to happen. Ziel questions. Do you want to make this boy a battle machine? What makes you think that child will change your mind and come to our side? He is here to protect your entire universe. He is the key to saving the universe and not finishing destroying it. What would make you think that would be correct? At that moment, Cypher starts to laugh and says, We just need to change his head from it. He is still a child and has no maturity for many subjects. Just a little more information in his brain and everything will be resolved. Even though he received my technique and got older, his mentality is still that of a child. Gon was very similar to Goku. His appearance had already changed. Gon was still asleep. Cypher teleports with Gon's body to Universe 15. Zyros is next to the Unknown Presence and Zyko. Zyko says, Looks like we have a visitor. Zyros says, You can't keep quiet, can you? The Great Priest had already warned that this battle could only be started in seven days, as soon as the Celestial War began. Cypher laughs and responds, But I'm not creating battle with anyone, little sister. I'm just moving the chessboard. I need you to give this boy the kiss of death. Cypher's plan is to have Gon receive Zyros's kiss of death. At that moment, Zyros observes and speaks. But what is its true purpose? What are you planning on this? Cypher says, Just do, sister. In fact, I would need that boy's strength so much. After all, my powers of destruction are extremely high. But to intrigue those who want to become the saviors of war is a fantastic thing. Goku will never be able to resolve anything about this. Don't you find it interesting? Zyko, the Supreme Saiyan, was watching everything and says, Does that mean that you know Son Goku? This guy is very strong. After all, he managed to survive after fighting me. He is the Saiyan I most want to end. I am entering this war precisely to destroy you. Cypher starts laughing and says, Let's see if he is not the one who is considered one of the most powerful beings in the universe. I confess that after all this is over, I would really like to destroy it myself. Zyko is your name, right? Zyko starts laughing and says, if you think you can, it would be interesting to see how you perform. 
the unknown presence begins to observe everything that has been happening. Gon wakes up and gets up. Gon says, What is it? What's going on with my body? It's not possible. This doesn't make any sense. A temporal shift begins to take place. Gon gets up and tries to directly attack Zyros and Cypher. Zyko starts to smile and says, This kid is a Saiyan. Zyko dodges his attacks. Cypher stops Gon's blows. Gon says, What did you do with my body? I'm more grown up. How did you get me here? Where is Mr. Whis? Damn it! Dad, where are you? At that moment, Gon starts to exchange several punches with Cypher. Cypher smiles and says, I'm sorry about your body. Looks like this kid is pretty strong. That power really gets my attention. Would it be interesting to steal your body? What could we do? Zyko says, I don't know what you want here, but I have no interest in you. Cypher smiles and says, Come on, Zyrus. Come with me to Universe 18. I need you to use this technique on this boy. Then you can leave. Zyro starts laughing and says, Well, since it's to cause an intrigue, I'll do it. While Gon was fighting Cypher, the time rift opens again. Zyros, Gon and Cypher are launched straight to Universe 18. Zyro sees Ziel and says, Look, if it isn't the nullifier of the power of the angels, will you want to do something with me, Ziel? Ziel just watches, smiling, and doesn't say anything. Cypher dodges all of Gon's blows and throws Gon towards Zyros. Zyros watches Gon and says, This will be very painless. You won't feel a thing, kid. Gon receives the kiss of death from Zyros. Gon's head starts to get fuzzy. Gon starts creating another reality in his head as if Goku and Vados didn't do anything to save him. Everything seemed to be happening in a different way. Gon saw another reality in his thoughts. Gon faints in Universe 18. When Gon wakes up, he is no longer angry with Cypher and Zyros. Zyros says, my work is already done. If the High Priest appears, you will settle with him. Cypher smiles and says, Perfect. Fascinating. Are you okay now, Gon? Gon speaks. What am I doing here, Master Cypher? Cypher replies, Don't worry. You just need to go back to your world. You just need to finish off those who wanted to cause the big catastrophe. But I have a plan. Cypher tells Gon his plan. Gon makes a serious face and says, Okay, I get it. They will pay us for it. Cypher notices the presence of other angels and other beings coming to that universe. Cypher says, Looks like they have located us, CL. Let's leave Gon with them. As the great priest said, we can't think about fights for now. There are still seven days left for the heavenly war. Let's get the hell out of this planet and let them sort it out. Gon, I'm counting on you. At that moment, Gon, all grown up, was sitting on a rock on the planet of Universe 18. Goku, Vados, Whis and Beerus make it to Universe 18. Goku sees Gon standing there and says, Gon, is everything alright with you? Did they do something to you? Why are you bigger and older? Gon gives a very strange smile and says, They didn't do anything to me, Dad. Everything is fine. Let's go back. Beerus notices a very strange energy about Gon and says, Goku, step aside. Something weird is going on. At that moment, Goku tries to get close to Gon and Gon launches a huge blast of energy at Goku. Goku says, What are you doing, Gon? Gon tries to attack Goku and says, You are to blame. I will destroy you all now. It seems that the enemy's trap was successfully carried out. What will happen next? 
Goku vs. Gone. It seems that the antics of the Angel of Destruction, Cypher, ended up having an effect. Goku was cornered by his third son with Vados. Gone had been controlled by the Angel Zyros's kiss of death. What will Goku do now? What will really happen in the face of this battle? Vados and Whis are watching everything. Belmont and Margarita are still on the planet Belmont of the God of Destruction carrying out their training. Planet Belmont. Jiren was beside Topo and Margarita. It looks like Goku really managed to get a lot more powerful and this time he decided to take care of the situation himself. I thought I should go with him, but I wouldn't. At that moment, Margarita starts to laugh and says, See Jiren, you saw everyone fight just now and ended up doing nothing. It seems that his respect for Goku has increased more and more. Jiren watches and says, Maybe my thinking about justice has changed. Goku is a good being. Perhaps we should entrust him with some responsibilities. If he said that threats have arisen in Universe 7, he would take care of it himself. So let's give him that vote of confidence. Belmont starts to laugh and says, Jiren, you are learning a lot. You didn't want to help Goku this time because you didn't want him to see the new transformation you learned, did you? Jiren smiles at Belmont and stays silent. Belmont keeps talking. But we need to understand and analyze this situation a lot. Let's continue with our training. After all, now there are six days left for the Celestial War. Let's see what will happen with that. A being that managed to create a barrier within our universe cannot be considered a weak being. We really need to understand what is going to happen in the face of this. Son Goku, I hope that with your power of destruction, you will now become much stronger. Let's see what you can do. At that instant in Universe 18, Goku looks at Gon and says, Gon, I don't know what's going on with you, but you need to wake up now. Beerus watches and speaks. If this kid doesn't stop, he will have to receive a Hakai from me. After all, he is not from this universe. Goku gives Beerus a serious look and says, Mr. Beerus, please do not get involved in this battle. This matter is between me and Gon, and I will bring Gon back. Whis watches and speaks. I think you better not get involved, Mr. Beerus. Vados watches and says nothing. Gon tries to attack Goku again. Goku dodges. Goku says, Gon, if it's fighting you want, then you will learn how I managed to escape the kiss of death technique thanks to my destruction training, and you will now know my true Gon power. Gon laughs and talks. Very well, father, let's start. Whis begins to observe the great battle that Goku has shown. Whis begins to see that Goku is no longer the same as before. Vado speaks. It seems that a fight between father and son is taking place and before we could see that everything was different. Goku began to energize the power of the infinite Saiyan and now he is already mastering the techniques of destruction. Really awesome Goku, but do we still need to analyze what has been happening in the face of this? I can't understand why Goku is doing this. Gon is his son, but he is still under the kiss of death technique. He even turned against Beerus so he could fight Gon. That will be interesting. Goku tries to throw several blows at Gon and says, Gon, you need to wake up. Remember why you came here. You said you would protect everyone. Remember what everyone did to you. Gon starts having severe pains in his head and says, I don't understand what you are wanting. My true master is Master Cypher. He was correct all this time. You were too weak and you failed to do right. Stop it. I will finish you all off and I will show that I possess the power of the true destroyer. I am gone, the heavenly Saiyan. Beerus starts to get enraged and says, This boy is very bold. I don't know when Goku had the son, but Vados, this is not correct. I, as a god of destruction, am losing my patience. This can't happen. Come on, Vados, 
Let me get even with this kid. Reese begins to observe and speaks. Looks like they're getting really mad, Mr. Beerus. Looks like you're not taking care of everything that's going on. We are in Universe 18, where you too, as a god of destruction, have no right to get involved in battles. If Mr. Goku said he's going to resolve a battle between mortals, and that makes total sense. Gon starts to land several blows on Goku. Goku ends up being thrown to the ground in his God of Destruction suit. At this point, we can see that things started to get a lot more tense for Goku. Goku starts to smile and says, Gon, I don't know what you want, and I don't know what level of strength you've achieved, but things just got a lot more interesting. Now I will be able to show my true power. The side effects of this technique are immeasurable, but it's the only way I thought of to teach you a lesson. That's my true strength, the strength of Universe 7 Saiyan Goku. I want you to show me what you're capable of. Goku started to have a big weakness in the battle. Gon says, My powers are much greater than yours. My energy is combined with the heavenly power of an angel alongside the power of a Saiyan. You may come. Goku starts laughing and says, Mr. Whis, it looks like the big moment has arrived. Beerus and Vardo start looking at Whis. Whis starts to laugh. Mr. Goku, are you really going to do this? Beerus says, What is Goku talking about? Goku continues to laugh. Beerus asks, What are you doing? Whis, were you able to teach some angelic techniques to Goku? Whis watches and speaks. A long time ago, I ended up training Mr. Goku so that he could control the mastery of self-movement, Mr. Beerus. So whether or not Mr. Goku started to get much more powerful until I showed him my true essence, that even as an angel to be able to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I used a technique of energy concentration increasing my muscle mass. Mr. Goku was fascinated when he saw this technique, until the moment I taught Lord Goku the Supreme Ultra Instinct. Mr. Goku trained with me on several occasions and his goal was to surpass you, Mr. Beerus. He trained a lot until the time he said that he would one day overcome me by activating this technique. Perhaps it would be the only way for a being who is not a purebred angel to get angelic power. Beera smiles and says, How dare you do that? You couldn't have had that attitude. Goku was fighting Gon and says, Pay close attention Gon, you're not the only one with angelic power. Goku begins to raise his mastery of Ultra Instinct even further raising the second level of the Ultra Instinct stage known as the Ultimate Instinct of Angels. Gon is surprised and says, Like this? Do you also possess the power of an angelic Saiyan? Goku begins to dodge all of Gon's punches. Goku hits Gon in the face and Gon is thrown into the rubble of Universe 18. Goku says, Gon, don't do that. You know very well what our goals are and what we need to do to be able to save everyone on Earth. You are my son, the third son of Goku. Never let yourself be carried away by the family of evil. At that instant, Gon begins to recover after receiving Goku's angelic energy and says, Dad? What was this? What happened? It seemed that I was seeing another reality after receiving that angel's technique. Gon's head kept getting troubled. Goku's powers were getting tired. Gon kept questioning himself. What's going on? It all seems so simple. But at the same time, I want to destroy everyone. I think I'm getting back to normal. The sealing technique needs to end. Whis watches and Goku says, Come on, Gon, react! Goku's powers were recovering by time. Beerus appears and speaks. Get out of the way, Goku. Goku says, No, I can't do that. That boy is my son. Beerus launches a large blast of energy at Goku and Goku throws it away. Whis begins to observe and says, It seems to no avail. 
the destroyer's fury has finally been unleashed. Beerus says, It doesn't matter to me if this boy is your son or not. I'm here to bring balance to the universe and for the many slips I took with you, this ended up happening. This will serve for your destroyer training. Gone, that's your name, isn't it? It's time you got some flicks in the year to know what's right and what's wrong. Now you will deal with me, Beerus the Destroyer. Beerus vs. Gone At that moment, Goku had his powers weakened after showing the Ultra Distinguished Level 2, which was the ultimate technique he had learned from an angel of Universe 7 with Whis. Whis ended up watching the entire battle that took place. The powers that were being shown among the most powerful warriors were finally revealed. Goku's power increased each time. Gon was still having meltdowns from the angel Zyros' kiss of death. Beerus in Universe 18 became enraged after seeing Goku and Gon fight. Beerus believed that Goku was not wanting to show all of his strength because he was fighting his son. At that moment, Beerus' rage activates the power of the destroyer and says, Boy, now you will fight the one who is the strongest, the true cat of destruction. My race is the most powerful. Gon watches and speaks. But wait, why do you want to fight me? I'm almost regaining my consciousness 100%. Don't do that. Beerus charges straight at Gon and starts landing several blows on him. The weakened Gon says, Don't do that, Mr. Beerus. That could be a slip. A weakened Goku looks on and says, Mr. Whis, is there any possibility that Mr. Beerus lands a Hakai directly on Gon? Whis observes and says, Goku, Beerus is very merciless in many battles, but after a while, he really started to change. But it looks like this time he wants to fight Gon. Not to make Gon regain consciousness, but to see if in fact he could be that Saiyan from his dream. Goku speaks. What? The Saiyan from Beerus's dream? The Saiyan from Beerus's dream. Whis says. There was a big legend last year that there was a Saiyan who was extremely powerful. That Saiyan who could defeat any god of destruction. It would be by its essential power, that power that was a warrior's fury. After Mr. Beerus dreamed about this Saiyan, every day he wanted to get stronger. His race being the race of destroyer cats managed to increase their powers more and more and develop great levels of skill. It seemed that everything was moving in a different way. The powers Mr. Beerus wielded seemed to have a purpose. A long time ago, Beerus says, Whis, I need to get stronger. Of all the gods of destruction, I am the most powerful of all races. I'm that warrior who doesn't fear anyone. Yet I had a dream where I saw a Saiyan. And this Saiyan was capable of defeating any of the other gods. I want to know if this dream really is a prophecy. I want to see what they are capable of. I want to show all my power, show what I can do in the face of all of this. I know I can beat anyone. I know I can show my best destroyer performance. Come on, train me, Whis. Moments passed and Beerus, even though he was a god of destruction, like all gods of destruction, had difficulty mastering Ultra Instinct. Beerus ended up learning to raise his Akai energy even more and with that he was able to show extremely powerful skills, combining the Akai power of the Ultra Ego alongside the Ultra Instinct. Whis is impressed and says, This guy still manages to use the Ultra Sharp combined with the Ultra Ego, even though he has an energy of destruction. It really is fascinating. Even with all of the power that Beerus showed Whis, the God of Destruction was still no match for the Angel of Universe 7. Beerus kept having his prophetic dream of a Saiyan who would fight him. Times passed, Son Goku met the God of Destruction. Goku was happy to learn that such powerful beings existed. 
Beerus easily defeated Goku and after Goku received all the power that was being emanated by other Saiyans, he found out for the first time that he could reach his God form or God Saiyan. Goku says, Beerus the Destroyer is you, isn't it? It doesn't matter to me if you have great powers or what kind of skill you are going to perform. I just need to save all my friends and I'll show you the true skill I am capable of performing. You will understand now everything that will happen. At that moment, Beerus starts laughing and says, You will never match my power. You will never be able to have more strength than me. But I recognize your son, Goku Claw. I recognize that you are a true Saiyan. Beerus had recognized Goku's powers. After returning to the planet of destruction, he talks to Whis and says, it seems that Saiyan Goku really was powerful, but I still couldn't see that image from my dream. But this guy is very strong. Back to current times. Gon raised his celestial energy even more, while Beerus started to laugh and was happy in that battle. Beerus says, Boy, I haven't had a fight like this in a long time. I haven't faced such a powerful being in a long time. I need to get stronger. This, I need to show my true power. Gon starts laughing and says, It seems you don't care about the skill I received from the angel Zyros. You're just wanting a battle that makes you excited, isn't it, God of Destruction? Probably in the previous battles you had, you didn't reveal all your strength and I think it's very difficult for you to be doing this to me. Surely, you still have other levels of energy, don't you? Beerus starts laughing. We says, So was that it? You couldn't care less, Mr. Beerus. You just saw everyone fighting and before starting the Celestial War, you want to get more powerful? Goku starts watching and says, That's a little weird, but it seems that I am already understanding everything that is happening. We starts to laugh and says, do you really believe there's something else behind it, Mr. Goku? Gon begins to raise his heavenly Saiyan power even more. Vado says, I don't remember Mr. Champa being so excited about battles. Mr. Champa watches someone and already wants to destroy, but the pleasure of fighting is something that should already exist within the breed of the destruction cats. Very good. Gon was experiencing great difficulty in the battle against Beerus until the moment when Beerus was about to land another blow on Gon and the mastery of the high movement began to be revealed. Beerus says, Boy, how do you manage to activate and raise your power so much? This really is getting more and more interesting. Does that mean you still have the energy to take out anyone? This is going to get even better. Receive all the power of the destroyer now. Gon tries to hold back the large energy barrier that had been launched directly by Beerus. Beerus says, You'll never get out of this, boy. The great energy barrier that had been released and makes Gon in a very complicated situation. In a few moments, Gon manages to raise his power even more and manages to repel the energy of the God of Destruction. Gon falls to the ground. Goku says, Please, Mr. Beerus, don't do anything with Gon. Beerus starts watching Gon lying on the ground and Vado starts to laugh. Goku questions himself, Why did you laugh, Vados? This doesn't make any sense. Gon cannot die. We starts talking. Calm down, Mr. Goku. Take it easy. What we can see is that Mr. Beerus, with the energy of destruction, combined with the positive energy of Gon's creation, managed to nullify the effect of the angel Zyros's kiss of death. It means that this was all a plan of Mr. Beerus since when he left the planet Belmont. Goku starts laughing and says, I can't believe it. Thank you very much, Mr. Beerus. Beerus slams Goku's head and says, That wasn't for you. Just looking at this boy's energy, I already realized that he is the Saiyan of my dream. Gone is his name, isn't it? I won't forget. I will still want to fight you in the future. 
However, I think there's a Saiyan even more powerful than all of you. Goku starts watching and speaks. What do you mean, Mr. Beerus? What is he talking about? Flashback to previous battles. Goku and Vegeta vs. Broly. After this battle took place, Goku began to wonder about the levels of powers that Broly could show. But meanwhile, Beerus on the planet Beerus started talking to Whis. It seems that there is another Saiyan who fought against Goku and Vegeta, who showed an even more interesting performance. Maybe it would be interesting to see in the future what he could show. After all, the big day will come. Back to the current moments, Whis says, I think Mr. Beerus is referring to Broly. Goku remembers exactly where Broly is. Goku says, How could I forget about Broly? He will definitely be able to help us. Beerus says, I think you should look for him. After all, he is one of your loved ones and one of those with the greatest potential for war. Leave Gorn here with me. He will undergo training as soon as he wakes up. After all, his day was not easy. There are only six days left for the Celestial War, so if I were you, I would take advantage of it and make the warriors that are part of your army much stronger. Goku starts to smile and says, Well done, Mr. Beerus. Thank you very much for everything. Everyone goes back to Universe 7. Goku asks to sense Broly's location. After Broly's location is discovered, Goku teleports directly to the Vampa planet where Broly is. Planet Vampa is all destroyed. Goku is shocked and says, What's going on here? Vamp Planet After Goku and Vegeta fought Broly and all the events took place, the planet Vampa ended up being inhabited by Chirai and Broly and several other extraterrestrials. After passing time, other civilizations began to stay on this planet, where the one who took care of everything was Broly, considered the savior of everything. After Broly completed training alongside Goku and Vegeta on the planet Beerus, Broly returned to the planet Vampa to take care of everything. Other races, as well as Frieza's race, who loved to conquer lands and make slaves on different planets, ended up trying to attack the planet Vampa but Broly was always there to save everyone. Who appeared and who showed that he would become more powerful was Broly, and Broly ended up protecting the planet Vampa. Broly even trained with Goku and Vegeta directly on the planet of the God of Destruction. Broly was still learning to control his power since his berserker form was still in development. While we saw that Goku with his Ultra Instinct and Vegeta with his Ultra Ego ended up increasing his power more and more. Since then, no one else has managed to invade Planet Vampa and Planet Vampa was a whole different planet. Until the moment, a great catastrophe happened. Goku, God of Destruction, arrives on Planet Vampa to ask Broly for help to fight alongside him in the Celestial War. However, to his surprise, Goku sees the planet Vampa completely destroyed. Goku says, What happened on this planet? What's going on here? I cannot understand anything. At that moment, Broly appears totally enraged and says, Kakarot, you are to blame for everything. I will end you and everything. Goku watches and speaks, It's not possible. What's going on with Broly? I swore he had learned to control his anger. It looks like Broly has destroyed and wiped out every single person on this planet. But you had changed. You had managed to control all your power. Why is this happening? And why now, Broly? Broly creates a large sphere of energy and launches it at Goku. Goku is thrown away. Broly says, Kakarot is all your fault. You will pay for everything you've done to my planet. Broly is furious. Goku vs Broly What's going on on planet Vampa? Broly was the savior of everything and now he's destroying everything on planet Vampa. Goku activates his Ultra Instinct with the God of Destruction outfit and says, Broly, I don't know what happened to you, but this is so wrong. You have to stop this. 
Let's settle this from the best situation. Why did you do this? A celestial war is going to happen and you are the true potential for this battle. Broly gets more and more enraged and starts to land several blows on Goku. Goku, even activating his mastery of Ultra Instinct, cannot escape Broly's blows in his berserker form. Goku says, He really is still a lot more powerful. It seems like a lot more than last time. Even using my Ultra Instinct, he still manages to predict the blows I throw. Goku starts to increase his speed and starts to land several blows on Broly, causing Broly to start to contract his power. But even so, the energy that Broly starts to raise is much greater. Broly says, It's all your fault. They were all fine. But you deceived me. You made yourself impersonate my friends and then you took everything I had. Broly tries to analyze the situation. Goku starts watching and thinks, What is Broly talking about? What is Broly trying to say? This isn't making much sense because even when activating his berserker form, he can still talk. So it looks like he's really attacking like if I'm the enemy. After Broly performed training on Mr. Beerus's planet, one of the first pillars he learned from Mr. Whis was how to control his rage. Mr. Whis said that if Broly managed to control his rage, no one would be able to defeat him. So, since then he managed to show greater and greater abilities. But why is this happening now? Goku says, Broly, calm down. What are you saying? I am not able to understand anything. We didn't do anything. At that moment, Broly says, That cat of destruction showed up here and wiped them all out. Goku watches and speaks. Is he talking about Mr. Beerus? Goku starts to think and remembers that Beerus's race came back wanting revenge and at some point they would attack. Goku says, Broly, please listen to me. Mr. Beerus's race tried to attack you. They are called the breed of destruction cats. They are our enemies too. I mean, then they've already started attacking here. What happened? At that instant, Goku says, I already know. Goku starts creating a large energy point in his fist and hits Broly's face. Soon after, he headbutts Broly, causing Broly to calm down. Goku holding Broly says, Broly, calm down and listen to all the truth I'm going to tell you. The real enemy is not Mr. Beerus. It wasn't us who did this on his planet. It wasn't our friends, but the true enemies of the Celestial War. We are about to receive the biggest threat in all universes. If we don't join forces, all our loved ones will end up dying. Is that what you want, Broly? Where is that warrior who swore to fight for justice on the planet of Mr. Beerus and smiled saying that he would be the strongest Saiyan of all universes? Broly begins to regain consciousness and says, I'm sorry, Goku. It was hard days of battle against the race of purple cats that called themselves the Cats of Destruction. They were extremely similar to Lord Beerus. I couldn't save everyone. They captured Shirai. Does it look like planet vampires in pieces? At that moment, Goku says, The destructive cat race came here and said they were on Mr. Beerus's side? After Broly calmed down, moments passed. Goku and Broly started talking. Broly says, Well, it looks like you don't know anything yet. Six days ago, the planet Vampire was invaded. There were several beings similar to Beerus. They started destroying everything, saying they needed a new planet for them, and destruction began on Mars. Several beings that lived here ended up dying. I raged and stayed for days, fighting all of the race of destruction. They said they were looking for Beerus. I asked for help and tried to communicate with you, but I couldn't. It was a very hard battle. Maybe if I had gotten stronger, things could have changed. But that's not what happened. At that moment, Goku starts to observe everything and says, It seems that if it weren't for the High Priest, we would have taken a lot more losses. How is everyone on Earth? Gohan, I hope you and Vegeta are taking care of the situation. Unfortunately, we are having a universal threat right now. I cannot understand. Broly speaks. You talked about a heavenly war. 
what will happen before that? Goku explains to Broly about the entire battle related to the Celestial War. Broly begins to understand the gravity of the situation. Broly says, Do you think I can still get more powerful, Goku? Goku starts watching and says, I'm sure you can. After all, you are the greatest war potential. That was a word spoken by Mr. Beerus. Many things begin to happen and unfold. Goku begins training alongside Broly. Broly, after looking at Goku, speaks. It seems that even in the midst of a war, you convey a Son Goku hope. It seems that we can feel the hope of being victorious just because you are alive. So please don't die. I'm sure I'll be able to get much more powerful. Goku and Broly's training begins. After Goku and Broly start training, hours pass and Broly begins to raise his energy more and more. Broly speaks. We have a short amount of time to get more powerful, Goku. Let's see what will happen in the face of all this. I'm sure you are capable of raising your power more and more to the maximum. Goku replies. I'm so glad you regained consciousness and returned to normal, Broly. Well, now it's time for us to go to the planet of destruction. At that moment, without much explanation, Goku begins to feel a great pain in his head. The planet Vampa that was in rubble starts to shake. Goku doesn't understand what was happening to his body. Broly is weirded out and asks, What's going on, Goku? Goku begins to have different visions. Could it be that something related to Zyros' technique still suffers in his body? Goku says, But I thought I had already gotten rid of the power of that Universe 15 Angel. What's going on with Goku? Goku cries when he sees the elimination of all his friends in front of him. Farewell to all mortals. Planet Vampa. At that moment, we could see that Broly I didn't understand what was happening to Goku's body. It looked like a time warp had just occurred. A lot of time passed. It looked like Zyro's angel's technique. It had taken effect against Goku's body. Goku says, That seems like even greater power than the angel Zyro's kiss of death blow. I don't understand. Like this? That couldn't have happened. I came here and it looks like you don't have Mr. Beerus to help me. I cannot understand. Goku's body begins to shudder and the entire planet Vampa begins to collapse. Goku closes his eyes and inside his head he begins to see another vision. Broly says, What's happening? Why is Goku doing this? Goku always had a calm in his body. I can't understand why this is happening to him. Kiss of death? What is it? It seems that the enemies that are fighting against Goku and the others are very strong. Come on Goku, get up soon. We have a world to save. Moments ago in Makayoshin Realm, Kingdom of the Makayoshin. In this realm where there are supreme gods who are from the family of evil. Unlike the Kaioshins and Gods of Destruction, there are the Makayoshins and the Gods of Darkness. Instead of the Angel that occurs in the world we know, there are the Celestial Demons. The Makayoshins millennia ago lived in wars, but due to an agreement with the Angels, moments of peace existed until then. North Galaxy Makayoshin Realm The King of the Makayoshin Kingdom beside the Makayoshin says, it looks like the cat race of destruction is wiping out the entire planet. It seems that all these wars between mortals are very interesting, and I can see and feel everything that can happen. We shouldn't get involved in this battle, because this battle will be much more intriguing after all this celestial war is over. It's much better to let them all run out. Or should we start wiggling our toothpicks? After all, what is a celestial war next to a universal battle? But even so, there are potentials in this war that will make our chessboard engaging for us in the future.
Saiyans are said to be very powerful, right? They can be the potential to win a battle. The best way there is to make enemies end up joining, isn't it? Multiple enemies becoming one. This will make things much better during this battle. At that instant in the Makayoshin realm, other beings speak. Master, this is amazing. So does that mean they're just puppets? Will they destroy each other? And after all this war is over, will we attack? We will be able to rule all the palaces. The Makayoshin king of the universe speaks. That's probably what will happen. Not a father? At that moment, the Makayoshin king's father reveals his identity. I am Meki Kabura. Meki Kabura speaks. Well done, my son. You will still reign over everything. All these realms will be yours. At times when the angels are weakened, we will show the real strength of all their power. You know that the Makayoshin family is the most powerful of all. Our magical power has been growing stronger for millennia. And you, how the prince of all, will create the reality of salvation. All celestial beings will still pay. The kingdom of darkness will show that it is the most powerful of all. You are Demigra, the demon prince of the Makayoshin family. It seems that one of the Saiyans is on a planet that was almost completely eradicated in Universe 7. Maybe it would be interesting for you to get into his mind and show the vision of what will be if he doesn't get more powerful. I am sure that the Saiyan race has enormous potential and can be of great help to our kingdom if we manipulate them all. Saiyans are the warrior race and the Zenkai they have is the key to surpassing the powers of even angels. Demigra responds, I already understood very well what I need to do. I will pay a visit to San Goku and make the proposal he needs to win this celestial war in exchange for some advantages. At that moment in Goku's head, Goku sees Demigra in front of him. Goku says, Who are you? You are not the angel Zyros, but your technique is very similar to hers. You are trying to control my mind. Demigra starts to laugh and says, Are you comparing me to an angel? I am the complete opposite, and my power is far greater than those of lesser beings. I would take you down in a heartbeat. That is, if I wanted to get involved in this battle between gods fighting gods. Demons don't want to get involved in the battle of the gods. Can you understand this? But I confess that I wouldn't want to see the gods win this battle either. So I decided to show you the great catastrophe. What will happen if you are defeated, son Goku? Goku watches and says, What is this guy talking about? It looks like he wants to show his true power. But at the same time, he wants me to know his energy. At that moment, Goku tries to attack Demigra. Demigra starts laughing and says, It won't help. Keep up that vision. Unlike Angel Zyros, my technique is totally different. My technique just shows the current reality according to the enemy's strength. If you, with that power, even with that of the God of Destruction, try to raise some more energy, you will not be able to do anything. You will just be destroyed. You need to learn that there is still much more to Son Goku's energy of destruction. You need to learn a lot more about different skills. Just see what will happen in your future with that power. Goku starts crying after seeing the image of all his friends and loved ones dead, the entire earth destroyed. Zenosama and Daishinkan are lying on the ground. Beerus and Whis knocked down. Goku didn't quite understand what was going on. Demigra arrives beside Goku and says, Can you tell? 
That's what will happen if your destruction energy doesn't increase your power. You need the Ultra Ego. Otherwise, all your friends will be defeated. Everything will end. Can you see that, Goku? It lacks power. He lacks anger. You need to understand that within this world, only the strongest can live. Where gods believe they possess more power than mortals, they believe they can do whatever they want and it will really happen if you don't have the strength anymore. You will be blamed for all of Goku's destruction. Is that what you want? Be blamed for all the destruction of the universes and cry for not being able to protect your friends. The land you fought so hard to protect will be destroyed in front of you, Goku. Can you understand the seriousness of the situation? If you are that Sin who wants to protect everything and everyone, you will have to perform even better. At that moment, Demigra in his thoughts says, It seems that now he is starting to understand everything that is going on. It seems that he already realized the level that he will have to raise in his strength. Very good. I'd like to see how far you can get stronger, Goku. Don't let me down. At that moment, Goku had his head down. Goku began to reflect and think about everything that was happening. Goku says, So I need to get stronger, and for me to get stronger, I need to fight strong guys, right? I need to show all my true performance like you said, and that the power of Angel Zyro's technique was nothing next to you. So that means you consider yourself more powerful than the Angel Zyros, right? Since it is so, you will fight me here and now. Demigra starts laughing and appears behind Goku and says, Do you really think you're capable of fighting me? You must have no idea of the level of power of a Makayoshin Supreme Demon. The true God of Darkness is here in front of you. Goku is surprised and says, This guy really has a totally different level of power, but even so, I can't let my friends die, and my only alternative is to fight powerful guys and overcome myself more and more. Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis never go head to head with me, so I need to show the results of my training here. Goku begins to energize the power of destruction, causing everything around him to shake. An aura of pure darkness appears over Demigra. Angels and demons cannot fight. I cannot understand. Goku starts to smile and speaks. It doesn't matter to me. I'll end with you. Planet Vampa. Planet Vampa shuddered. At that moment, Goku was unconscious while Broly was holding him. Broly wanders. Come on, Goku. Wake up. What's going on with you inside your head? The battle against Demigra begins. Goku Ultra Instinct vs Demigra Goku's true strength is shown. Goku starts crying after seeing everything that had happened within those battles. The true power that was being brought forth from the force of destruction. Goku had the idea that he could fight Demigra, showing his true power and causing things to start to change. Goku knew he needed to get stronger. According to all the threats that were appearing within Universe 7 and all other universes, there were only five days left before the Celestial War began. Goku had gone to get Broly to bring that warrior with the greatest battle potential. Beerus knew that the combination of his powers with the Alliance of All Saiyans would be the key to defeat any enemy. The God of Destruction of Universe 7 sent Goku directly to Planet Vampa to bring Broly, but his own race of Destruction Cats had already reached the planet of the legendary Saiyan before. Goku, upon arriving on the planet Vampa, sees that everything was devastated due to the race of Beerus having ended everything. Shirai was captured. Broly needed help. Broly learned about everything that Goku was going through and all the threats that were being involved. After a few moments, Broly didn't refuse to help Goku. 
Amidst Goku and Broly's training and the threat of the Makayoshins occurred, Goku suffered a breakdown in his mind. Back to the present moment in Goku's subconscious. Goku has been living a battle with the prince of the Makayoshin kingdom, Demigras the true god of darkness from the heavenly family. Goku in his subconscious smiling says, I just need to break up with you. If I defeat you, it will mean that I will no longer be affected when I receive the kiss of death technique from the angel Zyros. If I manage to undo your technique here now, I will definitely have managed to become a much stronger warrior. We Saiyans need to learn to have more resistance to magical powers from majors like you. I'm sure Gohan, Gon and the others are preparing and training for battle. I won't be left behind. Demigra, you made me cry just because I saw everything that had happened in the distorted reality you created. I will never accept that my friends are attacked in front of me. You will pay for this. That was not correct. Now you will understand what my true power is and what I need to show to defeat any enemy. Goku was already another person with a more mature personality. The responsibility of having to save all universes anointed his body. His skill level had automatically changed, the god of destruction power flowing over the Saiyan's body. Demigra starts laughing and says, Think very carefully and remember everything that happened. Do you think you have a chance of beating me? It's not in my plans to destroy you now. But if that's what you really want, I will. Goku begins to remember again and sees the vision of Chi Chi and all of his friends lying on the ground. Goku's cry is shown again. Goku says, For me it doesn't matter. I'll settle this right here and now. A faint smile starts to creep over Goku's face. Goku speaks. If I break up with you, you won't be able to do anything else. Then you can come. Planet Vampa. Broly continues to observe what has been happening with Goku. Broly starts to reason and says, Goku needs to recover soon. He needs to return to his normal energy. As soon as he recovers, we will be able to accomplish great feats. But before we return to the planet Beerus, we will have to go back and see where his race is and save Chirai from there. Chirai cannot be manipulated by them. We need to resolve this. What's going on with you, Goku? If I only knew how to use this teleportation technique, I could teleport people to the nearest planet. But we need you to wake up. If any threat appears, I'll be here to protect you. Come on, recover my friend. Broly begins to reflect on all the battles he has had and every threat that has appeared in recent times and comes to the conclusion that there will always be wars and that he will have to get stronger each time. Planet Beerus Beerus was analyzing everything that was going on while training Gon alongside Vados and Whis. Beerus says, Something is strange to me. Goku always tends to get into trouble. Goku tends to always cause big problems. I cannot understand what is happening. If we look, Goku started to show a very great performance, but still he didn't surpass several other gods. So it was a very simple task. Just go to the vampire planet and come back with Broly. Is he training Broly or what is he doing? I can't figure it out. But alright, let's see what happens next. Whis begins to analyze and says, Mr. Goku is very perceptive for this type of situation. I'm sure he will show a much higher performance. Mr. Goku and Broly can be considered the greatest potentials of the war. At that moment, Beerus says, You can't forget the hybrids, Gohan and Gorn. These two boys surprised me more and more. Gohan's powers when he fought that twisted version of Cell were formidable. While Goku and Vegeta carry out Broly's training here, Gohan had been having an uphill battle on Earth. These Saiyans don't even look like those guys I humiliated when I first came to Earth. 
it feels like I am even unintentionally creating a new destroyer. They really can show that they have merit to fight, so let's believe in the power they will show. The other angels and the other universes will certainly want to get involved, but even so, we will need to understand much more of what will develop in these battles. It makes a little sweat break out on my body just thinking about those powerful enemies from the past getting involved. But you know we can still expect the worst, don't you, Whis? Vado starts laughing and says, Stay calm, Beerus. After all, the strongest, which are the meaning of hope, are here by our side. That will be very interesting. Back on planet Vampa, Goku subconscious. Goku was exchanging several blows against Demigra. Demigra, using his mastery of evil, the instinct of darkness, ended up dodging several of Goku's attacks. Demigra says, It's no use what you try to do, son Goku. You will never be able to defeat me. This will be too vague. If you continue with this thought, I will send you to an empty dimension that you will never be able to escape. I will show all my power over you and you will understand what the true energy of Demigra is, the true Makayoshin of darkness. At that moment, Goku is thrown away, but while using his Ultra Instinct, Goku starts to laugh at all the blows he receives from Demigra. Goku begins to show his true power. Demigra begins to be surprised by the fact that Goku's power is increasing more and more. At that moment, Demigra did not understand what was happening. Demigra launches Goku and traps him with destruction magic. Goku starts laughing and says, I mean then that you were hiding the game each time you managed to get stronger, right? Demigra starts laughing and says, I do not know what you want. We in the family of evil do not engage in the battle against the angels. But you want to master your power so badly. You want to fight the first strong guy you see. You must be going crazy, son Goku. Then that's it. Maybe my dad made the wrong suggestion. Maybe the best way is to end you. Goku begins to show a brief smile on his face. Goku says, Now I'm starting to get happy. I haven't had an uninterrupted battle in a long time. Since when these battles had started, I couldn't fight until the end with an enemy. We Saiyans get stronger when we go through a life and death situation. So I'll show you now what I'm capable of. Vegeta, I'm sorry, but now I'm going to have to reveal that during this time, I managed to master your technique and I'm going to use it now. Demigra starts looking at Goku in an entirely different light. Demigra says, Is he beginning to awaken a new power? Goku starts taking several hits from Demigra. Goku gets more and more. The power of the evil family begins to show. The true power of the prince of the Makayoshins. Demigra says, Goku, I don't know what you want with that, but you need to understand that within the family of evil, there are several beings. Just like in the family of angels and celestial beings, you will never be able to defeat me. After all, my power is one that exceeds everyone's power. So you need to understand that many things will happen in the course of all these battles, and the energy that I can show you is the true power for destruction. At that moment, Goku begins to question himself and speaks. It doesn't matter to me. I don't want to know what you have to develop. I just know that I can get more and more powerful and that way I will be able to show all my performance in battle. You are just a ladder that will make me stronger. Once in the Universe 6 tournament, when I fought Hit, it seemed that we were pawns on the chessboard and that the gods did what they wanted with us. Since then, I could see that it would be necessary to get much stronger. The Gods of Destruction gave another meaning to the power that we all knew. 
It was a colossal force since the first time I fought Mr. Beerus, and I managed to surpass my limits when I mastered the mastery of Ultra Instinct. So with that, it made me see that how much stronger I got, the more powerful guys would appear. It's a growing evolution, and that's why I need to beat you. If you need me, I'm sure you won't kill me, so I can fight with everything and show what I'm really capable of. If my energy runs out, surely you will still need my help. Demigra starts to smile and says, Very insightful. But what makes you think that I really need you so much? Just like in a chess game, we try to use the best pieces. But if those pieces don't want to work in our favor, we will choose others. After all, you are all disposable. Goku makes a serious face and says, What? Damn you, you're gonna pay for this. At that moment, Goku began to use the mastery of Ultra Instinct, fighting against Demigra's mastery of Dark Instinct. Demigra kept throwing several blows at Goku. Goku tried to dodge, but even with the mastery of Ultra Instinct, he started to fail. Goku says, This guy has a skill very similar to Gas. It seems the more we fought Gas, the stronger he got. It was a kind of transformation, a totally different kind of skill than now. What will we really be able to do? But that doesn't matter. We need to get stronger and show our development. I really want to understand what will happen in the face of all of this. But come on. Now I believe it is time for us to show what we are capable of. Goku starts laughing and says, Demigra, do you know why we Saiyans are considered the strongest warrior race? Demigra observes and says, Do you want to explain? Goku says, We are considered the warrior race because for many, many times, we lived fighting and becoming more and more powerful. We always wanted to get stronger to dominate planets. Frieza, afraid of the legendary Saiyan, destroyed our planet. Our race practically became extinct in the universe, but few like me survived. Later, Frieza's nightmare came true after he was defeated by me, and later by Trunks. Even the strongest suffer before Saiyans. I could be a devastating warrior, but since I was a child, my father sent me to Earth. But there I had another creation, but it's my race and I can't deny its powers and the abilities we show. It's the best time for us to reach a supreme Saiyan level. At that moment, Goku begins to observe and activates his Ultra Instinct power even more and advances to attack Demigra. Demigra starts laughing and says, You talk too much. Even showing this power and even showing these skills, you still can't develop anything too much. Goku teleports and lands a full punch on Demigra. Demigra says, Like this? How was that possible? How did this guy manage to do this? It doesn't make any sense. Victory was mine. You took hits throughout the fight and you still managed to use those moves. What were you up to, Goku? Don't think that's enough to beat me. Demigra observes Goku, but an image of Vegeta starts to appear in front of him. He was practically defeated. At that moment, Demigra noticed that Goku's hair was changing color and turning a little silver and a little purple. Demigra was not understanding what was happening. Right after, Goku says, it looks like I'm managing to master the mastery of the Ultra Ego. I'm sorry about that, Vegeta. This technique was supposed to be exclusive to him and Mr. Beerus, but it was the fastest way for me to increase my powers. It seems that my Ultra Ego energy is increasing more and more. So what do you mean that was it? That's the true level of strength I'll be able to develop. Goku starts to smile and says, Thank you very much, Demigra. Now you have made me able to raise my power even more. I'm finally mastering Mr. Beerus and Vegeta's Ultra Ego. It was all Goku's plan. Goku wanted to receive the blows to be able to activate the mastery of the Ultra Ego and be able to combine it with his Ultra Instinct. At that moment, Demigra begins to observe and speaks. You are amazing. It makes me even more fascinated to finish you, Goku. Does this mean that this is your power? 
Very good. Soon, we will see each other again. But for now, that's all. At that instant, Goku says, Wait, you can't do that. Come back here. Demigra disappears. Vampire planet. Goku wakes up. Goku says, Demigra, come back here. Broly, not understanding anything, speaks. Goku, what happened to you? You've been sleeping for hours. Who is Demigra? Goku begins to reflect and speaks. So that was it? Well, that at least served for our training. Don't sweat it, Broly. I had some problems, but I'm already solving all of them now. Thank you for staying here protecting me from any threat. Let's go to Mr. Beerus's planet soon. Broly makes a serious face. Goku starts watching Broly and says, I understood. You want to help her, don't you? Broly responds, Shirai is the only person I've stayed closest to here on the vampire planet, and she's always helped and cared for me. I can't abandon her. We need to go after this breed of destruction cats and sort this out. Come on, help me, Goku. Goku starts to smile and says, All right, let's go. Now I learned a different technique, and maybe it would be even interesting for you to learn it to be able to master it, Broly. I need to feel the energy of destruction here in this universe. It will probably be a similar energy to Mr. Beerus, but it will not be on the planet of destruction. At that moment, Goku asks Broly to put his hand on his shoulder and begins to feel energy and feel the power of destruction. Goku says, Broly, I have already located the power of this race's energy of destruction. There are many. I really believe it will be too risky. We would just have to rescue Shirai and get back, even because we will be getting involved in battles before starting the Celestial War. Broly smiles and speaks. This will be perfect. Let's settle this now then, Goku. Planet of the Destruction Cats. An unknown voice is looking at Shirai and says, Means they're coming here for you, girl. Be prepared to see your friends get destroyed in front of you. <laughs> Goku masters the Ultra Ego to defeat Beerus's race. Goku and Broly had teleported from the planet Vampa directly to the planet of the race of the god who destroyed everything, the one who was the first cat of destruction, the true cat of creation, the true power that was emanated by the strongest. Planet of the Destruction Cats Goku arrives on a planet very similar to the planet Beerus, where it seemed that all the races that were there were cats of destruction. Hidden, Goku and Broly talk. It seems that this is the planet where the most powerful beings inhabit. It seems that the strength level of all the destruction cats is very similar to Beerus's powers. We have to download all our key and just try to rescue Chirai without being seen. But where would they leave Chirai around here? I cannot understand. At that moment, we can see that several destruction cats were working and training in preparation for the Celestial War. Goku says, All right, let's go, Broly. We cannot be detected, because if one of them notices our presence, we'll all be destroyed for sure. Broly says, All right, Goku. I'm already able to control my anger much better than before. A few moments pass and Goku begins to reflect next to Broly. Broly remembers all the good times he had with Chirai on Planet Vampa and everything that happened during the training that Beerus was conducting for Goku, Vegeta and Broly. Goku also began to reflect on the technique of combining his power with Ultra Ego that he had learned. At that moment, Goku began to analyze and spoke. I am feeling a very high power coming from this place. If we start to analyze it, it seems that there are other destructive beings around here. We need to think about it. What will happen in the face of all of this? Many battles will still occur. Damn, I'm sure the great strength of these guys will be increased more and more. But it does not matter. It seems my Saiyan instinct is getting more and more excited to fight. 
Goku and Broly try to walk undetected through the planet of the Doomcats until the moment when a Doomcat very different from all the others with seemingly catastrophic powers appears and starts talking to the other Doomcats. The unknown destruction cat says, Will we need to wipe out all these guys in the future? We were about to destroy this guy who appeared in front of us, but he, with his means of communication, said that he would be a great help in this celestial battle. Let's see what he can do with that. Goku is surprised the moment he sees who was next to the unknown destruction cat. Broly says, What was that, Goku? Goku watches and speaks. It cannot be. This guy is Frieza. Black Frieza was on the planet of destruction cats. Frieza had not appeared for a long time. Frieza's previous goal was to eliminate several other planets. Moments ago in Frieza's ship, Frieza was pondering alongside his entire army while he had heard the great priest sentence that no one should get involved in battles until the celestial war. Frieza says, One day I will reign over it all. One day I will reign over all these beings. And how dare they say something like that? How do they think they can dominate something between us? This is something extremely catastrophic. I am a tyrant of the universe. The angels and the other gods are much more powerful. But thankfully, I started to have other thoughts about how I was going to go about my life. After all, one day I will be on top of them all. Each time it seems that beings are born one more powerful than the other. That Saiyan Broly is extremely strong. But after I reached my black form, I became a supreme being. No one else will be able to defeat me, not even Beerus. I am a level above a god of destruction. Inside Frieza's ship appears an unknown presence, a being very similar to Beerus, and says, It means that we have a being that believes to be more powerful than Beerus. Frieza says, I could already feel a strange energy like his. Who are you so insolent? How dare you invade my planet? Do you think that you alone are capable of ending my army? At that instant, the Cat of Destruction says, I think you'd better come with me. After all, we're in another galaxy. I know you can breathe normally in space outside a ship, but what will happen to all your army and all your technology to be able to put together your plans if I destroy your entire ship now? Frieza starts to rage and says, you damn! How dare you! At that moment, Frieza beside the Cat of Destruction is taken directly to the Planet of Destruction. Frieza says, Now you will fight me. I don't know why you brought me here, but you will know the power of the true tyrant, the Emperor of the Universe. Frieza activates his black form and prepares to attack the Cat of Destruction until the moment when the supreme being of the Cats of Destruction, acclaimed Mukai, appears. Frieza starts watching and says, That's not possible. What are you? Does your legend really exist? Is it really alive? Does Beerus know of its existence? At that moment, Beerus's father starts to laugh and says, See, Frieza, how long have I not seen you? Really, since I met your father, you were just a kid. So now we can say that the tyrant of the universe is here. Very good. Come on, I want you to show your power. Let's see what you will be able to do. But I have a proposal there before. You want to become more and more powerful, don't you? And for that, you would definitely need your entire army. Not the army you already have, but the army of your own race. You know that alongside them, you can reach unimaginable powers. His brother Cooler and everyone else would be back, the same way the Cats of Destruction were brought back. His family could be back. What do you think about this? Frieza starts laughing and says, It's quite interesting, but I don't care about my family. I don't care about any of them. I am Frieza, 
the one who will dominate everything. I don't think you should do anything. After all, the high priest said not to get involved in battles until the heavenly war begins. At that moment, Frieza starts laughing and says, Maybe if I were you, I wouldn't let my guard down so much. Frieza looks at Shirai and says, I know this girl, and she's friends with an extremely powerful Saiyan. You captured her, and for sure these Saiyans will come after you, and I'm sure they will regret it. Back to present times. Frieza had already spoken about the Saiyan threat directly to the destruction cats. In a few moments, we can see that Goku was watching what Frieza was saying. Goku starts laughing and says, It seems that Frieza has already prepared himself and already knows that we are here. He's just playing with the cats of doom. Maybe this is our time to get Shirai out of here. She's over there. Check it out, Broly. This is the time for us to arrive and capture her and bring her back. At that moment, Goku teleports alongside Broly in front of the destruction cats, where Chirai was. Chirai starts smiling when she sees Broly. Broly smiles at Chirai. The moment Goku will come out alongside Chirai and Broly, Frieza starts laughing next to the destruction cat. The cat of destruction observes and speaks. Very well. What you said was really true, Frieza. A barrier appears over the body around Broly, Shirai and Goku. Goku says, Damn, Frieza, this was all on purpose. Frieza says, I told you that if you captured this girl, they would come after you. Now let me show you Black Frieza's true power. Son Goku, you are more powerful, aren't you? Manage to activate the power of the Ultra Ego. Well then, fight me now. Goku vs Frieza Ultra Goku vs Black Frieza and the race of Beerus the Destroyer. Looks like things got a lot more tense now. For both Goku and Broly in rescuing Chirai, it seems that the direct invasion of the Planet of Destruction Cats was just a trap to bring Goku and Broly into the trap, since the two of them would be one of the greatest potentials for the Celestial War. It seems that the Cats of Destruction want to test your powers. Goku watches and says, Frieza, does that mean you're on their side? Frieza starts laughing and says, I'm on nobody's side. I'm the Emperor of the Universe. But I also fell into the trap of those disgusting beings and that's why I was forced to make you come here. Can you understand this, Goku? But they want to test your powers, so I'll need to show off some of my skills humiliating you here and now, just like I did with you and Vegeta on that serial Jin Granola's planet. In a few moments, Goku becomes enraged and says, Frieza, you are an inhabitant of Universe 7. You should know that we need to fight together like we did in the Tournament of Power to save our universe and put our disagreements behind us. These guys have already caused the most destruction and they want to end it all. You cannot be on their side. Frieza starts laughing and says, I think you forgot that at one point I tried to destroy everyone, including your race's planet. Great power is unleashed directly on Frieza, and a punch comes close to being delivered under his face, but a hand appears at that moment. It was Broly who had gone after Frieza, but Mukai, the Cat of Destruction King, interrupts Broly. Broly says, How did this guy get here so fast? Its power is really high. Goku watches and speaks. Broly, just watch this battle. I need to show the skill I learned while training in the Makayoshin Kingdom. Broly watches and says, I understand Goku, so show your real power. Frieza activates his black form and the Doom Cats smile and say, Come on, let's see what is the strength level of this Saiyan. Planet Beerus Beerus begins to notice a large shudder light years away from the planet he was on. Beerus looks at Whis and says, This is certainly the energy of the destruction cats. But Broly and Goku's energy is really there. They are disobeying the rules that the High Priest has imposed. It seems like it's no use. We don't quite know what to do. But we better not interfere. Goku will have to deal with them directly. 
At that moment, we starts to speak. Goku is just doing it right, trying to correct the mistakes these other beings made. They have tried to harness its power and yet, they will apparently capture a being from our universe. I'm sure the High Priest will take all this into account. Moments pass on the planet of destruction cats. Goku begins to have a battle with Black Frieza. Black Frieza begins to show power far greater than Goku's. Goku tries several times to dodge the blows that are shown there. Black Frieza says, You know very well that the power of your Ultra Instinct will never be able to defeat me. You don't have powers to fight me, Goku. Goku starts to smile and says, If you don't remember very well, you must be fully aware that in the past, I ended up destroying you and was still too merciful for you to escape. Previously with my Super Saiyan Blue form, I finished you off again. Frieza starts to get furious and says, Be quiet you insolent, you are worthless. The Cat of Destruction says, Does that mean then that Saiyan was already able to defeat even Frieza? Perhaps his power is even much higher than what I imagined. Well, let's see what you will be able to do. So I hope your strength level can increase more and more, Son Goku. The battle began to be more and more brutal. Broly observes and says, Goku, you are fighting, but I myself wanted to finish off Frieza. Looks like he's gotten a lot stronger than the last time we fought. He even manipulated me in the past so that I would fight against Goku and Vegeta and soon after I have slight impressions that he was the one to blame for my father's death. My father, even though he wasn't the best father, he never did anything to Frieza. He will still pay for all that he has done. Broly, after controlling his rational power more, began to have several different thoughts, starting to rationalize his decision making more but still an immeasurable power was emerging from Broly. Broly keeps talking. This guy still pays me back for every atrocity he has ever committed. Frieza starts to have more advantage in the battle and says, Goku, you will never be able to defeat me. Goku starts to smile and says, We seem to have reached the level I wanted. Goku activates his Ultra Ego power again and again, tries to combine the strength of the Ultra Ego alongside the strength of the Ultra Instinct. Goku begins to increase his power more and more. The Destruction Cat race starts to be impressed. Frieza's race always showing to be powerful. The Cold Demons were our rivals for millennia. This Frieza boy really is one of the greatest powers that has ever been shown in battle. Will he really be able to eliminate Son Goku from Universe 7? Black Frieza starts taking several hits from Goku. Black Frieza says, That's not possible. He was fighting just now with an entirely different power. This looks like the combination of the power of Ultra Instinct he showed in the Tournament of Power with the power of Vegeta's Ultra Ego. What are you up to, you insolent Saiyan? Damn, Goku. You've outdone yourself yet again. At that moment, a horde of destruction cats threatened to launch a Hakai on Goku. Goku and Broly talk. This is cheating. You cannot do this. At that moment, Broly looks and speaks. Goku, the only alternative we will have is to destroy this planet and try to escape. Otherwise, we will all be destroyed. At that moment, Goku starts to think. Seems like every time we go through a life or death situation, Broly, I can't let you die here. I will raise my key to the maximum and create an explosion on this planet. It will be your chance to escape. Broly says, Don't do that, Goku. If you do that, you will disappear. At that moment, when Goku was going to sacrifice himself, a great light appears over the planet of the Destruction Cats. Under her rises the Great Priest. Everyone shudders. Frieza deactivates his black form. Goku began to observe everything that was happening and says, Great Priest, the Lord is here. Beerus's race still tries to cast a Hakai on the High Priest and everyone who was there. The High Priest says a word. 
Angel's Secret Technique, Divine Redemption. Several destruction cats are eliminated. Furious Mukai watches and speaks. How did you get that audacity? At that moment, Black Frieza used Mukai's rage trick to escape the planet of destruction cats. The great priest says, You disobeyed what I said. Half of your race was wiped out. Five days left for the celestial war. If you decide to do something, I will again make my arrangements. Otherwise, just leave this as a warning. Son Goku and Broly, you need to come with me. Broly was beside Chirai. The High Priest sends Chirai directly to Planet Vampa. Broly watches and thanks. At that moment, a new light appears on the planet of the Destruction Cats and the Great Priest takes Goku and Broly to his palace. The enraged cats of Destruction say, We will still take revenge. You will pay for this, Dai Shinkan. Ultra Goku Ultra knows the Great Priest's true strength for the first time. Palace of the Great Priest, center of all universes. Goku and Broly were saved by Daishinkan on the planet of the Destruction Cats. After Black Frieza and the Destruction Cats attempted to capture Goku alongside Broly and Chirai. At that moment, Goku had received the energy of Ultra Ego combined with Ultra Instinct. His powers got higher and higher. Goku knew he could get stronger. The energy of Goku's destruction and the powers that were being shown there were each time more powerful. Goku on the Great Priest planet says, Thank you very much Great Priest, you ended up saving us. I knew you were strong, but this level of power is greater than anything that has ever been seen. The technique the Lord used looked more like Hakai like mass destruction. You could have wiped out all the destruction cats. But please don't punish us, we were just trying to save a loved one of ours. The High Priest watches and says, The rule had been clear, but you were just trying to save someone, when they only interfered with the rain that was already being ruled. But still, don't think that it will all stay that way. You won't be turned off by me, after all, Mr. Zeno likes you a lot. Daishinkan sorry. There is an angel who is as powerful as me, or rather, as powerful as me, and I wanted to eliminate a good part of his army. Now for sure, they will be brought back by her. But I won't always be here to save him, so I'm going to carry out the last training with you two now, just as I did a moment ago with them. At that moment, Goku tries to understand and says, With them? Who are you talking about, great priest? Daishinkan smiles and says, those two who caught my attention for the high power they admired when they fought to protect the earth in their absence, Gohan and Vegeta. Goku starts to smile and says, Does that mean that the two of them have already done training here with you? Alright, let's start Broly. At that instant, the high priest says, But these are not trajectories to use here in this place. When you arrive at the planet of destruction, if you want to come back with that energy of destruction, that's fine. But here, you will use the celestial path as my disciples. Let's go to the training room being lifted to our angelic power. Broly and Goku receive the Grand Priest costume. You mean this is our last training before the celestial war? Alright, I'm excited. The High Priest starts watching Goku and says, Looks like you've got unbelievable powers. He managed to combine the power of Ultra Ego together with Ultra Instinct. Be aware that few mortals can perform this combination of power status and depending on the gods of destruction are also able to perform this. You should know by now why a lot of things can get messy and a lot of warriors will want to attack everything. I still believe that among the gods of destruction and the angels, there may be some who are willing to betray us or have not already betrayed us. This power release and this portal release that the enemies of the past managed to get back to me sounds very strange, but it still doesn't have much to do. You need to stay strong, just like I said. There are other angels and there are other beings that have the same level or more power than me. 
Goku is surprised and says, What do you mean, great priest? There are beings as powerful as you? It cannot be. We need to resolve this. I'm sure you will raise your power more and more and we can get stronger together. At that moment, the great priest starts to smile and tries to attack Goku directly. Goku dodges and says, What was that? Great priest, why did you try to attack me? Goku had already directly activated the mastery of Ultra Instinct and shortly after the great priest tries to attack Broly who activates his berserker form. Broly was already confident in controlling his transformation. Oh great priest speaks. I would like you two to fight against me. Let's see what you guys are capable of. Broly starts laughing and says, don't think that because you are the supreme angel that I would be afraid to fight you. I am considered as one of the most powerful within this universe. At that moment, the great priest begins to raise his energy and his body begins to change. Goku and Broly begin to throw themselves on the ground due to the energy that was being shown there in Daishinkan. Goku raises his ultra instinct even more and tries to attack the great priest. Goku starts trying to land several punches on the great priest. The high priest increased his power more and more. Broly says, This guy is a monster. He's totally different than any enemy we've fought. It looks like he's just joking and laughing at us. Goku, we have no chance of winning. Goku activates Ultra Ego combined with Ultra Instinct, trying to land several blows from the great priest while the great priest begins to laugh and says, Son Goku, I hope you guys are really showing your best performance because something terrible could still happen in the course of these battles. Keep in mind that enemies like past gods of destruction are much more powerful than current gods of destruction. So you need to understand that these battles will get more and more intriguing. Come on. Show the energy you are capable of developing, Goku. Moments after the Grand Priest's words are spoken, a huge explosion begins to occur within the Grand Priest's palace. A voice comes up and speaks. It seems that my father is already training with them, but this time, I need to help Mr. Goku. They must be scared to death of my father's true power, but you can leave it to me. In that instant, the great priest had defeated Goku and Broly. Goku says, This can only be madness. You would surely be able to end this war in a blink of an eye. Great priest, and you know it very well. You have the power it takes to end it all. In a few moments, the great priest begins to smile and says, It's not quite like that, Mr. Goku. As I said, there are several powerful guys who want to destroy all universes. If it were that easy, there wouldn't be anyone wanting to challenge us, but they know about weakness and everything that can happen to angels. The great Zenosama is sleeping now. Zenosama's sleep usually lasts a year. This is the thousandth year since the last celestial war. So just because of that, they decided to attack us. With Zenosama asleep, the energy to erase universes cannot be released. Imagine the catastrophe that would occur if he woke up. So therefore, get ready. You are not yet able to defeat me and not even have a good fight with me. But there is a certain person who asked me to bring you here. At that moment, Goku lying on the ground speaks. Who are you talking about? A friend from the past appears. A voice arises. Hey Mr. Goku. It's great to see you again since the battle against Moro. I haven't seen you before, so now I say thank you very much for everything. Now it's time for me to return the favor you did me by defeating that space criminal. I will help you within this journey. Broly didn't know who he was. Broly watches and asks, Who is this guy, Goku? Goku starts to smile and deactivates his transformation and says, he is Merus, the apprentice angel who has incredible power. We will definitely be much more powerful after training with Merus. When we fought Moro, Merus could have defeated Moro, but he didn't because otherwise he would lose his angel powers. Merus says, Alright Mr. Goku, let's get started. Daishinkan Palace 
Goku and Broly begin their training alongside Merus. Merus, who helped Goku in the fight against Moro, the one who was the true creator of the Margin race. One who possessed a great level of skill and could absorb and swallow planets, the true devourer of worlds. Moro was defeated by Goku after managing to master his Ultra Instinct with the help of Merus. Merus appeared in front of Goku, showing off his apprentice angel skills. At that moment, Goku says, Merus, it's really good to see you here, to see that you're okay. I confess that I was very worried that you might lose your powers because you were involved in the battles against Moro. But now it seems that by law of the angels, you really will be able to engage in battles. The great priest must be thinking about something very big from now on, since he himself decided that you will fight. At that moment, Merus watches and speaks. Well then, Mr. Goku, it seems that things are changing more and more. Threats always occur within these universes and they make us question ourselves. Perhaps my father overlooked many of the things I said because in the past he had not agreed with me. The moment I said that maybe we should stop Moro, because of that many things ended up happening. Can you understand? At that moment we began to observe many things after your battle against Moro and shortly after you fought Gas. Some of the breakdowns managed to be helped as everyone with them started making various wishes to the dragons of the Super Dragon Balls. These dragons are far more powerful than Shenron itself, especially the Super Shenron that only its size is light years larger than this universe. We never get to question anything about the dragons, but soon enough they could still be a threat. Find out and be sure of it. If we are going to analyze the land and the universe 7, our dragons are the weakest in the universe, Mr. Goku. We have the dragon from the planet of Granola, Parunga and Shenron. These dragons according to the past are kind dragons, but we still don't know what might happen when the ultimate dragon appears. Goku starts watching and says, What are you talking about, Sir Merus? We already have enough problems with this war that is approaching. Does it mean that there are other beings connected to Shenron that could still become a threat in the past? Merus smiles and speaks. Sometimes they say a threat only becomes a real threat when we are not sure we are strong enough to fight it. We are not sure that we will be able to defeat them, but in the opposite case, we will manage to become more and more powerful and show more and more different abilities when we defeat different enemies. As we get stronger, our power starts to grow more and more. At that moment, Goku begins to have great reflections and begins to remember all the enemies he has fought in the past. Goku starts to smile and speaks. Then that's it. You can leave it to us, Mr. Merus. We will get stronger each time. Regardless of the threat that appears, be it a dragon from the past or an enemy that was able to fight even with angels, we will overcome them and bring peace to our universes. You can leave it to us. Saiyans will show their true powers from now on. At that instant, Broly appears and speaks. Don't think that only you will get strong, Goku. I'm also here to show my true power. Merus smiles. Broly and Goku's training alongside Merus begins. At that instant, in the unknown galaxy in the Angelic Palace, an angel's voice appears and says, It seems that my dear High Priest keeps getting involved in what is none of his business. I wasn't going to get involved in this until now, but since he decided to make his moves and ended up attacking the Destruction Cats to save Son Goku's skin, we will analyze all that is happening. At that moment, Cypher appears in the Angelic Palace. Cypher says, Does Hora mean that finally your majesty will want to do something about it? Does that mean that we can finally start moving our cards? The chessboard keeps getting more and more interesting. We can't let the pawns grow because sometimes, as it's a game, even a pawn can defeat the king or queen, isn't it, mother? At that moment, the Supreme Angel says, In that case, it won't happen. In our game, there can only be one winner, and that winner will be our race. The Mother of Angels finally appears. 
Cypher has a good connection with the Supreme Angel. Does she have more powers than the High Priest? Planet Earth, Gohan, Goten, Vegeta and Trunks were doing their second training. Gohan says, It seems that after we trained in the Grand Priest's palace, our powers sure got much greater. I'm sure my dad will show even greater performance. It seems that even though we are Saiyans, each of us manages to develop a different transformation, very different from the past when everyone had the same transformation. So any of us can show a totally different transformation. Remember that in this war there are several enemies who will want to cause everything and we have to realize that all those who fought in the tournament of power are preparing for battle. We cannot stay behind. A long time ago, we depended a lot on my father and from Vegeta and now we are all able to protect the earth. But still, sometimes evil can be greatly feared. Let's believe that our powers are getting stronger. Gohan starts fighting Goten and Vegeta starts fighting Trunks. Goten and Trunks had gotten much more powerful but still, nobody knew what the boy's potential was. Gohan says, it is very close to starting this war. On the one hand, I'm worried, but on the other hand, I feel happy knowing that a great battle is about to begin and we Saiyans are the warrior race. All universes had their warriors who were training and showing increasingly different skills. At that instant, time passed on Earth, directly at the Daishin Khan Palace. Time passed in a totally different way while Broly and Goku were training for hours in the Grand Priest Palace. On Earth and in the other universes, only minutes passed. Goku and Broly were exhausted from training with Merus. Merus says, It seems that the two of you have already managed to reach a new level. Its power of transformation surprises me more and more. Broly looks like his energy is getting bigger and bigger. Does that mean then that's the level of power you're going to show? Very good. At that moment, we can see that the skills that are being shown by Goku are getting more and more intriguing. Days pass in the Daishin Khan Palace. Looks like you really managed to get more powerful, Goku. So I think now is the time to have a serious fight. At that instant, Goku says, Merus, thank you so much for all the training. I confess that I want to fight you even in a quieter moment. But now I really need a rematch with the Great Priest. Broly starts to smile and says, Knowing you, I'm sure you don't want the two of us to fight together, do you Goku? Goku smiles and says, Gohan and Vegeta grew more powerful by training here. I could not prepare for the Celestial War without a rematch against the one who is most powerful. Moments pass, the High Priest arrives again at his heavenly palace. The High Priest says, Well done, Goku. If that's what you want, you will have your last chance to fight me. Goku smiles and speaks. Pay close attention now, Great Priest. A great shudder begins to rise in the High Priest's palace. Broly and Merus begin to be surprised. Broly smiles and says, You were hiding that power all this time, weren't you, Goku? Goku says, this time, I want to show my real power to you, Great Priest. The High Priest watches and speaks. Does that mean that you still have more Son Goku skills? As imagined from the mortal who stunned everyone in the Tournament of Power. Very good. Let's start. The Great Shudder in the Palace of the Great Priest occurs. Goku vs. Daishinkan. The Great Priest starts to smile and says, does that mean that you decided to fight me again to complete your training in the Son Goku Heavenly Palace? You must have forgotten that just now when you decided to fight me at Brawly's side, you couldn't do anything in battle. You should pay more attention. At that moment, Goku starts watching and says, Great Priest, I know that you are the one above all, but if I am in a war where all beings are extremely powerful, I need to show even greater performance and I believe that I will be able to get stronger and stronger. The High Priest begins to laugh. Mera smiles and speaks. Goku really is amazing. No matter how strong the enemies he fights are, he always shows his performance and starts to raise his power more and more. 
Well done, Son Goku. Show what you're really capable of. Broly analyzes the situation and says, It seems that I managed to control my power more and more. Is this the skill level I reached? I only want to show those beings who are my enemies. It won't be enough to train against any other warrior. Be an angel, that is, whoever fights against me, I will show my true ability and what I am really capable of. I'm Broly the Sand from Universe 7. At that moment, we can see that Broly's abilities were getting higher and higher. Broly's powers were reaching another level. It seems that it was time for us to see the Saiyan level being higher and higher. The High Priest says, Well, that means you want to show all your power by fighting me, don't you, Goku? I'm really curious to know what new skill level you got. Goku starts to smile and says, In fact, I had already managed to use it once in the Room of the Gods when I trained with Gon, but for a short time I thought it was too risky. The High Priest starts watching with an astonished face and says, You mean that even when he fought all these enemies, he was still hiding his power? He hadn't used all of his strength and now he's showing all that performance. You really are a fascinating being, Goku. But what are you keeping in the middle of all this? A small flashback begins to appear. Goku and Gon in the Room of Time. Goku, when he was next to Gon, he had taught Gon every technique he knew about mastering Ultra Instinct. Gon says, Father, you yourself not having heavenly blood, you managed to raise your power higher and higher. Your skills really are amazing. Does that mean then that's all the power you have? If you use this in battle, you could definitely defeat any enemy that was. At that instant, Goku says, Using these powers really is a double-edged sword. In the same way that I can be winning a battle, my energy can reach its maximum and at the same time run out. If I run out, I won't be able to defeat anyone else. Then we would have a lot of problems when they were involved in all of this. Can you understand? We need to analyze this whole situation. Gone when fighting Goku, he's amazed to see Goku's maximum power level. Goku faints. Moments pass after Goku wakes up. Gon is fascinated. This is my dad and I need to get a lot stronger too. I'm sure we'll be stronger together. Back to current times. Goku looks at the great priest and says, Great priest, I was really saving that skill to use against the strongest. So please, see and appreciate all this power of mine. Let's start. Planet Beerus. Beerus starts to question himself and says, Whis, Goku and Broly are taking a long time to get here. This comes across as a joke. I had already warned. Goku should just bring Broly here. He's one of the war potentials, as the two must be taking their time. A big threat might have appeared now. Just now, I felt the energy of the Destruction Cats. Sure enough, they were attacked by them. Wee starts laughing and says, Mr. Beerus, calm down. You know very well that their energy is no longer on the planet of the Destruction Cats, much less on the planet Vampa. Whis creates a vision directly from his staff where it shows that Goku and Broly are on the planet of the Grand Priest Palace. Beerus says, are they still training and wanting to get more powerful? That war is near. The angel meeting is probably about to happen. What's going on with that? The meeting of the angels is very close. Let's analyze the situation. It can get more and more intense. At that moment, everything seemed to be going smoothly, but we can imagine that very powerful beings have not yet appeared. In this heavenly war, we don't know how long it will last, and much less how things will work. But we are getting into a fight where it differs from a universal war. The celestial war is colluding between the mortals of the universe and the angels. Some demons are getting involved, but we have to know, and it has to be okay. Of course, there are still other realms and other beings that are not getting involved and that still manages to be my biggest fear. 
Whis watches and speaks. You mean after this war is over, regardless of who wins, could another threat still appear? We will need to analyze all this very carefully. Let's try to really understand what will happen. Many reflections begin to be created. Many points begin to be questioned. Goku begins to increase his powers more and more inside the Grand Priest Palace. Light years begin to shudder. We can see that Beerus starts to smile and says, It means then, that they will get more powerful? This is interesting. Whis, how long has it been since I trained? Whis responds, Millennia, we can say, Sir Beerus. But don't tell me that. At that moment, Beerus asks Whis to prepare the ground in the room of the gods, that the god of destruction of Universe 7 will undergo a new training. Whis smiles and says, As you wish, my lord, the room of the gods will be ready in one hour for your destruction training. Back to the Grand Priest Palace. Goku had activated the mastery of Ultra Instinct fighting the Great Priest. Goku began to increase his powers more and more. Goku has reached Ultra Instinct level 3 form. The High Priest begins to smile and says, So that's your skill. That's the strength level you want to do. Very well. Goku starts to land several blows on the Great Priest, showing his real power. Goku is getting more and more powerful. The Great Priest is impressed, starts to launch several blasts of energy on Goku. Goku with the mastery of Ultra Instinct tries to dodge until the moment when the Great Priest manages to land a big punch on Goku. Goku says, Looks like this guy actually has totally different powers. His skills are totally outsized, they're on another level. It really seems that his strength is far beyond that of anyone else. Good. Let's see what we're capable of. We will see what will happen. The High Priest says, Goku, show your true energy. I believe that you will be able to defeat anyone, but you will still not be stronger than me. The Great Priest begins to smile. The Great Priest begins to show various abilities. A lot of energy begins to be developed in front of Batala. Goku raises a large blast of energy and launches it over the body of the Great Priest. Goku ends up losing his level 3 transformation. The Great Priest starts to smile and says, Well done, son Goku. You had a much better performance. You even managed to get my clothes dirty. Goku says, Looks like this guy is really crazy. I couldn't do almost anything. The High Priest is very powerful. Goku weakened within moments, Merus recovers Goku's energy. Goku returns to his normal state. At that moment, a presence appears in the palace of the Great Priest and says, Daishin Khan, Master Zeno is sleeping. What does that mean? The High Priest says, Good. Among all, the only one I didn't want to be here was you. One of Lord Zeno's second personality. Lord Zeno, while he sleeps, let us work it out, because this heavenly war will pass and it will need our help. At that moment, Zenosama's first guard appears in front of the great priest and Goku and speaks. That's enough for me. You will fight me here now. If I win, I would be allowed to use magic to eliminate the universes and I will end it all now. Otherwise, if you win, you can do whatever you want. Goku starts watching and asks what's going on. Mera says, This is one of Zenosama's guards, the one who is as powerful as the High Priest. The Great Priest prepares for battle. Zenosama's guard gets into battle stance. Who will emerge victorious? To be continued. Alright partner, it seems that things are really getting more and more intriguing now. But regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.